off. Let me have a go. I'm finishing my history. You finished your homework before you went to bed last night. Well, Mr. Burns gave us too much. He always does. Yeah, well, let David have a go. You've got to get Bethany ready. Oh, well, can't you? No. You're taking her to the crash today, remember? Oh, Mum! It's my day off. She's your baby. And I'm not even getting dressed till I have to. You heard. <laughs> Move. Yeah, well, it should be in my room. He only uses it to play computer games. Well, you're hardly writing a thesis. Yeah, but I need it. I'm stuck in there for hours at a time. And, well, Bethany's hardly any company. No, I grant you she's not got much conversation. Neither did you when you were her age. Yeah, it would be better if I had Bethany and the computer in the same room. Well, maybe you could. If she's having a computer in her room, I'm having one in mine. Well, can I take it up, then? No, you take her up and get her washed and changed. Mm, what about after school? OK. Seeing as now the men and women in this house are still doing their own thing, this milk that's left's uh, mine and Maria's. Right. Well, the rest of that bread's mine and Jack's. Oh, Leah, you can have it. Oh, this is stupid, this. We want to sort some out. I'm starving. You what? Oh, he's deaf him when it suits him. It always has been. You what? Oh. Look, has anybody bought a paper this morning? Right, I'm going to work then. Will you read it? You'll buy it. Oh, I've had enough of this. If you and me make up, then a pair of them two will. Mm, do you reckon? Well, it's worth a try, isn't it? Here, I hope you're not giving him your toast. No, I wasn't, Vera, I was just talking. Yeah, well, you come over here. Here, go on, get off. Passport should have arrived this morning. Should it? Yeah, I'm going on honeymoon next week. Well, you can't leave the country without an authorised, validated passport. You, you can't enter another country either. Yeah, I know that. Has it come here by mistake? No. Well, check. Well, I don't need to check. It'll be sent direct to your home. That's the system. Yeah, but it could have come here. Well, I don't see how. Do you live in the cabin? No. Well, did you write this address on the form? No. Then why should the postman deliver it here? Because you sent the stupid thing in. You filled it in. My function was supervisory. I'd uh, telephone the passport office in Liverpool. And say what? Well, this is only a suggestion, but you could say, have you processed my passport yet, please? Is it in the post? When should I expect to receive it? Huh. You're useless, you are. Honestly, Rita, the public... No respect, no manners, no self-awareness. No passport. I uh, haven't seen Anthony this morning. No, he won't have. He's in New Zealand. We could go for a meal first. Make sure show if you knew her. Come. No, uh, not come round to mine. We'll have some there and then go out. Okay. Okay. Hello, love. I am. What's going on, Sawyer? Yeah, what are you doing with him? Just the Nothing. Morning, eh? I saw you together in the street. Hey, Alan. So? Thanks very much. I don't want you going out with him. And why not? Because the last time you went oh, out with him was Leave when... it, Les. Look, I'll wait for you outside, Sam. Yeah, I'm coming. I'll see you later. Yes, later. bye, love. See you later, Les. I know, but I'll give it some money. Say goodbye to your dad. Hey, have a good day at school, won't you? I will. I'm in the netball team now. Huh? I didn't know that. Yeah, Sophie's learning too. I want to be as good as Rosie. No. Ooh, we'd better get some practice in then before nine o'clock. <laughs> Give us a kiss. <laughs> See you, Kev. Bye, yeah. Martin. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. Come on, girls. Mm. Don't get to find out Arthur what they're up to now. Yeah, well, that's the way it is for the likes of us, mate. Yeah. Oh, never mind. The holidays soon. Why don't you take him away for a few days? I had a great time with David. Oh, it's not a bad idea, that. Get in before Dennis and then start booking theirs. Mm. So, where do you reckon he'd fancy? Oh, I don't know. What do you think, Roy? Where do you reckon two little girls would like to go for a few days with their dad? Oh, <clears throat> uh, to the countryside. Camping. Children love it. Mm. Well, I didn't when I was a child, but I've grown to see the attraction. Oh? What attraction? Well, living in a tent, it can be an exhilarating experience uh, for a short period of time. It nurtures our bond with nature. Does it? Yeah, ch children, I think, they have a great affinity for the, for the outdoors, whereas as adults, we, we crave a more protected environment. Mm. What was all that about? Mm. The great outdoors, eh? <laughs> yeah. 
You reckon they'd uh, come with me on their own? Uh, yeah. What? They won't get too bored? No, we've got each other for company. Mm. Better if you and David come. Oh, I don't know about that, Kev. We've got Sarah. Don't bring her. What about Bethany? Look, she can stay with Gail, can't she? Yeah, I suppose. Well, she might fancy having her to herself for a change. Hmm. Do you reckon you could get a few extra days in? Yeah. Can't see why not. Ooh. They own me. Yeah. Good. I spoke to TJ again. Uh, but your mother is going to kill you when she sees the bill. It was only for a couple of minutes. Well, last night. And this morning. Look, Sarah, I told you to get a life, but don't fixate on the first lad that emails you. We all fixated on Todd. We've got loads in common. I mean, his parents are divorced. Amazing. And he's got a brother. <laughs> Unbelievable. He seems just like me. I quite like you. He sounds gorgeous. Yeah, and he's probably got a face like a wet nappy. You should insist on a photo. I am going to. I'm not going to waste my time on Mingus. <laughs> you see sense at last. <laughs> No, you want to go across a little bit? Yes. Hang on, just wait there for a minute. Come on then, sweetheart. Oh, thank you. Come on. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Hey, Pam Coy, it's Mr Duckworth. Give him a shout. Mr Duckworth? Excuse me, Mr Duckworth. Doesn't want it. He can't hear you. Doesn't matter. What can he spend it on? He's old and deaf. But it's not yours. Finders keepers. Mr. Duckworth? Hello? Mr. Duckworth? It's just David what just wanted I to... just wanted to say. Have a nice day. You what? A nice day. Aye, it is, isn't it? Aye, aye. See? Daft as well. What time's Adam's train get in? About half past three. Well, the least you can do is take the rest of the day off. He'll expect it. Yes, I know he will. Can't just dump him soon as he gets here. You're right. It's only a couple of hours. I'll keep notes on everything that happens here. Every phone call, every message, everyone that goes to the toilet, how long they stay there. All right, don't keep on about it. You can trust me, Mike. Looks like I've got to. Oh, are you, love? Here. Yeah. I knew you'd be coming in. Oh, sir. Tyrone's had to go to Rovers. Well, they do a good hot pot, so I'm told. Vera, I've made it up with him. How have you now? Well, you want to sort it out with Jack, don't you? Well, that depends. Just tell him you want to forget the whole thing. What? Let him get better of me. No, I'm not saying that. Just <laughs> meet him halfway. It's all the diplomats do, isn't it? Listen, if you give him half, he'll want three quarters. <sighs> Bet he wouldn't. Well... I'll think about it. There you go. Carlo. Uh, are you doing out the stuff, ma'am? <laughs> Only sitting here looking through job applications. I tell you, I wish I were a welder. Uh, do you think you could cook us a nice tea on the uh, Sam's coming round? Uh, I've no tin cupboard, love. Well, I can give you some money, yeah. Uh, buy what you like, eh? Oh, all right then. That'll kill a few hours. I'll tell you what, Toya. I'm so bored twiddling my thumbs and my fingers and my toes. Well, it doesn't have to be uh, right special, just nice, yeah? Yeah, all right. What do you think that fellow wants with her? Sam? Well, he just wants to give her a good time. That's not all. It's about time she started getting out and about again. He'll look after her. What? Like he did last time? No. He knows the score. Does he? What if he thinks he can do as he likes? Yeah, well, he's not that sort of bloke. Fuck what you care. Les, I'm trying to find a job. I would tell you, he's fine. So don't go upsetting her, eh? Say no. I won't be saying anything to her. I'm amazed you didn't tell me, Rachel. I mean, Tony was my friend as well, you know. He'll be back. He's only gone to stay with his sister. Then why the secrecy? Look, can we abandon the topic? You have to, for the time being. Back again, Sam. Hi, Norris. Hello, Hi, love. Now, what can I get you? Well, I just want to know what sort of chocolates Toya likes. Oh, right. Well, 
She's bought these in the past. All oh, right, we'll have them. OK, that's uh, £4.59, love, please. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Hey. Hi, right, Les. I've been after you. All right, have you? You say you're not very bright, but I didn't think you'd forget that quickly. Forget what? You took her out, but you never brought her home. Well, I will tonight, Les. Right to the door. Yeah, and when you do, you keep your hands to yourself. Look, she's safe with me. I mean, I wouldn't do anything she didn't want me to do, and I won't let anything happen to her. If she comes home, we want well, her Les, out of place. Les, there's no need. You left her on the corner of the street. I know. I saw her when she got home. Look, I'm sorry. Sorry? Sorry, are you? Well, I'm sorry. And I'm telling you, all right? Say that out loud. You want your ears testing, Mr. Duckworth. Louder. You're as deaf as a dead duck, Mr. Duckworth. Jack? Leg it! Jack? Going to collect your losings, are you? Can't kid me, you've won some it. You've had all the luck you're going to get, you. Jack, can you hear me? What, what are you doing creeping up behind me, a flaming, flaming death woman? I won't creep it up behind you. It was that David Platt and that Wayne. David Platt, what are you talking about? Going in there to lose some more money, are you? Yes, I am. And it's got nothing to do with you. What? I feel ashamed if I was less. I mean, I don't want to cause any trouble. It's only a night out. Yeah, but there's no point in upsetting him, is there? Look, my mum will keep him in order. Just come straight round when you finish work, yeah? Okay. Glad to be home, son. Uh, yeah, I'm. Well, you don't look it. Yeah, well. Look, if you've got a problem, tell me about it. It's Duncan's family. Why, what's wrong with them? I just got a bit upset. You know, they reminded me of Mum. We used to always do stuff together. Well, they didn't invite you for the weekend to be miserable. I wasn't miserable. In a way, I wanted to stay there. Why? They're strangers. No, they're not. I've always loved to be with Duncan. Well, you should have hung on for a couple of days. I wouldn't have minded. Not if you were enjoying yourself. Duncan's got a and two sisters. You know, and a mum and dad. Yeah, yeah, you said. It's ages since I've stayed over. You know, with a proper family. It was fun. What, with all that shouting and bawling and everyone on top of each other? Yeah. Well, you can shout and bawl at us now. This is where you belong. I know. Yeah. Here with me and... Uh, Linda. Oh, he says he can't send me a photo because he's camera shy. Yeah, yeah. Dead ugly, you mean? No, he just doesn't like having his photo taken. Ugly people don't. He's not ugly. Move. Let me have a go. Me. Oh, no, don't do that. I don't want to meet him. You're dying to. No, I'm not. Oh! Can't. Why not? He doesn't want to meet me, then. You've not told him about Bethany, have you? No. I've got to pick her up in a minute. <sighs> Tell your mum to. She's on strike. She's so miserable, she is. She's got no idea what it's like to bring up a kid. Oh. <clears throat> I can't. My girlfriend wouldn't like it. I told you he was wasting your time. I'll just tell him to get lost. I'll go and get Bethany. OK. Two-timer. Sounds wicked, Dad. Mm. Told you to be pleased. When are we going? Oh, I don't know yet. I have to see what day suits Martin. Is Mum coming? No, love. This is a holiday for you and your dad. Oh, you'd be welcome. I don't think so, Kev. It's become a real meeting place for families, your calf, hasn't it? I expect mine will be along in a minute. Well, no, David won't, because he's just gone up the red wreck with Wayne. Oh, might have known. But it's as well for them to be out and about in this fine weather. Yeah, you're right, being cooped up in school all day. 
It's working out really well for you, isn't it? Uh, what's that? Fostering. In a manner of speaking, yes. Oh, come on. You've got Wayne back long term this time. Couldn't have worked out better. No, no. Dad, the wardrobe's full of Linda's clothes. It's like a girl's on his lipstick and stuff all over the place. Yeah, I think she uses that room to put her makeup on. My mum didn't have so much makeup or so many clothes. I think if you counted them, you'd find there's something for each day of the year. In fact, we're thinking of moving to accommodate them. <laughs> to imagine. Um, look, where is Linda anyway? Uh, well, listen, uh, she's down at the factory, tying up a few loose ends. She thought she'd give the men some time to themselves. Look, I'll tell you what, just chuck everything on the bed and I'll put it in our room, all right? I just thought she'd been sleeping there or something. TJ's back in the chat room. I'm not bothered. You will be. Listen. I'm sorry if I upset you before. I really like you. You're dead mature. My girlfriend's only interested in boy bands and soap stars. She's fun, but I can't talk to her the way I talk to you. Oh, did he really say that? Well, see for yourself. Oh, I knew it. He is kind and he's gorgeous and he's sensitive. OK. Me for a chat. Oh, it's too dodgy. Well, too late. See, you've scared him off now. So, that means he's a wimp? No, it just means he's faithful. Same thing. Oh, I'd love to. Well? Well, what about his girlfriend? Who cares? Fair enough. OK. Any chance they're doing a couple of extra shifts this week, Toya? Well, I can, but... Oh, Toya's always in demand. I mean, if she could cook like a mother, she'd be the perfect woman. Aww. We don't need any of your comments. Well, I'm just saying she's a great girl. You think I don't know? Um, is that a yes, is it? Yeah. So he's just a bit worried in case he's not to do for the kids, though. We've got our David to torment with Sarah. <laughs> Sounds like three on one. <laughs> no, I feel sorry for him, you know. <laughs> it's all right. So what's the accommodation like? Oh, well, you, you no need to worry about that. I have a tent you can borrow. And it's a good old-fashioned strong one. It's not one of these new fangled lightweight jobs. Ah, thanks, Roy. Sounds great, mate. Baden Powell and all that. <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> so you thought he should have waited for your answer? Yes, till he got back. When his wife had just died, he was in an emotional state. It was the wrong time to propose marriage. Well, perhaps he needed to know that Isabel's death hadn't changed anything between you. Well, you know, when you've had a bereavement, you swing from one decision to another. It's best to leave things as they are for a while. You look worn out. Oh, that's trying to keep Norris at bay. He's been cross-examining me all afternoon. Have you told him the truth? <sighs> Aversion. A flippant one. Well, it's the best I could manage. He wants to know too much. Well, he does pry, but he's lonely. He's got no family of his own. Neither have I. Oh, Emily. Supposing I've made a big mistake. Suppose that Anthony's gone and I've got to spend the rest of my life alone. Oh, Rita. You've got your friends. I haven't any family. It was the same for Alma in the end, dying in somebody else's house. Not more than that. It's all right for you, Emily. You've got your faith to sustain you. I have nothing. All I've done all day is been on the phone to Liverpool. Better than working for a living. I'm sure all they do is sit with their feet up listening to the phone ring. I don't think they do, you know. I mean, the passport officer's resources are very overstretched. Yeah, but they put you through to someone and then someone else and someone else and no one knows what's going on. It's your own fault for applying, Celeste. Norris, shut up. Who asked you anyway? Um, so, is your passport ready then? Mm. Well, they said it was completed yesterday and it was in the post, so should be here by tomorrow. All's well that ends well. You don't listen to a word I say. Tyrone gets more response from Monica. Yeah, well, Monica is that clever. Look, I know our Jack's no genius, but he has got more brains than a dog. Yeah, I'm not saying he hasn't. He just won't talk to me, that's all. I think you could be wrong, Vera. I mean, he's been in a world of his own these last few days, hasn't he? Maybe there is something wrong with him. Distemper. I reckon he's going deaf. Death? Death! What? That job centre will be like a second home to me soon. 
I'll be there again tomorrow morning. Yeah, well, I've had an idea about that. <laughs> oh, I? Well, yeah, I mean, you haven't got a job, right? and Toya's got two. So why don't you take over from her in a calf, and she can do some extra shifts here. What do you think? Well, yeah, great. Yeah, it suits me. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, you better keep strong for now, though, because uh, I'll put it to Roy. Right, should we go? Right, then. See you later. Have See a nice later. time. We will. You're wrong about him. He's a decent lad. He's had one good idea. One more than you. Ah. You're not asleep yet, then? What time is it? Oh, getting on for 11. Where's Linda? Oh, don't worry about her. She's uh, gone out for a drink with one of her mates. Doesn't she want to see me? Yeah, of course she does. Look, uh, why don't you go to bed, eh, and see her in the morning? I missed you, Dad. I miss Linda, too. I'm glad to hear that, son. Hi, Linda. Listen, I don't care where you are. Well, he's fine. Listen, if you can't be bothered to come home to see him, don't bother coming home at all, all right? didn't go off. Are you still sleepy? Sarah, you wanted. Be right. Come on, you. So when do we go? Now that I don't know, because we're going to have to work on some dates. What's up? Martin's got something to tell you. Well, what is it? Because I'm kind of in the middle of something. All right. Well, I don't want to take up your time. But I thought you might like to know that we're going on holiday, camping. What, all of us? No, I'm staying here with Bethany. Well, we're going and the Websters are going, because Kevin is taking the girls. Well, do I have to go? Sarah? Well, do I? Well, no. You don't have to, no. Well, can I go back upstairs then, because I've kind of got a project to finish? So, just you men then. Sorted. And Rosie and Sophie. Birmingham's. Oh, don't be like that. Well, I'll be outnumbered. <laughs> Hang on, can I take a mate? Yeah, yeah. Can't see why not. But not Simon. Countryside's suffered enough already without you two being set loose on it. Yeah, well, I have got more than one mate, you know. And I'm just a bloke. Mine now, it's hot. <laughs> right, Dennis. Yeah. Anything yet? Nothing now. Just more or less living at that job centre. Oh, I feel awful. The atmosphere in the factory is terrible. Well, it's not your fault. It's Les's big gob that's to blame. Mm, still, I'm supervisor and I still can't do anything. I'm sorry. Two breakfast, one extra sausage. Yeah. Are you at home, Greg? I'm on a diet. You need to keep your energy up. All them interviews you'll be going for. What interviews? Do you know what job centre had for me yesterday? Giblet extractor at a chicken factory, two bus rides away. And you're not fancy that, no? Would you like to spend eight hours a day when you ramp up a chicken's backside? Well, I'd do it if I had to, but I'd rather have some a bit closer to warm. Yeah, like what? Like here. Toya's going to put in a word for me. Mm. I want to work in a greasy spoon. Besides, I quite like being a lady of leisure. Well, I don't. Leisure is fine for them that can afford it. I can't. You've dragged your feet, haven't you? The others were back ages ago. So what time are you meeting him? Four o'clock in the precinct. He won't show up, you know. Oh, talk to yourself, Norris. At least you'd be listening to sense. What? No, I was talking to myself. What? I was talking to myself. They're all either brain dead or deaf. And to think I was once voted Northwest Achiever of the Year, it's enough to make you weep. 
So what makes you think he's not going to show? What makes you think he will? Oh, you're just jealous. I've got a boyfriend, a flesh and blood one. Yeah, so he keeps saying. One that buys me gifts. Anyway, he's not my boyfriend. We just chat, that's it. Yeah, but you want him to be a boyfriend. Why else do you want to meet him? He's got a girlfriend. Yeah, and you want to steal him away, admit it. Oh, we just get on so well online, but he's not going to like me in person, though. Sarah, get real, you're gorgeous. We're both going to carry a copy of this, just so we recognise each other. Oh, you'll recognise each other. You'll have spots, braces and an anorak. The usual. <laughs> well, we'll go to a proper campsite. Won't be halfway up a mountain. It's very kind of you to think of Wayne. Well, it's David's idea, really. They seem to get on really well. I'm glad he's made a friend. <laughs> so what do you reckon? Uh, well, I'll have to talk to Roy and Wayne about it. We'll get back to you. Yeah, all right, then. I'll see you later. See you. Vera. I know, I'm late. I'll work through my dinner. Uh, Hayley, could I have a word about the car? Oh, not now, Toy. I'm going to be late. Can you talk to Roy? OK. Right, I'm off down the post office. Oh, well, yeah, going to the Happy Farm. <laughs> Must be nice, having a job. Oh, love, taking an artist over. She's loving every minute of unemployment. Mm. Right, I'm just going to nip to Lou and I'll walk down with you. Well, I'm, I'm just... <sighs> All right. Uh, you want to see it across the road? See you later, love. Yeah, good luck. Cheers. What does Sinead look for? Oh, she's off to job centre. Mm, say no more. Oh, she hates being unemployed. Usually it's Les out of work sponging off her, and now he's loading it over her. Swine. Listen, I'll keep my ears open if I hear of old, old tip of the wing. Actually, I was thinking there. Uh, well, it doesn't seem right, me having two jobs and my mum having none. Uh, well, you see, you're like me. You're not afraid of hard work. Well, I was thinking of having a word with Roy. You know, if I take on more hours at the pub, she could help out here. What do you reckon? Um, well, I don't see why not. Uh, as long as she pulls away, you know, I can't abide slackers. No. Sarah, do, do you mind clearing a few tables? I'll have a cup of tea first, cos I'm fit for note, me, you know, and I'm parched. you weren't coming in today. Did he now? He must be getting forgetful in his old age. Anyway, what are you doing standing on steps, Barlow? Should have brewed up by now. What do you think we'd pay you for? Do you know what? I had no idea you were so petty. I turned me back for two minutes and you're gone without me. Am I not good enough to sit in your car now? You said it. Mike, this is ridiculous. We can't carry on like this. Adam's going to notice. Adam's fine. You just stay away from him. Stay away from me. Not the forgiving type, your husband. You found any work yet? No, why would I need another job? I've got an husband who's mad about me and loves supporting me. You're fun with your gussets, though, eh? Who's looking after it? Shop? Oh, uh, Emily's holding the reins. Huh? I, I thought I'd just pop up and see if you were feeling any better. Oh, shortbread, sir. Glad to see your appetite's not suffering. <laughs> Look, I said I'd be down after lunch. What's the matter? Nothing. I just thought I'd check on you. Not, well, to, to be honest, uh, I, I've always thought of us more as friends than employer and employee. And if, if there is something wrong, Rita, I'd, I'd like to think you could share it with me. Well, there is something on my mind. Right. Think of me as a priest, eh? Father Norris. Well, it's Anthony. Uh, I guess there's much. Go on. I'm thinking of taking off for a few months, going to visit him in New Zealand. Well, what about the cabin? I, I mean, Cartmel's one thing, but New Zealand... And anyway, I've seen how your feet swell up in the summer. On a long flight like that, they, they could explode. Are you talking to me as an employee or as a friend? <sighs> Sorry. Oh, don't do anything rash, Rita. I mean, Alma's death has made us all stop and take stock. I suppose it's only natural you want to make changes, do something dramatic, but... Is that how you really feel? I'm not so sure. <laughs> I've got study period after lunch. Right, well, I'll walk back with Sarah then. What are you up to tonight? 
Where am um, uh, I? Candice is helping me with my project, aren't you? Yeah. Right. I'll see you tomorrow then, before school. Come here, you. I told Martin we'd get back to him, but I've been thinking about it all morning and I can't see how we can let him go camping. I mean, what if social services want to call in on his mother and we can't get him back in time? They can't expect him to be tied to the house all the time. And they'd probably be glad that he was having a nice holiday. I mean, this is exactly what should happen. When he's making friends, he's being included into the community. So you think it'll be all right? I don't know. Me neither. But it's a wonderful opportunity. He would have a marvellous time. Yes, yes, I, I think we should let him go. All right, OK, well, I'll talk to him after school then. Roy, uh, I'm sorry to spring this on you, but uh, Dougie's asked me to take some extra shifts on at the pub, so I'm going to have to cut my hours down here. But I need you. Oh, well, that's what I said. I said, it's all right, that Dougie Ferguson snapping his fingers, making demands. I said, but there's that all right to think about. I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't want to let either of you down. Oh, if only there was somebody, you know, that could help out here, so you could work at Rovers. You know, somebody hard-working, reliable. Yeah. Somebody that's just lost the job. Yeah, I know, Toya. What about your mum? Has she found work yet? Uh, not that I know of, no. Oh, cos she'd be ideal, you know. She lives on the doorstep, she makes best of her appearance. She makes a lovely cup of tea. Do you need the money? Hey, Roy, you could end up a Samaritan, you know, taking her off the door and giving her back her self-respect. Look, Roy, she's very hard-working and I know that she's desperate to find a job. Look, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll come back to you. See? Subtlety works every time. Look, <laughs> Mum. Don't point, Sophie. It's rude. Come on, let's get you off to the doctor's. You're getting quite good at that. Well, I've had enough practice. Meaning? Nothing. It's just, you know, there's more to life than just snogging. Not this again. I don't mean sex. Well, what do you mean? Well, we can just talk sometimes. <laughs> Shut up. There's a, there's a nag running in 320, mate. It's right up your street. You, uh, you're going to have a flutter? Yeah, but we could do with a top of rain, couldn't we? Huh? What? Hi, Jack. Good morning, my little darling. Would you like me to stop all the traffic so you can get across? Yes, please. Right. Jack! Look out, Jack! Yeah, well, we're in the cafe having it now. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't know you were going to cook. Yeah, well, do whatever you like. Bye. Is Linda coming to the cinema? Hey, uh, no, she's busy. Vera, you better come quick, it's Jack. Jack! Oh. What's the matter with him? He's outside. You were going way too fast there. He just stepped off the pavement. Well, it is a zebra crossing. Oh, my God! It's all right, don't panic, Vera. He's, he's all right. Jack, what happened? He didn't look. He just stepped out in front of me. I did, Luke. You driving around like David Clint Coutard. You could have killed Sophie then. Oh, give over. I didn't hear him. Look, let's all just calm down here. Important thing is that nobody's been hurt. <sighs> look, if he didn't see me or hear me, then he shouldn't be doing the job in the first place. It's you that shouldn't be doing the job. Tearing round, nearly killing folk. You're a maniac, you! And he's a deaf old coot. Right. Oh! Right, right, Jack, come on, look. let's take you for a drink. Here, tell Roy. I'm having an afternoon off. I'm in shock. Come on, love. Do you think I'm being silly? No. No. There's one thing I have learnt these last few months is the need to seize the day. I mean, look at Alma. Do you know, I was so upset when I thought she was going to live in Shropshire. And actually, I'd give anything to know that she were there now. Sorry, yeah, sit down, mate. I'll give you a drink back. 
Hey, Tui, can I have, uh, I'll have two large brandies and a pint, please? Brandies? Yeah, Jackie nearly got knocked down on crossing. Is he all right? I think so, yeah. I always thought I'd see me days out here. But you're not thinking of staying in New Zealand? Oh, who knows? I must admit, I mean, the thought of another English winter interpeeling. But go on a cruise. Oh, no, Rita, don't emigrate. I don't want to lose another friend. You do miss her, don't you? Oh. Jack. You've got a nerve. Jack. Well, ignore me then, why don't you? Uh, what's going on? I'm trying to apologise. Yeah, what for? What for? He nearly killed my husband, that's what for. Oh, come back to finish the job off, have you? Uh, you want to bar him? You want to bar him? Hey, does anyone should be barred? It's you, you old bag. He oh. was trying to apologise to you. Oh, yeah. Look, just leave him. No, I won't. I'm not having a nurse slagging you off. The way he drives, there should be a nurse, not driving a cab. That way he could knock him down and take him straight to the cemetery all in one trip. That slander, my husband's a good driver. Give over, no, be safe with him on the road. I, I wasn't speeding. You were uh, you were going way too fast, the you, Jack? Oh, sure. Just look at his hand. Look, he's had a bypass, you know. Bypass? And what if you had a flaming lobotomy? If he's that past it, he shouldn't be allowed out on the street, should he? Watch it, yo. He's not past it. Who's past it? What? Oh. oh, you know, I swear, if you ever end up like either of these two, I'll have you put down. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. At least let me pay for these drinks, eh? We don't want your conscience money. Are you feeling any better, Jack? Jack? What? Sorry, son, I didn't hear you. I said, are you feeling any better? Aye, 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 aye. aye. Oh. Can you see him? No. Well, listen, you can go if you want. Don't be daft. You meet someone off the internet, do you not read the papers? Yeah, well, just promise me you go as soon as he gets it. I'm only checking he's not a muppet. And if that's him, you're dead. I knew that wasn't TJ. How come? Well, I just got this picture in my head, you know how I imagine him when we're chatting. Mm. What, with no clothes on? Oh, don't be <laughs> disgusting. Well, what does he look like, then? Well, he's better than him. And he's got a big smile and nice dark eyes. Yep, and spots, braces and an anorak. Ten a bit. <laughs> so, have you ever been camping before? No. Oh, I remember the first time I went. Ging gang gooly 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 watch a ging gang goo, ging gang goo. Did ging you go with girl guides? No. My mum tried to get me interested in cubs. I went once. We played this game where the older ones threw a ball at the younger ones. I didn't like it much. Oh, that doesn't sound like much fun. Still, David's dad won't throw a football at you. He's a nurse. Would you be cross if I said I didn't want to go? Of course not. Don't you want to? No. And do you want to tell me why not? I suppose we'd be sharing a tent and I don't want to have an accident in the night. I see. I don't mind you and Roy knowing, but others. I completely understand. Well, don't worry, I'll just tell David's dad it's not convenient. How would that be? I'd like that. Sorry for being a nuisance. You are not a nuisance. Only I'm worried about bills and stuff. Have you tried wheelers? Yeah, without doing. I might try Linda again. See if she'll have another word with Baldwin. <laughs> what? What? I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you. Oh, cheers, mate. See you later. Sorry. Oh, bother. Janice, would you like a job? Excuse me. Oh, Todd. Sarah, sorry, I thought... No way. Julia. TJ. I don't believe it. This is weird. You're TJ. Todd James. No. What? Todd James Grimshaw, you dead! 
can't say long, actually, because I've got uh, Richard coming round to have a look through some of Alma's photo albums. Ooh. Yeah, don't go owing me, madam. What did I say? <laughs> you don't have to say anything, because I know what you're thinking. Mm. Do you really? What, love it? I know what people are thinking. What am I thinking now? Oh, well, you are thinking how glamorous your granny is, am I right? If I say yeah, will you buy me a new sleeping bag? What? Stop it, David. He's excited. He's going camping with Martin. Got another holiday? Well, Martin can't be short of a bobber to... How long is it since you had a proper holiday? I don't need a holiday. <sighs> well, I wouldn't mind one. Did you know Rita's thinking of emigrating to New Zealand? She never. Hmm. All my friends seem to be disappearing on the... Well, you can go and visit her. You can use the money Alma's left you when it comes through. I'm not touching Alma's money. Well, she'd want you to have some fun with it. Where's Sarah? Gone round to Candice's. You know, she's working really hard this term. They're doing some project together. Oh. Sitting in your room, chatting up girls, and all this time you say that I'm the only one for you. Well, you scum, Todd Grimshaw. I'm sorry, all right? Yeah, well, you made a fool out of me, and you made it be my boyfriend. I am your boyfriend. Well, Candice, don't overreact. Yeah, well, you can have your chain back because I don't believe anything you've ever said to me before. I don't want my chain back. Well, you can have it back because I don't want it as soon as I can get it off. Look, I was just chatting, all right? Nothing else happened and I haven't met anyone else, only Sarah. Candice, it was a coincidence, all right? He didn't know it was me and I didn't know it was Todd. Oh, and you, you probably did this on purpose. You're just as bad as he is. I bet you love saying this, though, didn't you? Just to humiliate me. Candice, I wouldn't do that to you. And anyway, it was you that said I should meet TJ in the first place. Yeah, well, I hate you and I hate you. Candice, wait. I'm to start at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Oh, well done. Oh, do you know Roy's a dead nice boss to work for? And he lets you keep your own tips. Do them lorry drivers still go in? You know that you were telling me about we're big biceps. <laughs> P.A. <laughs> oh, look, love, I, I just want to say thank you. It means a lot to me, you putting a word in for me like you did. I feel like I've got me self-respect back. Well, I never thought the day would come when I'd agree with Norris Cole, but you don't want to go to New Zealand. Don't I? Of course you don't. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here asking my advice. You'd go. Maybe I'm weighing up my options. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Well, I'm in the pub. Well, he's having his tea with Barlow. I don't care if you have been cooking all afternoon. Just stick it where the sun doesn't shine. Trouble? That's her middle name. Well, she disappeared to New Zealand. You don't mean that. <laughs> don't I? Mike, is this what you really want? Another marriage over? You four? I'm a successful businessman. Can't be good at everything. Don't do anything rash. It gets harder, you know, being on your own. Submerging yourself in your work. Spending your evenings in this place. Linda could just be your last chance. I think Anthony was mine. That puts us both in the same boat then, doesn't it? Hey, watch it. Good morning. I now declare this holiday well and truly over. Oh, don't say that. My head's still in bad bed, Yeah. Have a look around you. No, no, you can't make me. Mm. <laughs> Actually, I'm just going to nip to the cabin. Mm. Come back quick. Been waiting for you. Don't you mean you're waiting to see who comes out first? Candice! Wait! Candice! Blank me and all. You can't blame her. I don't. Do you have fallen out with my best friend thanks to you? Me? It was your idea to me. Oh, not exactly. And well, if I'd known who it was, then... I'm mad about her. 
You know I wouldn't have done out with anyone else. Oh, and I suppose you'd like me to tell her that. Would you? Are you stupid or what? Do your own grovelly. Hey, look at you. Nobody's allowed to come in this shop looking that fantastic. Oh, we had a great time. So what's been happening round here, then? Any gossip? Underworld's in trouble. You ought to have a word with your mate, Linda. Really? Mm, I'll catch up with her later. It's on the slate, love. Thanks. That's not the only thing that's in trouble as far as I can make out. Uh, Mike didn't know when he was well off with Alma. Oh, true. Now, talking of Alma, what do you think of Richard? Uh, is this uh, Alma's cousin we're talking about? Yes, he's coming with me to the hospital tonight because oh. there's a public meeting about this smear test fiasco. Oh, romance rears its head in the strangest of places. Actually, Norris, we're trying to get some justice for Alma, for everybody else that suffered like her. Richard's been very supportive. What? What's the matter with you? Upsetting customers? Well, you see, when one is worrying about whether one's employer is about to up sticks and decamp to a country which shares its emblem with a tin of shoe polish, it's very difficult to be charm personified. Hi, right, Jackie. Good morning, ladies. Do you want to cross? No, you're all right, Jack. I'll take him right. across. Come on, then. No, I said I'll take him. Come on with me there. If you don't give up this job, Jack, I'll have to report you. You're a danger to yourself and to everybody else. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I hate to say this, but it's right. There's nothing but nothing like an English cup of tea. Hey, you sound just like my mother, even when she comes back from India. Oh, English, English tea. tea. So was it fab, then? I can't begin to tell you. Probably the best holiday of my life. Don't suppose I have to ask you about the weather? Hot and steamy. Did I ask you about you and Gina? So, uh, you both fit for work, then? Well, can't speak for Gina, but I am going to take a shower and a few hours sleep before I even think about work. You know, this holiday's done wonders. He hasn't even asked me about the takings whilst he's been away yet. Have you any idea where Gina is? Only, uh, she's down for a shift tonight. <laughs> a shift? <laughs> tonight? Well, I'd rather you tell her than me. Is it? It's Toya at home, only I tried knocking, but there was no reply. I think she's at work, love. Ah, so that means she's going to be off work tonight, then. Why? You taking her out? I'm hoping to, yeah. Good. It's nice to see her going out and that. Look, I hope you don't mind me sticking my nose in, but there's a fine line between customer service and you stood there gossiping. Oh, you mean we all these people waiting? I mean, I'm in charge, the senior assistant, and I expect you to act more professional. Oh, I didn't get you in any bother today. Oh, don't worry, love. I can handle Vera. Trust me on that one. See you later. See ya. Yeah. What are you doing here? Customer service. Service with a smile. It's my new job. Mm. What can I get you? Uh, tea, please. What, what about factory? Oh, trouble a mill there, love. Karen's been laid off and all. We lost a big order. Well, there's loads gone on, you know, since you've been away. Did you have a nice time? Uh, yeah, never mind about that. What about Mike and Linda? Dagger's drawn. Ever since Alma died, really. Baldwin only sneaked off with her beforehand. So Linda shut the factory? Oh, um, cancel that too. Right. Who's next? Morning, Gail, my dear, and how are you? Very well, thank you. Oh, yeah, your, your mother was in earlier, full of a new friend. Richard? <laughs> yes, they're going to that meeting at the hospital tonight about the botched mm. smear test. Yeah, well, it's a bit late, if you ask me. Oh, I don't know. There's some good coming out of it. Oh? Well, I think it's safe to say she had a sparkle in her eye. <laughs> She's coping very well. It's been a very difficult time for her. No, if you ask me, it's celestial intervention. A last gesture from the other side. Sorry, Norris, you've lost me. Well, from Alma. Her cousin Richard might have been a shoulder for your mother to cry on in the first place, but I think we're well beyond the shoulders now. <laughs> Are you saying my mother's got something going with <sighs> Alma's cousin? No, oh, he's saying now to the sort, are you, Norris? Aren't I? Something else I've got wrong. <sighs> he doesn't seem to realise what a liability he is. I've been married to him for 40 years. He's always been a liability. He could have got himself hurt. Or a kiddie. Oh, no. Our Jack loves kids. 
They'd never let all happen to him, especially you two. I'll have another word. Well, you'll be lucky if he is, yeah. He's as deaf as a post. If you don't do something about it, Vera, I'm going to have to. Vera, excuse me, love. I know you won't mind me asking. Uh, customer service are gossiping. I, I can't seem to get the anger there. <laughs> Janice, enjoying this more than Baldwin's? Well, at least I knew we were working far over there. Martin, it's about Wayne. What about him? Uh, he can't come on the camping trip. <gasps> Why? What's the problem? Well, it's this fostering thing. They're planning a home visit next week. Excuse me. What are you doing here? Have you got time to talk? Upstairs. Janice? Here, yeah, Janice, uh, you're in charge. You are? I I've got to go out for a bit. Yeah, I hope power doesn't go to me head. It was his place. Harrison's cave, they call it. Never mind about that. What about love? Mm, well, plenty of that. <laughs> Hello, I missed you. Oh, it's jet lag. It's romantic. It's true. Uh, have you told her yet? Told me what? Told her you haven't told. You're working tonight. No. Oh, please. Uh, Doug is at speaking do. Sorry. Mm, well, he learned to make a fab cocktail. He set fire to it. You've let me down any road. I thought you'd be coming back with a wedding ring. Oh. I did not put her up to that. A friend of mine got wed there on the beach. Well, how could this happen? Hmm? One second we're talking about flaming cocktails, and next week we're talking about weddings. You're all obsessed. Did you see the look of fear in his eyes? OK, <laughs> listen, I think I should get you away from these two. They're a bad influence. I don't know you can sit there after what's happened. Hey. I said, I don't know you can sit there after what's happened. I heard you, Vera. I said, eh, because I don't know what the hell you're talking about. All losing your memory, besides nearly being knocked down. Well, don't shout at me. Go and shout at Stephen McFlaming Maniac. Look, Jack, do you want another drink? Who's, who's mother, I think? Oh, that's it. You're going to the doctors and make an appointment. Appointment? She's in a terrible state. What was Mike thinking of? Well, there's never been anything straightforward about Mike and Linda, right? Yeah, but, I mean, what does it make her look like? Him going off with his ex-wife. Mm. A dying woman. Yeah. I know, but... It... Listen, we have had a sensational holiday, yes? And I have not discussed work since we got back, so you must not talk about or to Linda. Yeah, but she because needs it will bring you down and a holiday will vanish into this cauldron that is Linda Baldwin's life. It's social services. But they haven't found out. They can't have. They're coming to see us tomorrow. Why? Will you tell me? I don't know. Well, neither do I. But a kid's going to have to be there. Well, yeah, yes, of course, I mean, I understand. But, I mean, didn't they give a reason? No. Well, it's Saturday tomorrow. I didn't know they were Saturdays. Well, maybe they need the overtime. So, but still, they, they are coming to see you. That does make it out of the ordinary. They must know something or suspect. If they did, the first thing they'd do is take the kid. Yeah, yes, of course they would. How do I know that this isn't some sort of subterfuge on your part? Hey. To get Wayne back. Roy, do you think if I wanted the kid back, I wouldn't just take him? The daft thing is... Well, the thing is... If you hadn't encouraged me, I would never would have met him in the first place. So it's my fault? No, I'm not saying it's your fault. Look, you've had all night and all morning to think of an excuse and the best you can do is that it's my fault. It was a laugh, that's it. Well, I don't find it funny. Well, he's still mad about you. He told me this morning. Ma! Hello, Louie. Hey, what did you want you to come for your tea tonight? Oh, Gail, no, I can't, cos me and Richard are going to the hospital. Well, I thought that was later. <laughs> come on, I need time to prepare. But we'll go to the Rovers after. Why don't you meet us then, huh? Well, as long as I'm not treading on anybody's toes. Gail, stop that. See ya. She's gone to the chippy. I've come to say I'm sorry. You made a fool out of me. Look, it were me that were being stupid. Because it was just easy writing stuff on the computer. But, but when I talk to you, it's just, you know, 
I don't know what to say. So you don't fancy Sarah then? Of course not. Only you. they find out. Do you think they have? Well, I don't know. Maybe the neighbours have noticed that Wayne isn't around and tipped them off. But Wayne will be there. And if he doesn't say anything, I'm sure Alex and Sheila won't. Even so, it's more lies, more obfuscation. I don't even know what obfuscation means. <laughs> well, it's what we're doing. It's, it's, it's evading the truth. Telling stories. It's a bit late to be worrying about that now. I do, love. Hello, love. I, I just thought Gail would be pleased to hear her mother was getting over the trauma. And the way you were talking, you'd have thought her and that Richard were dancing on Alma's grave. And that's the polite version. Liaisons like this are a well-known phenomenon. It's the affirmation of the life force in the face of death. Oh, well, there's another well-known phenomenon. Norris Cole sticking his foot in his gob. Thanks, oh, Jack. Sorry. And what are you doing in here? You should be at the surgery with the doctor. If it's out catching, breathe on Norris. I have made an appointment. It's, it's not catching, is it? Deafness. And I hope you told him it were urgent. Deafness isn't urgent, surely. I can't say that, Rita. It's the cause, not the effect. Monday, first thing. That's an urgent do. I mean, brain tumours, if they're big enough, you know. No, 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 no. They've been out like that, no. Oh, yeah, that then, did you? Well, to have a brain tumour, you've got to have a brain. No, I'd better be getting back. I'll be making dinners all afternoon, so make me tea. Sorry, love, I didn't. I just didn't catch that one. Oh, come on, get out. Vera's gone out again. Oh. Second time today. Well, did she say where she was going? <laughs> Not to me. Could you buy me the way? It's going to be difficult for Wade to buy. He'll manage. Yeah, but he'll need coaching on what to say or... What not to say? One word out of place. Right. If we say anything to him tonight, particularly with you in this state, it's just going to wind him up. We'll not say anything until morning. Yes, 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 yes. You're quite right. So okay. you're going to have to calm down, or else he'll know something's up. Go for a walk. Yeah, yeah yes, I, I, I can do that. Um, Janice, can, can you manage on your own if I take a bit of a constitutional? I've been managing on my own all day. Is Vera not here then? Your mum said you were out here. Well, does your girlfriend know you've come? No. Oh, so she's not set you up to come round and take the mick out of the saddo from the chat room? I wouldn't have done it if she had. If Candy says jump, you ask which cliff? I only came to say thanks. What for? For putting a word in with the format. Yeah, well, I'm not like her. I mean, if she's got a cob on, she makes sure everybody else has. Ta, anyway, you know, if things have been... I mean, you were really great last, Sarah. You, you're really nice, and you're smart, too. Yeah, well, and a lot of good that's going to do me. It will. We're not all just after the same thing, you know. Yeah, right. You're trying to tell me you won't be up for it if Candice had let you. Exactly. And I'm still going out with her, aren't I? Well, it's a pity there's not more boys like you. So, are you seeing her tonight? Pictures. See ya. See ya. Listen, um, can you manage without me for five minutes? Yeah, I don't see why not. We're practically outnumbering them at the moment. Cheers. Hey, well, you needn't work tonight, after all, then. I can always use the money. Do you fancy doing something after clothes? Nah, but thanks, eh? Now, that's what I call devotion. You what? Giving up your Friday night. Nursing a pint in a back street pub just so he can be with you. <laughs> well, I didn't force him. <laughs> well, I'm happy. Well, when you're ready for an older woman, I could do with a nice bloke for a change. <laughs> 
So how was the meeting? Oh, well, as a former councillor, I've seen... I did tell you that I used to be a councillor, didn't I, Richard? I think you mentioned it, yes. Yeah, well, I have seen some waffle and cover-up in my time, but this just about took the biscuit, I'm telling me. Or at least it would have done if Richard hadn't been so brilliant. <laughs> I was hardly that. Oh, you were, you were. I, you wouldn't let them off the hook, Gail, I'm telling you. In fact, they tried to fob him off, but he wasn't having any. Anyway, you should have been the councillor, Richard. <laughs> so what happens next? A report. A whitewash, if they can get away with it. Actually, we thought we'd go and talk about what happens next over a meal. Audrey tells me La is very good. And very expensive. Why don't you join us? My treat. Well, oh, the thing is, no, because um, Gail's got the children to look after. And I mean, she needs more notice. Yeah, well, um, not exactly dressed for a posh restaurant, no. You look absolutely fine to me. Oh, now, Richard, come on. Don't put her in a position she can't refuse. You're far too generous for your own good, you. Another time, perhaps. Thank you. I was watching that. Yes, and the old flaming street were listening to it. Vera, I'm only a bit out of hearing. You're as deaf as a dead donkey. Thank you, Vera. That's really bugged me up. Look, Jack, it's no. Just get yourself an hearing aid. You'll be fine. Do you know what I do at night? What? Do you know what I do? Well, I'll tell you, before I get in bed, I take a pill to make sure my heart doesn't pack in while I'm asleep. I take my glasses off. I take my teeth out. Now it's going to be an earring aid. There's going to be more of me on the table than there is in the bed. I'm now but a bucket full of spare flaming parts. Oh, Jack, I need glasses for reading and, and, and teeth to chew on. Yes, I, I know, but otherwise you're as fit as a butcher's dog, aren't you, me? I'm on the way out. The only reason I'm going deaf now is so I can't hear the Grim Reaper galloping up behind me. Oh, don't be so flaming morbid. Oh, I'm right, though. Look... My granny used to say, a creaking gate lasts longest. Look, you'll outlive us all. Somehow I doubt it, Vera. But don't you dare tell anybody I told you this, otherwise I will deny it. I don't want to outlive you, not by one single minute. Oh, Jack. <laughs> oh, oh. Why don't you take your break now? What about Gina? Oh, she's next to useless after that flight. I'm better off on my own, not there's nothing to do. Oh, do you fancy a walk? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, come here. Hey. I've been waiting to do this all night. Oh, the, uh, Shelley might say. Oh, nobody's going to see. Mm. Oh, what's up? You all right? Yeah, I just, um... Look, not yet, eh? Yeah. Bear with me, yeah? Okay. Hi, Louise. Stuck at home on a Friday night, huh? You too? <laughs> yeah, Brittany stood me up. Sadly. Mm. Yeah. yeah. We're together. Mm -hmm. If I close my eyes, will you wake me up again? Oh. Mm. Uh, uh, no, don't, 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 don't. If I lie down, we'll never get up. So? So, Shelley says it's quiet and you can go home. Home? 
Yep. Come on. Um, I've got to do what I shouldn't do. Well, I do it at my place. Do mine as well. <laughs> These last two weeks, they've been best in my life. I don't want them to end. Yeah, me neither. So come on, we'll pick your things up on the way. All this rushing about is stupid. <sighs> I know, it's worth it. Yeah, but us, having separate places, it's daft. Why don't I just move in? <laughs> what, when you won't even do my washing? If these last two weeks weren't as much to you as it did to me. Yeah. Come on. You can't tell me it's not the best idea in history. What do you think? I rang you last night. Did you? Yeah, but it was engaged the whole time. Oh, right. It must have been my mum. We went to the pictures. Did you? Yeah, what did you do? Nothing much. Just um, did my homework, went to bed early. You better make sure you don't die at an early age at that rate. <sighs> yeah. So you rang me then? Yeah. So are we like mates again then? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'll just dump this in there and I'll come round to yours later. All right then. OK. See ya. See ya. Hi. Cheers, there you mate. Well, yeah. Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, come on. Yes or no? No. So what's up? Well, I think I came on a bit too strong last night. Well, did she say help? No. You know, I really admire you. You do? Yeah. Trying to start a relationship after everything she's been through, well, it can't be easy. Well, it isn't. And I mean, I try and take things easy. But I keep getting hurt, Dennis. What is it? Well, it's like, when I try to get a bit close, she backs off. And I mean, I know it's only natural and understandable and all of that, but it's like I keep being rejected, you know. I mean, it's dead hurtful, but I guess that's just me being selfish, innit? Yeah, maybe it's just you being human. Why don't you buy her some flowers? Can't do any harm, can it? <laughs> Come on. You know, most wives have been making the husband's breakfast in bed, on a Saturday. <laughs> yeah, I'm more for them. The paper. There you go. I'm gonna go and catch the post. Should be here by now. Seen him. Yeah? And? And what? What do you mean, and what? Was there anything for me? Uh, yes, uh, consolidate all your loans into one big debt. I've been there. And no passport? No. Well, what am I gonna do? This will be here by now. Oh, that's a great help. Right. What? <laughs> I'm going to go shopping, that can my nerves, get some holiday stuff. You've just gone and got a load of stuff? Yeah, well, I need some sunglasses. Oh, uh, right. Oh, come on then, dig deep. Oh, do you want me getting a permanent squint? Just got to wait for Vera and then we'll be off. I am coming back, Anna. Of course you are, love. Yeah, the social workers are just going round to your house to see you. Just got to convince them that everything's all right at home. Right. Yes, we shouldn't really be asking Wayne to do this. I don't mind. Are you sure? Not if it means I can carry on living here with you both. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, getting there. Yeah. Listen, should I just get a few bits and bobs for my flat or do a big shop at Fresh Coffee for your oh, freezer? Mm, well, I can see where this is going. Well, I must suppose planning in decent meals if I don't know where I'm going to be cooking. Oh, well, I'll take you out to eat instead. I didn't mean that. Come on, there's got to be an easier way, don't you think? Um, no. What? Um, look, trust me, it's a bad idea. But it makes perfect uh, sense. Listen, we had a great holiday, yes? Yeah. But you moving in on that basis is not the same thing. Why? Why? Because life is not a, a, a holiday. Oh, great. 
So you're saying we're just a holiday romance? No, I'm not. You know I'm not. Come here. I'm just saying that living together might have its problems. Yeah? Morning, Mike. Usual? Uh, yeah, please. Uh, listen, it's Linda, and I thought I might pop round later. I don't know, and I don't care. As far as I'm concerned, she can drop dead. Put the change in the charity box, will you? Married bliss. Maybe this is a mistake. Perhaps we should go back and think about it some more. No, it'll be all right. I want to do it, honest. Are you sure? Yeah, then we can all be a family. I'm beginning to give up on you. All right, kiddo? Yeah. In you go. Is she the red? She's down the shops. Oh, well, perhaps we'd better wait for her to come back. Mm. See yourselves. Social worker said half past. It's half past now. You know what they're like, they're always running late. Is he coming in? No, right, no. We'll, we'll go. What, what time should we come and pick him up? Ring in an hour. So, there you are. Everything's rosy. Yeah, I feel great, thanks. No, nothing to do with me. It's your constitution. You're obviously born for babies. Oh, don't say that. Just let me get the first one sorted, all right? <laughs> Those were the days. Oh, well, you're still in the market. <laughs> you must be joking. See ya. See you later. OK, next. Ah, uh, Mrs Jones. Right, after you. Dr Ramsden? Yeah. They've suspended people over the smear scandal. Oh, good. Well, let's hope they get the right ones. What do you mean? Well, we don't want sacrificial lambs. We want the people in charge. Hi. Hi. Just let her pop in. What's up? Uh, oh. That's just what Richard said, that. Really? Yeah. He said whenever there's a scandal, they always sat the lowest down the chain. How was dinner? Helped me such a lot since Alma died. Really? Mm. I think I should cook for him. What do you think? I mean, he seems quite a lonely soul. Well, um, <coughs> well, you might be a bit vulnerable at the moment, ma'am. What do you mean? Well, you don't know him all that well, do you? Gail, honestly, I know he's alone like me. What more do I need to know? Cheers, then. You all right? Hmm? You look like the bottom's dropped out of the underwear market. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. So what's up? You don't look like your usual sparky self, Michael. And that's your business, isn't it? Oh, OK. It's just a little comment that you made about Linda earlier. Everything all right? Just um, very well timed as far as I'm concerned, really. Um, Gina's got this, uh, this idea of moving in with me. She's got this... Uh, romantic notion of, like, two people living together. And that includes all the affairs there as well, does it? You are? Ah, oh, forget it. It's nothing. Nothing. Well, there might be a reason. Oh, of course there is. They've taken the money and run. Well, you don't know that. What else could it be? That's the seventh time I've rung. I left it ringing for two minutes each time. That's 14 minutes of ringing. An hour, he said. Four and a half hours ago. What are you going to do? I'll go around there. What about the social workers? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with them if they actually exist. Are you on your own? Yes, I sent Norris at the wholesalers. We just wind me up sometimes. Really? Yeah. Anyway, I had a lovely chat with Anthony yesterday. In New Zealand? Yes, off peak rate. Are you going? No, I don't think so. The point is, I can't mention it to Norris. He gets all sanctimonious and judgmental. We just get on my nerves. Oh, they are wonderful, aren't they, though? What are? Phones. I mean, someone you love goes right to the other side of the world, and in the olden days, it was like they'd be dead. Now, you just pick up a phone and talk with them, hear their voice. Talk about what you've done in the day. Talk about what you're going to do tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry, love. It must be hard for you. Huh? Oh, well, we adjust, don't we? Yeah, 
You after Alex? Uh, uh, Mr Swinton, yes. Oh, you best leave a message then, didn't I? Y you don't happen to know where they went. And you are? Uh, um, friends of the family. Well, I don't know, to be honest. But it must have been important. They all went tearing off a couple of hours ago. Who shall I say called, then? Oh, don't worry, we'll catch up with them later. Okay. Oh. I know it. It's just a scam. What do we do now? What bands do you like? Drum boy. No way, me too. You sound really cool. We're both cool, Gary. Well, you shouldn't have waited at home in case there's any news. Yeah, yeah, yes, we will. It's, I just want to gather my thoughts away from there. Why? Because every time I look round that flat, I'll see Wayne. And I'll, I'll think about what we've done and the trouble we might have caused. And I can't think straight. I've never felt so helpless. Well, maybe we should go to social services and just explain what's happened. Oh, and then what? Get arrested. What's that? It's branded. It's supposed to steady the nerves. I know I upset her, but I mean, she has been seeing a lot of him and we don't know much about him, do we? I know her, but people who are lonely don't always see things the same way as others. I know she's lonely, especially now. And I know I should see more of her, but there's just not enough hours in the day. Mothers and daughters, eh? Speaking of which, how's yours? Oh. <laughs> Tied to the computer. You know, homework used to be a chore, but since we got that computer, she doesn't seem to mind. Oh, well, good for her. <laughs> Won't stop us screaming for a tea, though, so <laughs> I'll see you later. All right, love. Ta-da. Bye-bye. Hi. Hi, Agnew. Hello, Councillor. Hello, Doc. Oh, I see they've finally done something about those smear tests. Yeah, I've read it. That's not going to be the end of it, though, is it? But not if I've got anything to do with it, no. The inquiry's gathering pace. And between you and I, I've heard they've appointed a top judge to head it up. So as soon as I know, you'll know. Great. Mm. I just don't think you should use Mike and Linda as role models, that's all. Penny Rod, it's probably nothing serious. Everyone has niggles. Not like this. What do you mean? Mike... Mike caught Linda in bed with Harvey Rubin. Shall we go to private chat? Yes, please. Sarah! Look who I found on the doorstep. Hey. Hey, uh, Have a tea? Uh, yes, please. I'll just finish you off or just be a mo. What are you doing? Oh, just that stuff for Mr. Bernstein. Really? Really? <laughs> um, we're just finishing off. It'll only be two seconds. Yeah, well, I only came round to say you're going to come out because there's more to life than being in your bedroom. Yeah, I know. I know. You're right. All right, I'll just be one second, OK? Too strongly all night. You didn't. Are you sure? 
Yeah. Uh, I've been a bit worried about you, to be honest. Me? Well, it can't be very nice for you. I just feel like I'm always giving you the brush off. Oh, no, 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 I understand, honestly. There's no problem. Good. Oh, I knew you'd say that. <laughs> I thought I'd be sat here drinking orange juice. It's clearly doing you some good. You're glowing with health. <laughs> I could do with a picture of you in my surgery. You too could look like this. Mm. <laughs> as long as you're having a baby. True. <laughs> hey, look, it must be doing him some good. Look, he's glowing as well. Hey, it's wonderful, mate. I recommend it. Oh, you must be joking. Why? I spend all day with the little darlings. Last thing I want to do is to come home to them and all. That's nice, Stephen. That's nice. Have you been for these sunglasses in Australia? Ah, oh, fat chance without a passport. Oh, yeah? Any signs they can pose? No. Oh, well, fantastic. I've got a great pair of sunglasses, nice swimwear, smashing summer stuff and for what? Spend two weeks down the tanning salon in Canal Street. You know, my dad always said you cannot drink your way out of a problem. No, well, not you again. <clears throat> Haven't you got anything better to do? Frankly, no, not when I see a mate of mine doing the wrong thing. Look. You're an achiever. This right, is not achieving anything. So what am I supposed to mm. do? Do what you do in business, OK? You've got a problem, confront it. <laughs> not as easy as that. Yes, it is. Here's someone who's really hurt you, yes? So what would you do if this was someone who, uh, uh, I don't know, would work for you? Exactly. Exactly. Not the same. Not the same at all. You see, she's my wife. And you love her? Still, I mean, in spite of what she did, my friend, you have a problem. Karen, um, have you got a minute? Uh, yeah. Can you come to it back? I need a word. <laughs> What's all this about, Linda? <sighs> right. Take it you've heard about Harvey, then. What is she playing at? Oh, I don't know. I think she's just keeping her head down for now. Yeah, well, I should think so and all. Have you seen the state of Mike? Yeah, well, she did think Mike and Alma were off for a last fling. What? Mike went away with Alma. And, well, that's when she did it, you know, to get back at him. All night, Mike got back, caught over with his pants around his ankles, and then it just backfired. Oh, no. I don't know. Maybe she was scared that him and Alma were getting back together. I just think you were worried about her, mate. No wonder she hadn't been able to face me. Stupid idiot. She does realise she's throwing her marriage away. Never mind a marriage. What about his jobs? Oh, because of Ruby in the slime ball? I don't believe this. I thought she'd learnt a lesson after last time. How do you mean? Oh, um, nothing. Men, eh? They don't put trouble, are they? Not if you know how to handle them, no? <laughs> My mum thinks badly drawn boy sounds like John Lennon. Do they know? I don't see the point of another day when nobody listens to a word I say. What's that? My mum's CD sting. Cool. Is that how you feel? Well, sometimes. I'm here. Whenever you want me, I'll be here for you. Well, this looks delicious. Oh, good. Mmm. <coughs> the wine. Well, it's a special bottle I was saving for a very special occasion. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Uh, now, tell me about your plans. Uh, I hope you're going to be staying around for a while. Well, I expect so. So long as I'm welcome. Anybody that cared about armour is always welcome here. Especially you. We all need friends. And you've been very kind to me. <laughs> well, you to me. Oh, dear. Excuse me. Oh, I don't know who that is. everything all right? Yeah, no, I just thought you might like a bit of company. Oh, oh well, isn't that nice? Now I've got two of you. <laughs> Hello, Richard. Hello, Gail. Nice to see you. 
Uh, why don't you join us? Uh, yeah. Actually, I've only made enough for two, no, but I'm sorry, Miss right, Chris. Not stopping. I'll leave you to it. Um, I just brought the book I mentioned. Oh, lovely. Oh, thank you. <sighs> Enjoy the rest of the evening. I'll see you then. Yeah. All right, my love. Bye bye. I'll see myself out. Bye, Richard. Night. Nice to have children poppy on on you. Yeah, she's very thoughtful, girl. I can see where she gets it from. <laughs> when are you going to go and see who that is? Well, it's unlikely to be anybody I'm interested in seeing. Probably the police or some other agent of the law that we've quite clearly flouted. Well, oh, love coming. Well, I think you're wrong there. Here he is. Wonder returns. <laughs> Where have you been? The hospital. Hospital? What for? My granny. Your granny? Did Alex not ring you? No. My granny got rushed into hospital. She was right poorly, so we had to go and see her and bring her stuff over and that. I said that you'd be wondering where I was. I said that you'd be worried. We are. Very. That's what I said. So Alex said that he'd ring you. Mm, well, never mind. You're home now. What, what, what about the social workers? The social workers? Oh, them. They didn't turn up. It was probably just another of Alex's wind-ups. <sighs> Alex. You all right? <laughs> yeah, I, I am now. <sighs> First half, uh, no Alma. <sighs> I suppose I'll get used to it in time. Being on my own. <sighs> you have to, don't you, huh? Does it worry you? No, not really. Oh, men. You're so self-contained, men. <sighs> then there's all the responsibility. I mean, I've got all that money of Alma's and I've no idea what to do with it. Nothing rash. All right, yeah. Very wise. You could try ISIS. Yeah, well... Are they as good as they claim, Isis? You see, our fee is to take care of all that for me. Well, if you like, I can have a look round for you. Oh, Richard, would you? Oh, oh, that would be wonderful. You don't know how it makes me feel, having someone to take care of all those things for me. Mm. <laughs> Cheers, mate, sir. It's not even here. Well, we fly tonight. What are we going to do? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll get at the passport office later on today. Yeah, but there's only one more post today. I, I'll, I'll sort it. It's all right. Just leave it to me. See you later. Later. So what flavour do you want? Cheese and onion. Right. No, actually, in fact, I think I want salt and vinegar. You know, you don't have to play games with older lads. Are we talking about Sam again, are we? No, there's other lads apart from Sam. In your dreams, maybe. There's no way this is going to get me in the kitchen. No way! He's China! <laughs> Rather you than me. Right, about a five-star hotel's more your scene, isn't it? <laughs> right, I tell you what, I'll treat you if you like. Hey, there you go, Toya. That's enough for your can't refuse. Uh, another time, eh? Yeah. Man's downright evil. He got pleasure from pulling that stunt yesterday. Well, we can't let him see he's getting to us, though. It'll just encourage him. That's what my teachers used to say about school bullies. <laughs> there you are. No, oh, doesn't always work, though, does it? Hmm. I love you, ready? I forgot to give you this. It's a letter about the opening evening on Friday night. Ooh. I've got a dinosaur on display that I made in art. Well, that's nice. You're allowed to come and see it. Well, yeah, the only thing is we don't want to arouse suspicion under the circumstances, do we? It's not just parents. Anyone's allowed to go. Yeah, but most will have some connection with the school, won't they? I don't know. And we can always see your dinosaur when you bring it home at the end of term. And anyway, um, your mum will be going, won't she? My mum never goes to school, still. If you can't go, you can't go. I'll see you tonight. Bye,
Okay, Mr. Rush, there's your appointment card. I'll see you next week and I'll definitely pass that message on. Okay, bye. bye. Pass what message on? Oh, patient confidentiality, Gail. Couldn't possibly comment. Sorry if I interrupted anything last night. Oh, do you know you worry too much, Gail? It's a perfect gent, Richard. Mm. As long as you know what you're doing. Well, it's going to be around for a bit, so you might as well get used to him. Oh? What makes you say that? Well, between you and me, I think he's got a bit of a crush on me. Have you ever heard anything so ridiculous in your life? Ma, where you're concerned, nothing amazes me anymore. I don't know how I do it. Thanks, love. Mm, these are meant to be for the plane. I'll be reading them at home by this rate. Well, you should have come by now. I know. Oh, have you rang them? Yes. Uh, panic over. They sent it last night. Special delivery. Yeah? Well, why haven't I got it? It'll be here by um, 12 o'clock. For certain? Oh, yes. They guarantee it. Yeah? Yeah. I'd go home now, though, because they didn't give an exact time. Right, OK. You are brilliant. Steve will get these, Rita. See you. <laughs> One satisfied customer, a nice start to the day. I knew it. Look, don't think you're getting out of this. What? Getting away, getting away with what? The doctor's appointment. What do you think? It slipped my mind, V. Well, it won't be the only thing that'll slip if you keep sloping off. Now, come on, let's be having you. Sorry. Ta -ra. Ta -ra. Ta -ra. <laughs> Couldn't last. There you go, love. So you liking it here, then? Yeah. It's nice to have a job again. Our lace is managing to stay out of trouble. Mm -hmm. Toya's got herself a decent block. Things are looking up. Unless you know something I don't. Well, Sam and Toya. Why? What have they done? That's what they've not done. That's the problem. What you want about? <sighs> well, he's man keen on her. She's keeping him at arm's length. Instead of what? Jumping straight into bed with him? No. He's just like every other bloke, is he? Only after one thing. Never mind what she's just been through. You more than anybody else, you know that not all blokes are after one thing. He could be more understanding, but... But what if she doesn't want anything more? Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Can't rush these things. Take it at her pace, eh? How long's it been like this? Jack! What? What? How long's it been like this? Oh, a couple of months. It, it's been coming on gradual, you know. Oh, have you had any unusual <laughs> sounds in your ears, like uh, whining or anything like that? What, something like Alvira, you mean? Now, now. No, now like that, no. Any pain or dizziness? No. Itching? No. Discharge of any kind? No, I, I just can't hear as well as I used to do, that's all. It, I suppose it's the beginning of the end, isn't it? And what end is that? Oh, come on. I mean, first it was the eyes, and then it's the heart. Now it's the ears. I mean, the body, it, it, it's, it's like an old car, isn't it? It packs in bit by bit until it just stops. I suppose next it'll be my legs and my feet. Have you done? You got a wax in your ears, that is all, Jack. So, I hear the uh, honeymoon might not be happening. What? Well, I've just seen Karen. She has a passport, still hasn't come. Oh, no, no, no. It's all in order. I have it here. I'm uh, just playing a little trick on her. Came yesterday, so I kept it. How old are you? We're always playing tricks on each other. she find it hilarious when she finds it. Oh, and uh, when will that be? Well, I'll uh, keep it stewing for a while and then uh, tell later on this afternoon. Steve, are you sure that this is a good idea? Uh, well, we're wild and dangerous, Mick. It keeps us together. Looking for me, Mother? Uh, I was rather looking for you, actually. Um, I couldn't have a word, could I? Now, that should be as clean as a whistle. No need to shout. Oh, I'm not surprised you couldn't hear anything. Look at that. Mm. I don't know if that's an old ten bob note or, a, or an old betting slip that's come out in the wash. You're still alive, Jack. Feeling fabulous. All right, let's have a look at them eardrums now we can see them. Just to make sure. Oh, yeah, they look fine. 
Yep. You're in the pinker house. Now, there's no pretending you can't hear Vera now, Jack. I wasn't pretending. Oh, it's now he'll have to start doing that. <laughs> Come. What, your passport? Yeah. I just rang them and they said that it was sent two days ago, first class, they don't know anything about a special delivery. Bought loads of clothes, a packed my cakes, I was really looking forward to this holiday. Look, I'm not supposed to say out, but um, Steve's playing a joke on you. <laughs> what? It came yesterday. He's got it in his jacket. But he seems to think you'll find it funny when he tells you. Well, that's sure what's funny. Inside pocket, I think. Mm. Hello? See you there. My passport ain't come. No. Well, what are we going to do? Well, they promised it to be here. Well, it's not. <laughs> well, we can't go then, can we? Might just be right about that. Orange juice, please. Oh. Don't say I never give you out. Could I have enough distribution, was it? Patient I had this morning said he needed a garage to service some cars that he's got. Last place let him down. I said that I knew just the man. Oh, thanks very much. I'll give him a bell. Kev, that wouldn't affect your camping trip, I hope. Why should it? Well, as long as it doesn't, because the kids are really looking forward to it. Look, I've never cancelled a holiday because of work before. I don't intend to start now. I just wanted to put your mind at rest about your mother, in case you were thinking I had designs of any kind. <laughs> oh, I think she's old enough to look after herself. No, no, but if I were in your position, I might be wondering what's going on. Well, she's enjoying herself, that's all that matters. I, I just hope she hasn't misread anything. What are you saying? It would be a shame if she had the wrong idea about my intentions. Are you saying she has? I'm worried that she might have feelings that I am unable to reciprocate. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, but I don't know how else to put it. No, no. You put it very well. You couldn't be clearer. Have you rolled? We've run out for the road. Seems it to you. I'm scared of embarrassing this morning. No, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, well, I did mean it, though. You I mean you can get these nice weekend breaks away, you know? Yeah, uh, I just don't think I'm ready for it yet, so. Oh, fair enough, then. Yeah, best I can do, my right. friend. Thanks, Roy. How much? Uh, call it two pounds. Two. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I'll uh, see you later. Yeah, I'll see you later then. And you still think you've got a chance with him? I told you. It's not Sam. All right, well, who is it then? It's Gary. Mm, go on. He's 19. Go on, where did you meet him? In a chat room. <laughs> not this again. It's probably Jason this time. <sighs> it's not. It's not one of them naff Weatherfield chat rooms. It covers the whole of Manchester. Sarah, it's not real. It is real. How can it be when it's just a bunch of words on a screen? Well, I knew TJ was nice, didn't I? And I wasn't wrong there. Same with Gary. We can tell when the nerds and he isn't. I just don't want to see you get hurt, that's all. I can look after myself, don't worry. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, uh, by any chance, is your Jason's middle name Gary? No. Why? No reason, just asking. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen any more of Richard? Well, yes, actually. I've seen quite a bit of him. Strictly platonic, of course. Oh, yes, but... Well, things do have a habit of changing, don't they? They do, don't they? I mean, that's happened or anything. But you wouldn't be surprised if it did. Well, it does seem quite key. I knew. I'm just taking each day as it comes, you know. As long as it comes quickly. <laughs> you want me to talk about a career in medicine at a parents' evening? Yeah, well, it's not just parents. It's an open evening. That means anyone can go. Oh, what do you mean? Well, there's all sorts of people interested in what goes on in schools these days. Do I get paid for it? Oh, I 
Have you heard this? You do it for the good of your soul, Dr. Ramsden. Uh, well, I suppose if I could put one child off wanting to become a doctor, it'll be worth it. Hey! <laughs> I'll do it. Oh. You all right? Mm-hmm. How are you feeling? Yeah, we've just got to accept it, haven't we? Well, actually... And I've, um... Well, I've cancelled the holiday. What? Well, if we're not going to go, we may as well try and save some money, eh? You've cancelled the holiday? Yeah, but got a 50% refund, so... Well, what's up with you? I was joking. I've got your passport in my pocket. I've had it here since yesterday. Steve. Oh, I was just on my way to tell you now. And where is it? Well, it's in me... It's in me, um... You are a cretin. So you've ruined the honeymoon and you've lost my passport because of some stupid junk. Look, Karen, I'm really sorry. Yeah, you will be. Hey. What about Sam wanting to take you away? Who told you? Well, I couldn't help over here at dinner time. Be a nice treat, that, won't it? Maybe. keeping your distance but you'll you'll never meet a nicer bloke than Sam and so what I have to uh, sleep with him to keep him is that what you're saying no I'm not saying you have to go straight in at deep end just well play your cards right and you'll be able to take things in your own time string him along you mean now you're twisting my words look has he said out no I'm beginning to wish I hadn't now, either. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but if he's not happy with what he's got, he can stuff it. Right? I'm uh, going round to Candice's tonight, if that's all right. Well, no, it's not, actually. Why? Because I want to go out tonight. Well, you never said. Oh, have to book it now, do we? No, it's just usually you say before. Right, well, both of us are in the wrong, then, aren't we? You get to go out, but I can't. You have more of a life than most young mothers I know. So don't complain. Oh, well, Candice has got a video out, a special like... Well, ringer. So you can't make it. Well, oh, why can't I take Bethany with me? What? And leave David on his own? All right. No, he won't. Make it another night. Why can't you make it another because night? Because I can't. There's an end to it. But it's not fair. Yeah, well, life's like that sometimes. Lancashire were eventually bowled out shortly before lunch for well, 252. This gave them a first innings lead of 90 Jack. over Leicestershire. Sorry, Vera, no love, I didn't hear you coming. What did the doctor say? It's, as we thought, there's now they can do. What, you mean you're going deaf? Oh, Jack, I'm sorry. No, look on the bright side, at least I'm not dying, am I? Did they say how long? They don't know. One year, two maybe, if I'm lucky. Well, can't they give you an aid in aid? Well, there's no point, is there? I mean, the waiting list that long, I'll be stoned every time I get it. Oh, Jack. We'll manage. I'm here. I'll be your ears when you've lost yours. Right, I'll, I'll go and make us a cup of tea then. No, you sit down. Now, now Vera, I'm, I'm, I might be going deaf, but I can still do me little bits about the house. No, you sit there. You're a sick man. You've got to take it easy from now on. <sighs> she never lets me do anything. She should treat you like an adult. Yeah, she should. You understand me more than anyone. And you, me. I dreamt about you last night. <laughs> no one can push you to go faster than you want to go on with. 
Exactly. On the other hand, your mum might have a point. OK, you're not going to get over this in a hurry. You might never get over this completely. But you're going to have to try and start living a normal life again sometime. It's just a question of when. Yeah, well, I don't expect him to hang around forever. Hey, he sounds very understanding from what you say. <sighs> yes, yeah. Well, you need someone like that. Someone who won't mind taking it a bit at a time. Trouble is, they don't grow on trees. That's kind of what she was getting at. There comes a point, too, when holding back means your attacker's won. I know. Nearly happened to me. So what are you saying? I knew you know when you're ready. But if he's a nice guy, it might be worth testing the water with him sometime. Cheers, thanks. Cheers. Hey, did you ring that guy? Mm? That was just him. And? And it's a lot bigger job than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was somewhat small. It's got several fleets of cars, what doing. Great. I've earned myself some fish and chips then. Well, what's the problem? Well, the trouble is, he wants it all doing in the next couple of weeks. I can't do that and take the kids camping. So what are you going to do? Too big a job to turn down, so... I'll have to cancel the holiday. Oh, the girls won't like that. Neither will the mother. So, have you learnt your lesson? Yeah, thanks, Arlene. I really need to hear that now. How much did you lose? Don't even ask. Men, eh? Look, I'm sorry, I'll... Uh, well, I'm, I'll make it up to you. Yeah? And how are you going to do that? You tell me. Free run of your credit card at the traffic centre. If that's what it takes, isn't it? Oh, did you hear that, Eileen? Oh, yeah, I'm a witness to that, all right. Good, lovely. Come on, shall we go? What, to the traffic centre now? No, to America, you fool. Come on, the cab outside, and I even packed a case for you. You little... Yeah, well, nice try, Steve. I'm gonna kill you. Hey, I was trying to do you a favour. I mean, you said keep it wild and dangerous. That's what keeps you together. <laughs> Come on. I'll sort you when I get back. Ooh, promises. If you're going to lecture me again about Richard, I've had enough. Well, it is about him. I don't want to hear it, Gail, all right? I think you do. Ooh. You said this morning that you thought he had a crush on you. So? I think you've got your wires crossed. You'd like to think I have? No, he told me in the Rovers this dinner time. What else did he say? He said he liked you a lot, but not in the way you like him. I bet you said someone to put him off. No, I didn't. You know, you hate him, me, having a bit of fun, you. Ma'am, he brought up the conversation and he went straight to the point. I, I was as surprised as you are. And I was disappointed, too, if you want to know. Yeah, well, you're getting fun from it now, aren't you? No. Anyway, who says I'm disappointed? Good gracious. I'm old enough to know that a few drinks in the meal doesn't mean anything. Good. Must think a lot of himself if I think I'm going to get carried away with that. Possibly. Anyway, look, I don't know where his game is, but I, you know, I just don't care anymore. And from what you say, I'm better off without him. Well, Mrs Ramsden, we're at him and anyone can go. Well, that does put a different complexion on things. You'll be so disappointed if we miss it. Well, we better not then, aren't we? Right. Well, go and tell him about that. I think he's upstairs. Still open for business. Uh, uh, unless this is urgent and genuine. Oh, it's both of them. Well, it had better be. We don't want nothing more to do with you after yesterday, unless we have to. Well, you're going to have to, cos I want more money. Oh, well, I knew this would happen sooner or later. It won't come as a shock to you, then, will it? I want 100 quid a week. What? The answer is no. I'll give you a day or two to think about it. But if you want to hang on to Wayne... Look, we, we struck a deal. We'll go to the Office of Fair Trade and complain. We could call it rent. You won't get another penny out of us. That's up to you. I can't hold a gun to your head. But I can take the lad, <laughs> and you wouldn't have a leg to stand on. Look, I 
don't care what they say. We're going to have to get your hearing aid, or else you're going to have another accident. You were saying something what? Oh, never mind. It'll be holiday soon. What? I said it'll be holiday no soon. No need to shout, Vera. Look, it's a lot of work. I can't afford to turn it down. But you can afford to turn the girls down. Oh, come on. Kevin, they've been looking forward to this. And anyhow, how many times have you gone on about wanting to spend some more time with them? And now, when you get the chance, it's all got too much work on. Yeah. Well, it's the work what gets the money what goes into looking after them. Yeah, only some of it does. But I'll take them away later. Right now is just a bad time. Yeah. For them. What did they say? Better marriage, worse the divorce. Shows how wrong you can be, doesn't it? Take this back to Dr. Ramsden. Me? Yes, you. You borrowed it. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Mum. Look, I'm not stopping. Um, I tried phoning you last night, but your phone seemed permanently engaged. Have you been on that chat line again, Sarah? No. Liar. So why couldn't Grandma get through? Um, I don't know. Maybe it was when Candice rang me about my project. Can this girl tell them or what? Oh, shut up. No, it doesn't matter anyway, Liv. Um, I just wanted to say... <laughs> I know you meant well what you were telling me last night, and I'm, I'm sorry I got all aerated. I mean, if my own daughter can't tell me the truth, then who can I? He's a nice man, ma'am. I think he just wants to avoid any embarrassment. <laughs> like me phoning all over him, eh? Of course he does. No, I'm sure it was my fault. I, I read far too much into things as usual, and... just want to say thank you for putting me straight. Oh, ma'am. I'm sorry. <laughs> So, uh, you're calling for David? Yeah. Do you want me to walk down with you? It's only around the corner. Of course it is. Bye, then. See ya. Bye. We mustn't mollycoddle him. <laughs> I know you're worried about what Alex might do, but you've got to keep telling yourself it's not where he wants, it's the money. Yes, yes, and what if he doesn't get it? Oh, well, yeah, just get fed up and go away. Um, if, if we knew it was only going to be one more payment... Wish it wouldn't be. And anyway, how much do you think he wants? We haven't got any more to give him. Yes, well, we just have to raise it somehow, wouldn't we? Roy, we are not paying him any more. Oh, no, no. No, no. Morning. Oh. <clears throat> Hiya. Hey, you want to get a move on you? You'll be getting sick. Mind, I don't know why I'm worrying. <laughs> Might get my job back then. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I've uh, lost track of time. We're not. Vera, what do you want me to do, love? Same as yesterday, unless he's got different ideas. Roy, what do you want me to do? Um, I was thinking, um, we might put our prices up. What do you think? Just go through. You've got visitors. Hey, what can I do for you two, then? Brought this back. Oh, right. Ta. What do you think of it? Well, it were good at first, but then they're all the same. You just get fed up. <sighs> he doesn't. It'd be better if there were, like, different sorts of races and not all monster trucks. Like monster motorbikes. I don't know about that, Wayne. Or if they raced on different courses instead of round and round the same track. Yeah, that would do it. Yeah. Like motorways. Or fields. I were going to say that. Oh, sorry, mate. You're right. Anyhow, thanks, Doc. See hey, you around. No problem. Oh, and lads, keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for bringing the video back. All right. Exactly how old are you? Hey, you are never too old for monster truck racing. Oh, I wish I could talk to kids the way you can. Might teach them a whole lot better. Yeah. Maybe we could get a couple of his own for you to practice on. Oh, are you kidding? Have you seen what they turn into? Because if you haven't, just come to school, mate, and I'll show you. I think what they would turn into would be rather up to us, wouldn't it? Oh, rather not risk it. OK, see you later. Yeah. See ya. That's ten pounds ten. Should I charge it to death? What, you think you'd pay for it, do you? It's not for him. Oh, sorry, I took it for granted that you were shopping for his flat. No, I'm shopping for my flat because that's where I live. Dev. Dev lives in Dev's flat. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Sneech will tell you. Oh, listen, can you stay? I've just got a kettle on. Can't. I'm working. <laughs> so what's this uh, thing you're going to tell me? That Jean is fed up of living on her own and she wants to move in. Rude. No, is that what she said? 
No, I'm saying it for her. Oh, really? That's good. Well, let me remind you what you did when someone suggested that you go and live with somebody else. You, honey, came and hid here. That was because it was the wrong somebody. Oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Do you think that women should be able to choose? Of course I do. So do I. Okay? And what about men? Do you think we should be able to choose or do you think we should just do what women expect us to do? Ah, think about it. Good. Let me know when you got an answer. Listen, you'll be all right for a bit, won't you? I've got to slip out for a prescription. Right. It's quiet. Are you going to put them prices up, then? Oh, no, 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 no. I've thought about it, but uh, I don't really think it's the way. Way to what, though? Well, let's just say to raise whatever might be necessary. No, I think it might be more a matter of, uh, of cutting costs. Right, well, are you going out, then? No, I'll pick it up after work. You can go out if you want. Me? Yeah. I've noticed quite far. Well, neither have I. Vera, I'm not trying to nick your job. I've only been here a week. If he's going to get rid of any of us, it's bound to be me. Yeah, well, things can change, can't they? Hiya. Hi, lovey. Um, I'm salad and a pot of tea, love, please. Have you fell out with Rovers? No, 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 no. Well... Not the establishment, anyway, just uh, someone that might be in it. Right. Mum? See, told you she won't be in. Yeah, well, we've got to get back for registration. Yeah, we will. I'm just saying hello. We'll ask for a picture. Right, I'll get him. What do you want to pint? Yes, yes. Do you want another jack? Another pint? Yes, thank you very much, Jack. Three pints, love. Please. Hi, Kevin. Why? Listen, I've been thinking about you ducking out of this holiday. Oh, look, uh, do you want a drink? No, I don't. What I want is if you're not going to take the girls away, then I think you should tell them yourself. You've not said anything no, yet. No, of course I haven't, and I'm not going to. So what should we do? Do you want to invite them round for tea? Yeah, yeah, all right. And you can see the look on their faces for yourself. Just the mineral water when you've got a time. Only tell me, do we have a problem? No. No. Well, I'll take that as a yes. I just don't know where I am, that's all. Oh, and where would you like to be? Oh, no, I'm not telling you that, because then you say I'm pressuring you. Yeah, well, that's good. That's good, because only the way that Sunita was going on, I thought we had a problem. Yeah, well, now you know we haven't. I do. That makes me very happy. Can you send me a photo? Of you. Yeah, but put just recent one. Not doing that. I'll Sarah, there's send... someone downstairs. <sighs> Must be my mum. So what are we gonna do? <sighs> Have to go. Love. Louise. Right. Here. Oh, well, I forgot that I had um, an English project handed in this afternoon. But you have done it? Yeah, of course. OK. We'll see you. Bye. See ya. And a glass of milk, please. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see you yeah. later. Bye. Oh, hello, Audrey. Are you all right? No, I'd find you somewhere. Well, there you are. You have done. I was, um... I was talking to your daughter yesterday. Yeah, she mentioned it, actually. I wish you'd talk to me instead. Oh, have I upset you? No. Well, did a bit, yeah. I'm sorry, I really didn't mean to. Well, talk to me, not her, next time. You will forgive me? <laughs> OK, yes. Here I love ham, bum, cake and a glass of milk. Thank you. Thanks, Jimmy. Actually, I, I didn't intend in saying anything, but, I mean, Gail's so easy to talk to, isn't she? So, you know, understanding. Well, yes, she is. Mind you, she's had to be with all she's had to put up with. Am I right in thinking that she's divorced? Yes, yes, she is. 
But it wasn't her fault. It was her husband that went astray. Now she's left with all that family to care for. Can't be, is it? No, it's not. You should be very proud of her, Audrey. She's a credit to you. Okay, you win, but then again, women always do. I don't know what you're on about. Gina, you know, your friend of mine who isn't happy with the way things are. And I don't blame uh, her. But I think this will put a smile on her face. Hey. Oh, no touching. No. I just want you to see that I'm not some hard-hearted, moustache-twirling villain that everyone seems to think I am. No, because when I wake up every morning and make a list of things to do, the top of that list is make... Gina happy. Aww. And when she sees this, I think she really will be. She's seen me. I don't know, but it's your own fault. You can't blame with anyone else, can you? Sarah Platt! Just carry on walking. Oh, no. I think you've been avoiding me, haven't you? No, miss. So where's your project, then? Oh, that. Yes, that. Hi. Hi, Miss Platt. Sorry, Gail, I'm just asking Sarah here why she hasn't handed her English project in yet. You came home for it. Oh, no, that was something else. Well, as you know, you've had 20% of your marks deducted already for late delivery. So, I suggest you get it to me as soon as possible. Bye, Gail. Bye. And I better go as well. I'll see you later. Yes, I think you better have. Because we have got something to talk about, haven't we? Hi. What's he been to you? Hey, watch out, he might drop some more money. He'll hear you. No, he won't. He can't hear all can daff up, Jack. Oh, yes, I can. Ever since I've had these things, I can hear every word you say. And you two want to be careful. Because even if you're three streets away and whispering, I can still hear every word. Sorry. You were only a joke. Go on, then. I'll let you go this time. Oh, so you can hear everything now, can you? And then only, only sometimes. Yeah, well, you know what I goes. think? I think you've been having me on. Do what? Don't start that again. Get in the house. You're fading, I'll fade, you're getting. You're fading, love, you're So what's going on? I just didn't do it. Why not? Because you've been spending all your time on that computer. No. Anyway, it's supposed to be good, isn't it? They always say it's school. Yeah, only if you're using it for your schoolwork. Not if you're spending all your time in chat rooms. What else can I do? It's not like I can go out, can I? You go out as much as most young girls of your age. I do not. Because it's always, what about Bethany? You've got to look after Bethany. Look, I'm not denying that So I've got to different... talk to someone, and that's the only way I can. I know things aren't easy for you. No. But lying to me is not going to help. I'm sorry. I hope you mean that. I do. OK. Well, let's do a deal, shall we? You can use the computer to talk to your friends. Thanks. But only after you've finished your schoolwork and only for an hour a night. Right. And I'm going to be checking up on that. So can I go now? OK. But no more lies. OK? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cheers, thanks very much, Roy. Here you go, kids. Anything happened? Uh, not particularly, no. Well, he's weighing back. Oh, yeah, he's upstairs. And nothing from Alex? Not today, no. Oh, you see. Maybe we were just trying it on and he got nowhere, so that'll be it. Oh, a happy ending. Well, <laughs> I haven't got much experience of them. Well, me neither, but we have to try and look on the bright side, haven't we? Have we? For Wayne's sake, if for nothing else. I mean, what kind of home are we giving him if we've both got long faces all the time and we jump every time that door goes? So come on, man, book him. Yeah, yes, you're quite right. I'll go and see how he is and then we'll talk about dinner. Look, you, uh, you know I was going to take you camping. I was going to. Yeah, I'm sorry, love, but I can't now. Oh, Dad, when 
not going. No, but what I'm going to do instead... Right, no. No, later on, I'm going to take you somewhere much better. In fact, you two choose. I wanted to go camping, so did I. I know, I'm sorry. Scotch and threat, my dear. And can I say, you're looking particularly lovely tonight. Yeah, well, I don't feel it. You don't? And you so young and so beautiful. Imagine how you'd feel if you were me. Why don't we finish these, go home, and have a quiet night in? Just the two of us. You mean you don't want me drinking too much? No, it's not that. You don't want to watch your monster truck videos again, do you? No, it's not that either. I just want to be alone with you. Oh, right. Well, I have to see what we can do. Fifty change, love. Thank you. Has Dev seen you? Oh, he's probably gone home to his precious flat, hasn't he? No, listen. He's bought you a ring. What? Honest, I've seen it. Well, I've seen box it's in. That's what I mean he's going to propose, isn't he? Are you sure it's for me? Yeah, because he said it's to make you happy. No way. I know. <sighs> so, Doctor, what are we going to do now, then? Oh, I don't know. I thought we might have a, a little lie down. Oh, are you feeling tired? No. Good, because neither am I. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if we did happen to end up with somebody for me to watch monster truck videos with, it wouldn't be such a bad thing, would it? You mean if we had a kid? Other people do. I see what this is all about. Oh, no, 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 no. I was just saying it. You know, Sorry, if, if Matt. End... I just fancy another drink. Oh, no, come on, Charlie. C come on. <sighs> Hello. I thought you might have been popping in. I thought you might have been popping in. I saw you were still working in Tonon. Oh, yeah, well, I've come to buy my daughter a drink and to give her a bit of advice at the same Ooh, time. Oh, you never told me that. Yes, well, I am. Uh, two white wines, Gina, look, please, and whatever Fred's happy. Right. You're very kind. How are you, Fred? All right, yes. Could do with being a bit younger. Oh, couldn't we all? <laughs> now, listen, I had an encounter with Richard at dinner time. Oh! Oh, this is this new gentleman friend of yours. Uh, well, the, well, you know, <laughs> things have moved on. <laughs> things I've been having to do in that. Yes. Well, I got the distinct impression that uh, he was quite taken with you. Me? Yes. Thinks you're very understanding and easy to talk to. <laughs> well, I am, aren't I? And he deserves to be congratulated on his good taste. Uh, well, I think me man's reading a bit too much into this. No, Gail, I am telling you. Now, you were good enough to tell me what about the truth, and now I'm going to tell you. One warning deserves another. Thank you, but I uh, find it more of a compliment than a warning. I think I would. <laughs> oh, no. What? Oh, hi. Mind if I join you? No, of course not. Uh, what would you like to drink, Richard? I'm getting them in. Oh, a pint of bitter, please. Uh, oh, Gina, and a pint of bitter, look, please. So, what are we talking about? Oh, this and that. How much a compliment? Cheers, you. I'm sure you must get plenty of those. Seem like ten minutes since we were last here. I don't like being backed into a corner. Everybody else around here is having kids. So, there'll be enough in the world without us adding to them, won't there? And we can't even talk about it. Talking about it means you end up doing it. That's 570 altogether. Oh, right. Where's the final? I've got some change. Hey, Ma'am, we're going to sit down over there. Yeah, OK, of course. Mm. Right. There you go, seven seconds. So are we going to join them or what? Oh, you tell me, Fred. I seem to be doing everything wrong today. Well, they do like they're doing all right on their own. Okay. Um, it's best if we stop here. Uh, yeah, all right. Cheers. Cheers. Hi. Hiya. Uh, nothing for me. Just came to find out what time you finish. Oh, well, Dougie suit should be back by about seven, so I'll be able to go then. Good. Listen, can you come around the shop? Any of this stuff I should be getting on with? Yeah, yeah, I'll come straight down. Right. Soon. Thanks for the photo. You look 
great. I suppose he's okay. I wouldn't be saying that. If he was your boyfriend, you'd be saying he's fantastic. Well, he's not exactly your boyfriend either. Yeah, but he says he wants to be. You've not even met him, Sarah. I know. I just know that I'm going to really like him when I do. Sorry about that, babe. Only way to keep the customers out. Uh, have you eaten? Uh, no. Good. Well, let's do that first, shall we? Right, we've got everything. We've got the keys. We've got the phone. We've got... And what's this? I remember. Um, Gina. Listen, I know I've needed a bit of prompting, OK? But I think this should kind of tell you what it is I really, really want. And I hope you want the same thing. Can I open it? Yeah, I think you better. What do you think I just <laughs> I bought you a box? Yeah, I asked the man if they could do one in gold, but he said, like, no, because it'd, like, bend in the lock. A key? To my heart. Well, to my flat, actually. So, like, now you can, like, come and you can go whenever you choose. It's, uh... Get lost. Get what? A flipping key! I, I just thought that's what you wanted, you know? I just thought so you could, like, use the flat whenever you like. Oh, to save you the bother of letting me in? Yeah, well, you won't have to, because I won't be coming. The meeting should be finished by 11, then lunchtime I'll come back and buy you a pizza, all right? Yeah. Well, go on. Those girls will make a fuss of you. I know you like that. Then Nindra will be back. You can help her in the office. Dad, you said we could go bowling and go karting. Yes, I did, and we will, but I mean, I've got a business to run now. Go on, there's a good fella. Can I not just go and see Grandad? Yeah, I suppose so, if you want to. But make sure you're back by lunchtime, all right? Are you drooling over that photo again? Oh, you must admit, though, he is gorgeous. Yeah, and he probably cut it out of a magazine, and in reality, some saddle with terminal acne. <laughs> Hi, mate. How are you doing? What are you doing looking for your granddad? Well, I thought he might be home. Sometimes Friday's his day off. Why is uh, the problem? I just thought he might take me into town. Oh, well, I'm not busy. I'll take you to town if you like. Yeah? Yeah. Come on. You haven't forgotten about tonight, have you? Forgotten what? You know, the open evening at the school. I'll do myself some pasta. You said you'd do your spiel. You know, about how great it is studying medicine and how the country needs more doctors, all that. Oh. Did I? Fine. Sulk. I'm not sulking. Just having my breakfast. Oh, so you really have to waste the next ten minutes with this everything's fine routine. I mean, it's clear you're hacked off with me. Yeah, all right. Yeah, fine. Yeah, I am hacked off. I mean, I mentioned the possibility of having kids and without a word you blank me and walk out the door. You took me by surprise, that's all. Well, what is so surprising about a married couple sitting down talking about having kids? It's not. And we will talk about it. It's just... Anyway, I I'm late. I'm going to have to go to school. See you later. <sighs> Pint, please. Busy morning. Well, yeah, you know. I'm off tonight. All oh, right, are you? I thought maybe we could do something. Well, if you want to, yeah. Get a video, maybe. You know, cheap and cheerful evening in. Yeah, it sounds great. <laughs> so you mean you just threw the key back in his face? Too right. Well, why put a key in a stupid little box in the first place? What enough is that? I think he just did it for wind me up. I thought you wanted to move in with him, though. I do. <sighs> I did. Maybe he thought it was like a romantic gesture, presenting you with your own key. Why? Practically lived there, any road. Dev's really keen on you. Whatever he did, I think he were trying. Yeah, well, he's got a funny way of showing it. And in case you'd forgotten, Sunita, I thought he was going to propose to me. Then he comes out with all that. Well, I just really lost it. Then I didn't care what I said or did. Oh, Gina, I'm sorry. I feel really responsible. Oh, forget it. Give us two teas to take away. Now, hang on, let one of them a coffee. 
Do you know, everyone's at sixes and sevens today. I think it must be the weather. The girls have been giving me grief this morning. Their dad's only gone and cancelled their holiday. Oh, that's a bit mean. They're going on a camping trip. They were really looking forward to it. I told him you can't make promises like that to kids their age unless you intend to keep them. Well, why don't you take them instead? Camping? Me? I'm, oh, I'm not the outdoor type. All them creepy crawlers. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a laugh. I tell you, I wish I'd done more stuff like that. We always tell you when she were little. They're up and off before you know it. Those cars not there? Oh. Oh, well, look, mate, he's probably just, uh, he's got stuck in with some of them business cronies and gone for a few bevies with them. Don't worry, hey. He's always mad at Linda. Now he's just going to be mad at me. Why, uh, him and Linda not getting on too well, then? They're always rowing. They pretend to be nice to each other in front of me. I hate it. Well, look, don't worry about them. We're having a good day, aren't we? Hey? Yeah? Come on, cheer up. Let's, uh, come on, let's get a burger. Okay, we could make it, you know? Yeah, I know. The girls have been giving me hell. Mm. Which is why I've been thinking, maybe I could bring them. Mm. I know you probably think I'm not the outdoor type, but I'd do my share. Yeah, I'm sure you would. And I don't mind roughing it a bit if it mean the kids would get a holiday. What do you mean, roughing it? Listen, so when I go camping, it's all mod cons. And look, if you want to come, come. Be good fun. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Listen, I'm, uh, I'm sorry after you. No, because I'm the one who should be saying sorry, kicking off like that. No, no, uh, look, it was a completely stupid idea, OK? What, well, key in a box, completely nerf, OK? Please, I really don't know what came over me. I can see you, you were just trying to be romantic and, and thoughtful. Oh, no, so what's that, six out of ten for effort? Yeah, well, I shouldn't have lost my rag. No. And I really didn't mean to give you some sort of, like, wrong impression about what was in the box, either. Oh, no, I know, I know. I mean, I had no idea what it was. It's just Sunita was saying... Look, that... Dev, I'm sorry. Yeah. And you're I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, can't we just carry on where we left off? Yeah, yeah, that'd be, um, that'd be great. Do you still want the key? Of course I do. This is the dinosaur I made. Allosaurus, is it? I knew you'd know. The teacher took a photo of it, seeing as you can't come to the open evening. It's much higher than it looks there. It's made of bits of paper stuck together. Ah, paper mashy. Wouldn't mind seeing that up close. I've done a painting as well. They stuck it up in the hall. What, a painting as well? Oh. Maybe we should come after all. You don't have to. I will miss it for the world. Hiya, are you OK today? Harry. Fine. What are you doing? Looking at your photo, is this really you? Of course. You are such a cutie. Yeah, right. Not even a tease, it's not fair. No tease, girls, my school, all dogs, you are gorgeous. Sarah! Trouble, excuse me. Sarah! Can you hear me calling? Oh, sorry, I was um, just in the middle of my homework. Mm. Well, you're going to have to get ready if you come into the open evening. Oh, Mum. This project's a nightmare and it's got to be in on Monday. You've not been spending all your time in chat rooms? No. Because you promised me homework first. That's what I'm trying to do. OK. Well, I'll see you later then. Don't stop up too late. OK. <sighs> Gary, are you there? Gary? 
Yummy. Never always here for you. Oh, too sweet. Company. <laughs> and you know where a fucking hair dryer, you know? Ah, well, that is where you're wrong, because according to Martin, this campsite has got everything. <laughs> well, I've no objections if the kids are happy. Yeah, well, you're the one who breaks your promises to them, and I just get to pick up all the pieces. Uh, okay, I've said I'm sorry. You can cope on your own for a week, can't you, Jason? Yeah, looks like you've been promoted, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. See ya. <laughs> thing is, mate, unfortunately, it's a fact of life these days that lots of marriages break up. But I really like Linda. Well, yeah, I suppose she can be a charmer when she wants to be, but the thing that you've got to understand about your dad is his history. So he's, he's dumped women left, right and centre. I mean, look what he did to your mum. I tell you, it's hard work is this, standing on your feet all day. <laughs> tell me about it. I'm glad it's me night off. Oh, doing out special. Uh, Ma'am, don't fish. It was just a general inquiry. Mm. Come on, Taya. I do wonder what you're up to. I worry that you're all right. Yeah, I'm all right. So you are going out with Sam tonight, then? Mind your own business. Because <laughs> I didn't know what colour to paint it. Well, since pigment doesn't fossilise, such things are a matter of guesswork, aren't they? Exactly. Well, I think it's lovely. Can we go and see my painting now? Yeah. Studying medicine is obviously not an easy option. First, there's a long years of study, and then as a junior doctor, you've got to work long hours. Hi. What have you got to pass the qualifications to accept away? Any questions? Admiring Wayne Siegel. Uh, well, it's, it's an arctic turn, actually. You, you can tell from the distinctive forked tail and the, the bill, long bill. Oh, learn something new every day, don't you? <laughs> well, if you'll just um, excuse me. Sorry about that. Mm. I didn't know that Roy and Haley had any connection with uh, Wayne Hayes. They're his foster parents. Oh, I see. See, I like this. This is the sort of thing that I used Look, to do. Um, now, now we've seen the Allosaurus and Wayne's picture, perhaps we ought to go. Oh, no, there's loads more to things to see yet. Roy, it'll be all right. Yeah, I know, I just don't like the Gail idea. Gail and Morty aren't going to say anything. I know. Look, I know. Why, why don't we all go out for a meal together? A meal? Yes, yeah, celebrate how well Wayne's doing at school. All right, well, why not? I know Sarah's situation isn't an easy one. But she clearly is a bright girl. Well, you wouldn't have thought so, judging by her SATS results. The important thing is the GCSEs. Yeah, that's what worries me. Her homework is very patchy. Well, she spends hours on it. But she usually submits it late, or not at all. I know you're right. I just don't know what to do about it anymore. I, I, mean, I always feel like I'm getting at her. Yes, and that can seem counterproductive. Hmm. She's just not very motivated. Although, she's really good on that computer. Far better than me. Well, all you can do is keep up the encouragement. So, if you'll excuse me. Oh, OK. Easy for her to say that. Hmm. Well, why don't we go for a drink? See if we can come up with some new ideas. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't tonight. Meeting someone. Oh, right. Some other time, then. Oh, sorry, love. We're short. I'm looking for Roy and Ailey. Oh, they've gone up to school. Some kind of open evening or something. Take the fostering seriously, don't they? Well, if you want to pop back later. I will. Oh, 
I might have known. Where the hell have you been? I was about to call the police. Oh, well, you shouldn't have worried. We've had a great day out, haven't we? Get in the car, Adam. Come oh, and uh, we'll have another day out soon, all right? Good luck. After today, in your dreams, Barlow. He's my nephew. You can't stop me seeing him. I have to be his father. I decide who he spends his time with. Oh, yeah, some father you've turned out to be. From what I hear, you're too busy around with your missus to pay him any attention. My marriage has got nothing to do with you. Oh, yeah, as when my nephew's caught in your crossfire. He's unhappy. Look at his face. Go on. A little homemaker, aren't you? Well, I like to make the effort now and then. <laughs> oh, just a daft comedy at all I could get. Oh, great. I thought we were just going to get a takeaway. Well, it's nothing special. It's just out of a packet, really. Well, it smells gorgeous. <laughs> right, you sit yourself down. I'll pour us some wine. Oh, I thought you were strictly a beer drinker. Yeah, well, I like a drop of wine with my food sometimes. Mr. Sophistication, eh? <laughs> Come here. Well, what's that for? for being such a smashing bloke. <laughs> hey, cheers. Cheers. I'll tell you what, though. When me and Sally took the kids camping, she did nothing but moan. It was a nightmare. Not that I'm trying to put you off, mate. Go on, Kev, she's not that bad. Well, rather you than me. But mm -hmm. I appreciate you taking the kids. Hang on a minute. Is she going out with me? No. And anyway, Martin, even if she was, you know it was going to happen one day. No, no. She's found herself a fella. I'm very happy for her, of course. Yes, yeah. of course you are. Give me boys. See, Sam's a good, steady lad. And maybe a boyfriend like that is just what she needs to get her over it. But I still worry about her. Don't you worry. If he upsets her, I'll batter him. Did you find Roy and Ellie then? No sign. Oh, well, if it's important, love, I can always give Roy a message tomorrow. It's a personal matter. We're old mates. Beats me how anyone can be mates with them freaks. Les, will you shut it? And I don't like you working for them, neither. What do you mean, freaks? There you are, you see. He's their mate. You've upset him now. No, I'm not upset. I'll tell you the truth, I don't know him that well. What? You mean you don't know about Ailey? No. What? Les, shut your mouth. She's got some sort of secret, has she? That's the whole point, isn't it, mate? She's not a she, is she? She's a he. Her real name's Harold. She's one of them transsexuals. You're winding me up. <laughs> no, you can ask anyone round here. No one understands me like you. You'll feel insecure. Bet you look great in anything or nothing. <sighs> I hate people staring at me. Seeing your pick, who can blame them? That's too sweet. Those lads just insecure too. That's why we try to act tough. You make such a difference. You too. <laughs> I wish. Wish what? We could meet. Can't. You know what the greatest thing about teaching is? Coming home, putting your feet up. Thanks for coming today. You're not still sulking, are you? Sooner or later, you're going to have to talk about this. It's not going to go away, you know? Yeah, I'm feeling tired. The biological clock is ticking. Sorry, Doctor. Is that a professional opinion or a personal one? Look, I just want us to think about it, at least. Think about it? Yeah. Well, think about this, why don't you? I don't even know if I can trust you, Matt. I mean, I don't want to end up a single parent now, do I? Oh, come on! What? 
Not that old chestnut again. Chestnut to you, maybe. Deep emotional issue to me. I'm going to bed. I dreamt about you again. Want to hold you, make you feel good. Can I trust you? Most boys want one thing. I thought we were friends. We are. Let me phone you. Why? is you phone me, please. Well, that was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, thanks for a lovely evening. <laughs> well, I was hoping it weren't quite over. Sorry, I've uh, got to go. Sorry, uh, this is doing my head and I can't handle it. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. The last thing I want to do is push you into anything. I can't. It's too soon. Look, I really like you, but I just don't think this is going to work out. I'm sorry. It's Toya. Hello? Louise? Gary? <laughs> wow. We're actually talking to each other. I love your voice. Candice, um, <clears throat> she says that you're not real, you're just a fantasy. <laughs> then how come I'm dead nervous? <laughs> Have you really not got a boyfriend? I, s I said, didn't I? What are you saying? Well, I'm saying... I'm saying I think you're amazing. I want to meet you, I want to be with you. I don't know. Why not? It's... It's, um, complicated. Yeah, but... Listen, I... I know this sounds crazy, but I think... What? I think I love you. Louise, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> so, what do you say? I want to meet you, Gary. I want to meet you more than anything. <laughs> Coffee. Don't you think this is going a bit over the top, eh? Don't you think blaming me for some of it that happened years ago is too? I'm going for a shower. Ready for packing. This, eh? Yep. Aye, right. Did you have a good night out with Molly last night? I wasn't out with Molly. Oh, sorry. Just that you usually are. Yeah, well, this time I wasn't. Oh. But yes, thank you. I did have a good time. Good. Well, all ready and dressed and ready for your great grandma, eh? Hello. Right? Are you going to your great grandma's? She's going to Audrey's? Yeah, so I can do my assignment. Oh, right. 
Well, why don't you bring your books and come with us all that fresh air and countryside? Yeah, come on. And all that mud and midges. No, thanks, I'm all right. Oh. Anyway, I've got to use the library. Don't go distracting her. I'm glad she's buckling down at last. He'll probably never oh, speak to me again. Thanks very much. And I won't blame him. Did you explain to him about it? No. Oh, could I? Never again. Well, you're going to have to, love, if you want to keep him. Well, if I tell him, he won't want to know anyway, so what's the point? Well, I wouldn't be too sure of that. He's a really nice lad, Sam. He'll understand. Love, I've, I've got to get off to work. I'll see you later. Thanks. I can't believe that I'm actually going to get to meet him. Can't wait to see his house. It sounds mint. See? Told you going on chat rooms wasn't so sad after all, was it? No. Quite jealous, actually. Why? You've got Todd. Yeah, well, it's nowhere near as exciting as this. Yeah. I'm dead nervous, though. My stomach's churning. You'll be right. Do you think I could pass for 16? Why is that how old you said you were? Yeah. I just didn't want him thinking that I look like a kid, that sort of. Well, you don't in that. Anyway, you've seen your photograph. Yeah, I suppose. He says that we're like two halves of the same person and that we're like twin spirits and we belong together. Oh, he's dead romantic and he's gorgeous. I wish Todd was romantic. Yeah, well, don't go batting your eyelashes at him. Gary's mine. Uh, don't put that much butter on there, mind. Can I help too? Of course you can, sweetheart. Come round and wash your hands first. Do we think it's getting a little bit crowded? All oh, right, we'll manage. There's no kids like better than 12. Mum, can me and Rosie take a little time? No, you can't. I want to be able to keep my eye on you. Hey, hey, looking forward to your holidays. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you don't look too enthusiastic. Well, I'm a bit worried about the Jason looking after the shop. I mean, he's just a kid in long trousers, isn't he? Hmm. I can help keep an eye on things. You know, it's all right, Kevin. I can sort things out for myself, but thank you. Right. I, uh, just come to see if anything needed doing. No, we're fine. Right. I'll get back to the galleys then. Well, by the way. Well, it doesn't seem to think Gail's got herself another boat. Is it true? Well, if it is, it's the first I've heard of it. Not that it's any of Martin's business if she has, is it? I'll see you later. Me and Sophie have got our own tent of you. No. You can share ours if you like. No way! It's better than sharing with your dad. We're going to sneak out in the night and have midnight peace and stuff. Well, that's kids' stuff. Can't you come with us? I don't want to be stuck with a bunch of girls. I can't. Why? Uh, we've, got, uh, we've got other things this weekend. I asked Sally and she didn't seem to know anything about Gail seeing someone else. So I reckon you're barking up the wrong tree there, mate. I don't think so. She's being really mysterious about him. You wouldn't do that if it was just a mate, would you? Oh, don't let it eat you up. Not till you got proof, anyway. I'm not letting it eat me up. She's curious, that's all. Jealous, more like. No. Gail's been on her own long enough. She deserves a bit of happiness. You told me you wouldn't have her back if you could, though. No, I wouldn't. Those days are over and done with, mate. I'd have Sally back tomorrow. Yeah? Well, you can waste your life away thinking like that, Kev. Time moves on. Thank you, Gina. Right. I just want to say no hard feelings. Oh, thank you, Sam. I was hoping you'd understand. Well, it's OK. I mean, it can't be helped. But there's no point in dragging things out. I mean, I hope we can remain friends if that's OK with you. You're not kidding. I thought he was having you on. Well, I didn't. I knew I could trust him. Have you seen that car? His parents must be well rich. You lucky, lucky cow. <laughs> I hope he looks nothing like his picture. Oh, he will do. Eat your heart out, Candy Stowe. I'm even more nervous now, though. What if his parents are snotty and they think I'm not good enough for him? It doesn't matter what they think. It matters what he thinks. And he's in love. Oh, so am I. It's like a fairy tale, isn't it? Mm. You shall go to the ball. Do I look all right? Yeah, you look gorgeous. Stop worrying. 
And go on, Cinders. Enjoy yourself. You should have seen his face. You can tell he really wants to go. Well, maybe he could. He's been dry most nights now. Oh, Wayne, we, we were just saying, you know, if you really want to go camping, well, you can. And not to worry about, you know, we think it'll be all right. It's not just that. Well, what is it? I mean, Sally and Martin are very nice people. I know, but it's not like having you there, is it? No, oh, Wayne, we'd love to come with you, but it's just impossible with the camp. That's why I'd rather stay here. Well, I'll tell you what, to make up for your missing camping, why don't we get you a little treat? How do you mean? You know, a present. Yeah, yes, yeah, so think of something that you'd, you'd really like. Go on! Oh, hello, is Gary there, please? You must be Louise. I'm Gary's dad. He's just gone out shopping with his mother, but he won't be long. Come here. Thanks. You don't mind taking your shoes off, do you? It's only the, the carpets. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> just through to the right. Thanks. maybe not being able to keep me on. Is that still the case? Well, the, the situation has improved a little since then, actually. Oh, good. Does that mean I can stay? Uh, for the moment, yes, although I'm afraid I can't give you any long-term guarantees. Come on, Rod. We're, we're off to buy a computer game, apparently. Right. Hiya. Oh, hiya. Just come to pick up the butties for the journey. Right. <laughs> there you are. Peanut butter, jam, and chocolate spread. <laughs> oh, no. Couldn't chuck a few normal ones in, could you, for Martin and I? Go on, then. You know, you must be a real asset to Roy. Phew, a disposable one. Come tomorrow, I could be out of a job again. I tell you what, Sal, I really need the money and all. I'll bag them up, yeah. So, do you fancy going down and chipper tonight? Well, it's not exactly a candlelit meal, is it? Eh? Well, Sarah's getting one with Gary. Who's Gary? This lad she met on the internet. All right. She makes an habit of it then, does she? Your house is lovely. Thank you. Would you like a drink? We've got um, orange juice or Coke. Oh, it strikes me you're a young lady of more sophisticated tastes. Gary likes beer, but I would guess you're a wine person. Red or white? Whatever. Oh, this looks like a nice one. Try this. Tell me what you think. It's nice, thank you. I think I'll join you. So silly these underage drinking rules, aren't they? In France, even toddlers drink wine. My mum went mad at me the other week when she found out I'd been drinking at a party. Oh, but we've all done it, haven't we? That's what parties are about. You have told your mum that you're here, haven't you? Only I wouldn't want her to be worried. Um, of course, yeah. I bet you've arranged some cover with a mate, haven't you? <laughs> well, she wouldn't understand. Well, don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Personally, I think teenagers are mature enough to be trusted. Still, not all parents think the same. <sighs> You're not kidding? My mum treats me like I'm five and my stepdad, Martin. Well, he's even worse. You know, Gary's lucky to have a dad like you. Look. I wanted to explain about last night. Well, it's okay, you don't have to. I mean, I, I understand if you don't feel the same. But I do. And I want to, you know, just as much as you do. But I can't. What, you mean after everything you've been through? Yeah. I see. I mean, I understand, I really do. 
I'm not sure if I can handle it to you. Oh, well, uh, fair enough. I'm sorry. I've not put that very well. I'm no good at this. You're better off going. Look, about what I said last night, I shouldn't have. Yeah, you said that last time. And the next time something else comes along that you don't want to have to deal with, out it comes again. You said I use it some kind of excuse. That's ridiculous. The reason that it keeps coming up is because it still hurts. It was a long time ago, and it was a mistake. <sighs> Well, having an affair was some mistake, wasn't it? So what was this Gary then? Nineteen. What's he like? Well, I've only seen a photo, but he looks really fit. Why are you so interested anyway? Just wondered. You're jealous, aren't you? No, of course not. Well, why do you keep going on about it? He came looking for you yesterday. Afternoon. What do you want? Can we talk privately? I'm busy. Well, I suppose it'll keep then. I'll pop back later, eh? Are you okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, your wife looks nice. <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. Gary talks about you all the time, you know. Does he? Oh, yeah. About how clever and witty you are. And about how well you understand things. And, of course, about how beautiful you are. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, of course you are. You're absolutely stunning. My son has impeccable taste, I'll say that for him. Will he be much longer, do you think? I'll tell you what, I'll give them a call, shall I, and find out. Hello, love. It's only me. Yeah, I was just wondering how long you and Gary would be. Oh, only Louise is here and we expected you back by now. Oh, good. Right. I'll see you then. Bye. They won't be long. It wasn't an affair, it was a one-off, and you know it. Oh, and that's supposed to make me feel better, is it? Yeah, actually, it is. I can't believe Sam wanted split up with you. Then why did he? Well, did he actually say that? Well, not exactly, no, but... Listen, all I know is when he went out of here, he looked really cut up. We've been through this again and again. There's only so many times I can say sorry. You know, it really gets me. Yeah, you've told me. Well, you can hear it again. Maybe this time you'll understand. What really gets me is the way you both seem to blame me for it. No, we didn't. As if it was me that had thrown you together. Well? I'm not getting into this. Especially not when you're downing oh, brandies. Don't use that moralising tone on me. I'm not one of your patients. Yeah, well, sometimes it feels like you are. How dare you? Just keep your voice down, can't you? If I've got a problem, it's you that created it. She was my best friend, Matt. I am going. No, you're not. I am. These things are really quite interesting when you get into them, aren't they? Oh, so, I beg your pardon. Oh, it's all right. So, are you back staying with him? No, you're just visiting, aren't you, Wayne? That's nice. Candice! Can I have a go now? Yeah, yeah, sorry, yes. Candice! Look, I wasn't jealous. I was just worried this guy could be anyone. That rich coming from you since as you met Sarah in the chat room. That's different. We met in public, not at her house. Yeah, and if I hadn't showed up, you'd have gone out anyway. No, I wouldn't. 
Yeah, but do you know what? Sarah is perfectly safe. I went with her. He lives with his parents and he even saw his dad. Uh, what's this about, Sarah? Now look what you've done. Oh, and for your information, I don't even care if you're jealous. Because at the end of the day, I only went out with you because I couldn't have your brother. Candice! Oh, no, you don't. So, so I said, no, 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 he's just visiting. And she said, oh, well, that's nice, in this strange sort of way, as if she was putting two and two together. You've not eaten them all already. No, have I, Eck? Janice, I've, uh, I've got a proposition to put to you. Yeah. You see, what, what if she checks up? I mean, they're bound to have his telephone number at school. Hayley, are you not bothered? Yeah, yeah, of course I am, yeah. I'm, uh, it's just that um, Alex turned up earlier. He didn't do anything, but he said he'd come back later. Oh, well, that's all we need. And I can guess what he wants right. Well, I'm not having him coming round here and upsetting Wave again. Where are you going? I'm going to find him. I'm going to put a stop to it. Roy? But I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Oh, yeah, now would you know? Some kind of expert or something. Hey, it's not Todd's fault. Gail. This lad could be anyone. She's gone to his house. His parents were there, though. Candy said. Yeah, well, whatever. The fact is, she's dragged us into this little deception again. And she's got a grandma babysitting for her. Telling us she was studying. I might have known it was too good to be true. I'm going to ring Candice, find out this lad's address. Yeah, I'm going to find out exactly what they've been saying to each other. Can you work a computer? Yeah. Good. You can show us what to look for on ours. Come on. So, what do you think about Gary, then? Oh, he's really nice. I can talk to him about anything. I just feel really close to him. I know it's silly, considering we've never even seen each other. I don't think that matters. You know when you've met someone special, don't you? Yeah. I think he feels really close to you, you know. Like twin spirits. That's exactly what he said. As he showed you our messages. Look, Louise. I've got something to tell you. I know this is going to be really hard for you to take in. What? But the fact is... I'm Gary. Running away, are we? On the contrary, I was going to see you, actually. With some cash, I hope. I don't think so. Oh, I do think so. Especially now I know about your sick little secret. What's it like, eh? Sleeping with a fella. What do you reckon Wayne's going to make it, eh? Not so keen on stopping with you then, I bet. I'm not going to be intimidated by the likes of you. You think you're so superior, don't you? Well, you're not. It's me that's calling the shots round here, not you. Unless, of course, you want to lose the lad. <laughs> First up, I want a grand in cash. If, if you'll sign an agreement, that, that will be the last of it. Do you think I'm stupid? I'm signing nothing. You'd be straight off to the coppers with it. Yes, but you, you would have my word. Oh, you're good at words, you, aren't you? Not so good at fending for yourself, though, are you? It was all an act last time. I've got you sussed. You're just a frightened little wimp like the lad, aren't you? Remember, what's going on? Branding cash, or I'll tell him about the weird old wife. Hey, what's the problem? It's just going. Who is that? Uh, ju just uh, an irate customer. Um, th thank you, Jason. I'll, I'll be fine now. Thank you. Ah, oh, here we go. She must have deleted all her emails. And what about this chat room stuff? Can't she save that? Nope. Any luck? No. What about you? No, I keep ringing, but there's no reply. Right, I've had enough of this. I'm going to go and find Candice. I don't believe.
believe this. I'm sorry, Louise. I know this must be a shock. You're joking, right? I mean, the photo. It's my sister and her son. I know I shouldn't have lied to you, but I didn't want to lose you. If I told you how old I was, you'd never have come, would you? No. I'm going to go now. I don't blame you. That's what I deserve. Oh, I feel so terrible. It's just everything you've said to me, it's all been lies. Pretending you were his dad. And that phone call, you must have faked it. I was scared you'd leave before I had a chance to explain. It's just... I've never met anyone like you before. It's just like you said, we're so close. That was before I knew. But what's changed? Only my age, I'm still the same person I always was. I'm still Gary. What we have is so special, you know it is. It's different now. Have you ever told me any lies? Yeah, my name's Sarah. Louise is my middle name. Sarah. It's a beautiful name. And I'm 14, not 16. Well, there you are, you see. I bet you said that just because you thought I wouldn't be interested in you if I knew how young you were. It's only the same thing, isn't it? Maybe. That's two pound fifty, love. Thank you. Did you have a nice weekend? I wish. Me and my boyfriend split up and my best friend's just never going to speak to me again. Oh, dear. Ah, there you are. I want some answers from you, young lady. Don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't start coming the innocent with me. Besides, I haven't got time. So, just how old is this lad? Nineteen. You what? Right. How do I find his house? Whatever's happened. Oh, it's only Sarah, Rita. She's gone and sneaked off to see some lad that she doesn't even know from Adam. And this one's in on it. Excuse me. I don't know why everyone's having a go at me. It wasn't even my idea. Address. Now, please. Sarah will kill me. Yeah, and so will I, unless you hurry up. Look, Sarah. You don't mind if I call you by your real name, do you? Everything we talked about on the net still stands. I wasn't lying about any of that. You said all sorts. You said you were lonely too. I am. You're an adult. Adults can be lonely too, you know. I haven't got any close family. I haven't really got any friends, not real ones. <laughs> Bit of a sad way. No. I haven't got many friends either. Just Candice, really. And does she understand you like I do? Can you talk to her like you talk to me? No. It's not often you meet someone you feel a total affinity with, is it? Please, let's not throw that away. Can't we at least be friends? I don't know. You've lied to me. I know, and I feel awful about it. Please... Please, just stay and chat for a while. And we'll both be honest this time. Are you all right, just for a bit? Great. Don't start lecturing me. Why don't we start the weekend again, eh? We could drive somewhere. <laughs> Go for a walk. Sober me up, you mean? You wanted to go out before? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Oh, no, come on, love, you've had enough. I 
looking at some old photos from uni. This is a nice one. Me, you and Trina. Arms around each other laughing, eh? Charlie. Trusted her totally. And you. It was a difficult time for us all. I was the one that had been raped. Yeah, and you shut me out completely. How could you ever have understood? You wouldn't let me try. All you did was get wrecked every night and take it out on me like I was the enemy or something. Well, never mind, eh? You had Trina to comfort you. Well, she had to put up with it too. You took it out on her as well. It wasn't any great affair. It was just two people at the end of their tether. Giving each other a bit of support. Well, if you like, yeah. When it was me you were supposed to be supporting! It, you can't help someone who doesn't want to be helped. Like, you can't explain something to someone who just won't listen. So you look after David yes, for us? Yes, but what's happened? Oh, man, Where are you going? Later. Come, come. Sam? Hey, hey. But we can't just leave it like this. What did you mean when you said you couldn't handle it? Do you want us to split up? No. I don't know. I'm, I'm rubbish with words. I mean, they always seem to come out the wrong way. We'll try. Please. Well, the thing is, is I feel really bad about wanting you the other night. I mean, especially after all you've been through. It's not your fault. No, I, I messed up. I, I should have realised, and, and I suppose I, I'm scared of messing up again. See, I, I know you want to take things slowly. But, but the thing is, Toya... Well, the thing is, I think I'm falling for you. Well, there, I've, I've said it now. I, I really think you'd be better off with somebody else. You always have to dress things up, don't you? For your pocketbook psychology. Make it more palatable for you, does it? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Dr Ramsden couldn't possibly have the same motives as mere mortals, could he? Just spit it out, Charlie. All right. I will. The reason you two got it together was nothing to do with all that guff. It's because you fancied each other. No, it wasn't. And I wasn't giving you any sex, was I? Hey, very unfair, wasn't it? I mean, I'd only been raped after all. Now that is enough! <laughs> she offered you some, eh? And you thought, I might as well have a bit, eh? Seeing as I wasn't giving you any. <laughs> What's up? Don't like the truth, do you not? Too crude for you, is it? Don't you dare walk away from me! It was so silly of me, I know. I just had this sort of crush on you. We got on so well. I feel really embarrassed now. Oh, don't be daft. I used to have this crush on a guy called Sam, and he was a lot older than me. Um, I used to write about him in my diary, and then my younger brother got hold of it, and when my mum and Martin found out, they went absolutely mad. Well, that's really bad. Well, the worst thing was having to face Sam afterwards, and I was really embarrassed too. So, you know, don't worry about it. Well, that must have been worse, though, reading your diary. I mean, that's an invasion of your privacy, isn't it? Well, that's my family for you. You do realise this demon brother of yours has probably been checking out all our emails? You reckon? I'm not that daft of deleting them all. I wasn't expecting anyone. You didn't... Are you sure you're not expecting anyone? Oh, oh God, it's my mum and mine. It's all right, don't panic. Well, how do they know I'm here? Look, it's all right, I'll take care of it. I'll get rid of them. Oh. 
Well, how do you think they'll react if they find you in here with me? They'll kill me. Well, then. They might want to take a look around. You better hide in here. Is my daughter Sarah Platt here? I'm sorry, I've never heard of her. Hang on. We know she's here. A friend of hers came with her to this house and saw her come in. She's uh, got long, dark hair. She's slim. She's about this high. Well, that sounds like my son's girlfriend, but her name's Louise. Oh, that's Sarah's middle name. Is your son called Gary? Yes. Just what sort of parents do you think you are that let your 19-year-old son date a 14-year-old girl? Whoa, whoa, My son is not 19. He's 16, which is what Luke... I mean, Sarah told us she was. I see. Oh. Well, can we come in? Yeah, of course. Uh, just go through on the right. I think we've all been lied to. Yeah, I'm sorry about all this. We had no idea you didn't know she was here. And they've gone out? Yeah, they went into Manchester. They went to see a film at the new multiplex and then out for a pizza. Right. Is that him there? Yeah, that's Gary. Right. Seems like a nice lad. He is. She told us she was studying all day at the library. We found out from a friend. I'll... Kill her when I get hold of her. Well, I wouldn't be too hard on her. You know how young love can be. We've all been there. Yeah, I suppose. Mind you, it won't stop me killing Gary when I get my hands on him. Although I must admit we were relieved when we met Louis. When we met Sarah. She seems like a very nice girl. You never know what to expect when your teenager starts dating, do you? She is nice. I mean, she might tell tales. But... Well, you can be rest assured that Gary won't get up to anything he shouldn't. We've brought him up better than that. Yeah, that's OK. It's just that, well... Sarah's not like most. Well, she's got... She's got a bit behind with the schoolwork. And we want her to work extra hard. Well, these are important years, aren't they? Very. Listen, you're welcome to stay as long as you like, but I'm not sure what time they'll be back. Well, what do you think? Well, I don't know. Well, at least we know she's safe. Yeah, I suppose so. Will you ask her to ring me as soon as she gets back and I'll come and pick her up? Of course we will. Or we'll drop her off, whichever. Right. So, could he give us your phone number? Just in case we need to get in touch. Yeah, of course. There you are. Right. And I'm sorry about all this. No, nope, not at all. I'm the one that should be apologising. Well. Oh. See ya. That was really close. It certainly was. Thank you for covering for me. I should go in a minute. Well, at least stay and have another drink. Let's try to sort this out. And if you go back too soon, it'll only look suspicious anyway. Yeah, all right then. Are you OK? You've been acting funny ever since you got back. I'm, I'm, I'm fine, honestly. Are you sure he didn't see Alex? No, no, like I said, I decided not to. Oh, I'm glad. It has only caused more trouble. And he hasn't come back, has he? So I'm more OK, eh? Yeah, yeah. So, so.
no, no, no. I'm scared you weren't going to come back. Sorry about all the evil things I said. I didn't mean them. You do forgive me, don't you? Don't I always? <laughs> I can't. Let's you can... get you to bed. Sleep this off, eh? Come on. Are you not hungry? Oh, no, it's not that. What's wrong? What's the matter? It's just... Why is it everything I do always turns out to be such a mess? I was so sure this time that it was going to work out. That I'd meet this brilliant lad and life was going to be different. I should have known it was too good to be true. This is all my fault. I'm so sorry. No, it's not you, it's me. I just managed to mess up everything. Of course you don't, you're fantastic. How can you say that? Because you don't know. Then tell me. I'm still a good listener. I've not been completely honest with you either. There's something else. I've got a baby. You've got a... <laughs> yeah, I knew you'd be shocked. No, 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 I'm... I mean, it's a surprise, yes, but... But... I'm not shocked at you or anything. So, when did it happen? I was 13. And I went to this party with this lad from the same year as me. I didn't really mean for it to happen, and I don't think he did either, but it, it did. It's not something I'm particularly proud of. Perhaps, but it's not something you should feel guilty about either. Everyone else thinks I should. Well, I'm not everyone, am I? So that's when it happened. So unfair. It was my first time, it's the only time that I've, and I get pregnant. That's it, I mess up everything. No, you don't. It's not your fault. It is. It's not just me, I mess up everybody else as well. My mum and Martin split up and that's all because of me. No, it wasn't. You said he was having an affair. Yeah. But maybe if Bethany hadn't have been around, they'd have got back together. You don't know what it's like having a baby in the house. You can't sleep properly. Everything's disrupted. It's no wonder why I wanted to leave. Now listen. You can't blame yourself for what other people do. From what you told me, they'd have split up anyway. Maybe. Of course they would. Nothing you did or didn't do was going to change that. Perhaps you're Poor Sarah. You've been through such a lot, haven't you? I'm sorry, I'm not usually like this. Oh, it's okay, I just wish I could be more help. You have. It helps just being able to talk about it. Good. That's what I meant. We've got a special connection, you and I. Uh, can I come in? Well, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit untidy, I'll... Uh... Hey, look, sit down. I'm not here to view your flat. I was really touched when you said how you felt. And I don't want anyone else. You're one of the nicest blocks I've ever met. No, it's... Yes. And... But just because you want to sleep with me, it don't mean you're a monster. And like I said, it, it's what I want and all. And I just thought I'd say that, well, we might get to that point sooner than you think. You know, I, I don't want to rush you. You're not. When I went for the checkup after the rape, 
Well, they said there's a few other tests that they might like to do, just to be sure. And, um, well, they said it's not very likely, but... What? There's a chance, a small chance, that he might have had AIDS. I've got to go and have a test. So now you see, even if I wanted to, I couldn't, not till I'm sure. There. I suppose you won't want out to do with me now. Oh, of course I do. I mean, Toya, I never could have imagined if I could get my hands on that Phil Simmons. <laughs> I'm terrified, Sam. <laughs> I can't believe she's lied to us like that. Hey? I don't suppose you know anything about these chat rooms. Yeah. You what? Oh, Gail, in your letter? Yeah, well, I didn't know it was going to lead to this, did I? Huh. She was lonely, Martin. She talked about being shut up in a room with Bethany all day, and it was her only way of making friends. I felt sorry for her. Which is why I shot you up back there. Oh, yeah, what was all that about? She probably hasn't told this Gary about Bethany yet. I think she should be allowed to tell him in her own way, in her own time. Right. Anyway, I thought this computer was for doing schoolwork, not for finding boyfriends. Give her a break, Martin. She uses the chat room an hour a night. Oh, yeah, and you thought she'd stick to that. <laughs> I should never have let her take it upstairs. I should have kept it down here where I could keep an eye on her. Oh, never mind. You thought you could trust her. Well, we both did. <sighs> anyway, I, I'm going to have to go and see Sally. I won't call all this off. No, you can't do that. David's got his heart set on it. Well, what exactly do you want me to do? Go. <laughs> Look. We've met the boy's father. We know she's safe. And I'll sort her out when she gets back. Don't you worry. Hiya. I've been thinking, why don't we all go camping? When? Now, with the others. Well, what about Alex and Sheila and social services? Yes, and what about Wayne? Why should he lose out all the time? Nobody will miss us for a few days. But we can't go now, not at such short notice. But think what this would mean to him. He really wants to go. He just doesn't want to go without us. But Roy... I really think we need to do this for him. I mean, it, it will help cement his relationships with the other children. Yes, I know that. But we can't just go tonight. Not well, just like that. Why? Well, because we'll have to arrange cover for the cafe. I'll have to have time off work. We have to pack and everything. Well, let's do it. Look, let, let, let's be impetuous for once. We could. Right, well, that's settled. Well, I'll have to ask Vera and Janet see if they don't mind covering. Look, tell them, tell them, don't ask. We are masters of our own destiny. Uh, yeah. Hiya, you ready for the off? More or less, yeah. Well, you'll have now to worry about why you're awake because I'll make sure everything runs nice and smoothly. Oh. I'm sure you will. And at least you won't have to cope on your own. Meet your new acting manager. You all right, Jess? Oh, we're going to be all right, Sal. If he gives me any jip, I can always report him to his mum, can't I? Oh, look at that. I'm just asking me to babysit so she could skive off with some lad. Wait till I get my hands on it. Yeah, well, you'll have to join the queue. Although it's not as bad as we first thought, because, well, she had us thinking this lad was 19. You're joking. No. What? Oh. We, we, we decided to come camping after all, the three of us. Well, what about social services? Uh, well, they've, they've cancelled the visit. Oh. Oh, good. Oh, David will be made up. How are you thinking of getting there? Well, we, we were hoping to come with you, actually. Oh, were you? Oh, yeah, yeah, why not? More the merrier. Although we're going in half an hour, you know. Oh, marvellous. So, well, see you then, then. 
Matt. See you and Charlie in the pub later. I shouldn't think so, no. Uh, one of us has already had enough. Oh, it's like that, is it? Tell the truth, Molly. I've spent me all afternoon off rowing. Well, never mind. It'll all come out in the wash. I don't think so. Not this time. See you later. See you, Matt. Yes, yeah, so it'll be fun, a real adventure. Right, well, I can't get hold of Janice, but Vera says they should be able to manage between them. Yeah. Where are the sleeping bags? We've got sleeping bags. Right, they're there. Oh. Wait, why don't you get your toothbrush and stuff from the bathroom, love? Are you sure everything's all right? This isn't anything to do with Alex, is it? Of course not. Well, I still think we should let them know that we're going. Yes, well, I'll give Sheila a ring when we get there. I can't believe we're going. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Oh no, I can't. I've already had enough. Oh, go on. One more won't hurt you. Then I'll drive you back. Okay. What? <laughs> I don't want you to be offended. But will you take your hair down like it was in the photo, only it, it doesn't suit you as much up? I was uh, trying to look older. Well, you don't need to. You look fine as you are. How come I'm the only girl without a boyfriend, then? Lots of girls your age don't have boyfriends. You will one day. Yeah, but I'm not like most other girls. I have a baby. Hey, don't go getting yourself down again. It's true, though. No, it's not. You're beautiful and clever. And very, very special. And one day someone's going to be as smitten by you as I was. And they won't care if you've got six kids, let alone one. <laughs> there you are, that's better. I'm glad you stayed. So am I. Any time you need to talk, you know I'm always here. Yeah, I know, thank you. Friends? Friends. <laughs> Get some cans from the shop Enjoy and then we'll get to the chicken, all right? right. And Good do luck. try to behave, David! Give me a ring when you get there! Candice, I want a word with you. Hey! Don't you ignore me! You look worried. Do I? It's OK. It's normal. You think I'm not nervous sat here with you? Are you hungry? When was the last time you had anything more than a crisp? Oh, I don't know, breakfast. Right, I'll make your favourite. You don't know my Beans on toast, white bread with cheese on top. I remember, see? I remember everything you ever told me. And I don't want anybody saying that I didn't take good care of you. You stay there and I'll be five minutes in the kitchen. You're in big trouble. Your mum knows all about you and Gary. Yeah, I know. Look, um, can you come round and get me? Why? Where are you? I'm at the house. Listen, it's complicated. Just, just come round. I can't talk. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what's going on then? What's he like then, this Gary? There is no Gary. Eh? It's that guy. I thought he was Gary's dad, but he's just been pretending. You know, the chat rooms and everything. Well... What is he, some kind of perv or something? You've got to get out of there. No, no, he's all right. Um, he's making me tea. He's just a bit clingy and I don't want to hurt his feelings. Forget about his feelings. Just get up and go. Candice, will you just come round to the house? Knock on the door and everything will be fine, all right? Guess what? Listen, I've got to go, OK? Bye. Who were you phoning? Um, that was Candice, you know, the girl that was covering for me. I just thought I'd better ring her and tell her that my mum had been round. 
Listen, I'm really sorry. I'll pay for the phone call. I just should have asked. I don't care about the money. Did you think I wouldn't let you use her phone? I... I didn't... I thought we were going to trust each other. I thought from now on we were going to be completely honest with each other. I don't know. Maybe I just felt so comfortable I just didn't think about asking. That's good. I want you to be comfortable. So you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You can go if you want to, you know. No, honestly, I'm fine. Can I have a word? I'm busy. Ah, uh, right, I'll uh, get these into your mother. You know what she's like when her blood sugar drops. What do you want? Look, I'm sorry about before. Yeah, of course you are. I really need your help. Help? What for? Sarah needs a favour. I'll explain on the way. Hey, where are we going? Us back to my tea. Come on, we're going to have to get a taxi. A taxi? Yes. Your tea's ready. Come and get it. Looks nice. Sit down. Have you got a soft drink, please? Yeah, sure. In the fridge. I uh, didn't know what you'd like to drink, so I just got everything. You could have told me you had no money. Yeah, well, I thought you had money. You hijacked me on the way back from the chip shop. Why should I have any money? Yeah, well, you didn't have to tell him we had no money. The meter was on four quid. Yeah, and your mum works for the company. Don't you think we could have got a freebie? Great idea. Peter didn't have that ten minutes ago. So you don't know where we are? Yes, and it is that way, so come on. How far that way? I don't know, about a mile, but we'd better hurry up, all right? Yeah, well, let's just hope Sarah's got some money so we can get back. Is it okay? Yeah, it was nice. Perfect. Are you a dreamer, Sarah? What do you dream of? Who do you dream about? I don't know. You thought of somebody then? As soon as I asked you the question, somebody popped into your head. Who was it? No one. Oh. It's okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to embarrass you. If you don't want to tell me, it's fine. It was Gary. Gary? The real Gary? Or the made-up Gary? The photo you emailed me, the Gary I thought I was talking to in the chat room. Dream though. I'll do the washing up. No, neither. Honestly, it'll only take a minute. Really, it's fine. I'm really sorry. It's okay, it was my fault. I made you jump. There's glass all over the floor. You better stay where you are. Looks like I'm gonna have to carry you. as light as a feather. I could carry you around all day. You'd never have to walk anywhere ever again. Everywhere you wanted to go, I could carry you. <laughs> Where would you like to go? Just out of the kitchen, please. Your wish is my command. <laughs> now, where would you like to go? You can put me down now. <laughs> Do you want to see my computer? Yeah, all right. It's upstairs. I'll, I'll carry you. No, it's OK. I can walk. And I think I should go after that. Oh, well, don't say that. We're having such a lovely time, aren't we? Come on. Jason, I didn't mean it. I was just jealous. Jealous of what? Well, you seem to be more interested in Sarah than me. Yeah, well, Sarah gets herself into more trouble than you. True. I mean, she's so unlucky. She does it once and she gets pregnant. Then she thinks she finds she's got a boyfriend and he turns out to be, what, <laughs> 50? She shouldn't have gone to meet him. 
Hey, you went to meet Sarah and you didn't even know who she was. She could have been an axe murderer for all you knew. Yeah, well, I shouldn't have done it neither. That's the house. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Now go and knock on the door. Me? Yes, you. Well, I thought she asked you. Look, mate, if you're too scared, I'll do it. No, I didn't say I was scared. Right, well, go on then. I'll wait here. Right. If I'm not back in five minutes, call the cops. Yeah, yeah, just go on. <laughs> so where's your computer? In my bedroom. Really? I've saved everything, you know. Every conversation we've had, every email. We could log on if you want. Yeah, all right. So, have you met anyone before? You know, in real life? Yeah, I've talked to some other girls. What, in chat rooms? Yeah. But I've never actually met anyone, though. Never been brave enough. I was always worried what they'd say when they met me. You never know how people will react, do you? So why me? Because I... I thought you were special. And I really wanted to see you, so I figured you were worth the risk. Go on. Are you not going to answer it? I'm not expecting anybody. They'll go away. It might be my friend Candy. She said she might come round. No, it's some lad. You stay here. I'll sort it out. What do you want? Uh, my name's Todd. I'm a friend of Sarah's. Todd? Yeah. Is Sarah there, please? No, sorry, you missed her. She left ten minutes ago. Really? Yeah. All right. I'll go then. Thanks. Who's Todd? He's a friend. A boyfriend? No. You locked the door, you locked me in. It was for your own safety, you lied to me. No, I didn't. So who is this Todd then? What about the phone? I asked you a question. Who is Todd? He's the guy that helped me organise it to come here. You said it was a girl that helped you. It was Candice and Todd. I don't know if I can trust anything you say anymore. Anyway, he's gone now. So it's just you and me. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. He's lying to you. Look, she's upstairs and she must be in the bedroom. Why has he got her up there? I don't know, but I swear if he even touches her. We've got to do something. I'm trying. Steve, it's Gail Platt. I need a taxi. As soon as possible. Uh, the multiplex. No, 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 it's okay. I'll, um, I'll walk round to the office. Let me do it. I've only got one bar left on my battery. Don't call the mum, call the police. It's ringing. Uh, Gail, is that your phone that's ringing?
no. Candy's calm down. I can't tell what you're saying. Candice, phone the police. As soon as I've put the phone down, phone the police. And stay where you are. I'm on my way. Yeah, I will. Right, I will do now. I'll do it. Okay, then. Oh, come on, Martin! Sarah's in trouble. Um, look, the uh, Kev's, Kev's have to keep for this. Come on, I'll, I'll give oh, you a lift. thanks. I think I better go now. What did I do? You locked me in. I'm sorry. It was a mistake I shouldn't have. I was worried about you. What worried that I was going to run away? I'm going home and you can't stop me. Okay, you can go. I always said you could go any time you want. Just tell me, why do you hate me so much? I don't hate you. You don't trust me. No, not now I don't. You don't even like me, do you? Tell me the truth. You never liked me, did you? I did. I do. I just want to go home. You're just saying it. I'm not. Prove it. How do you prove you like someone? You show them. You hold them. You kiss them. See, I knew it. You find me repulsive, don't you? You've been pretending all along. Playing games with me, laughing at me, lying to me. <laughs> don't hurt me, please. Why do you think I want to hurt you? I wouldn't harm a hair on your head. It's the exact opposite. I just want to show you how much I care about you. You don't let me go. I'll scream. I mean it! So scream if you want to. Nobody will hear you. Herself. If he touches her, if he harms one hair of her head, I'll kill him. I won't say anything and I won't tell anybody. Sarah? Be gone. Sarah. Sarah. Sarah's still there, that lad. Sarah. Shh, shh, shh. What if you just leave us alone? Shh, shh, shh. It's next left. Yes, police. not going to hurt you. Look at me. Look at me. Do I look like someone who'd hurt you? No. Well, there you go. Sarah? Sarah! Sarah! Toddy's got her! Round my back. I think he's gone. And we were getting on so well before. Should we just see if we can get back to where we were? I think we should go back upstairs. Uh, move! Right, I'm going in. No, you're not. Go and wait for the police. Would you drink?
What do you think you're doing? Where's Sarah? Did you break into my house? Is that what's going on? No, I... Sarah! Sarah, come on, it wasn't my fault. Sarah, come on, don't play games with me. I'm not in the mood for this. Sarah! Sarah, are you in there? Sarah, answer me or I'll have to come in! Sarah! Sarah? Okay, it's not too late. I will look after you, I will, it's not too late. We can still be good together, I know we can. But there's something we've got to sort out first. Your friend, he broke in downstairs and there was an accident. But we can sort it out, okay? We can sort it out. Come on, come with me. Everything's gonna be okay, Sarah. Come on, come with me. Sarah, come with me. Sarah, come with me. Did he hurt you? Sarah, talk to me. I'm all right, he didn't do anything. Are you sure you're all right? What happened in there? I'm fine. Hey, uh, let's get someone have a look at that. 
Right. And you, you should have killed him. If I'd have been in there, I'd have kicked his head in. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's find a paramedic, have a look at you. And I'm best ring your mother. Right. Sarah, are you hurt at all? No, I'm fine. Right, have you seen the medics? Not yet, no. Right, well, let's get you checked over, but then I want to find out exactly what's been going on here. You and me both. You scum, you are! Do you hear me? You scum! Hey, don't worry. He'll get what's coming to him. What are you doing up here? I need a lift. I'm trying to get some other mug to do it. I'm on my break. Listen carefully. Sarah Candice and my youngest son have just been attacked by some weirdo. Dennis has given him a thumping and now he's down the police station. So if you don't mind, I really would appreciate it if you would give me a lift. Why don't you just say that in the first just place? Just get on with it, all right? What did you talk about in this chat room? Dunno. Stuff. What kind of stuff? I can't remember everything. It might help if you could remember something. Anything you might have said that struck you as odd. He said lots of things. Personal things? Yeah. Did he ask you about your boyfriend? This Gary suggests he could be your boyfriend. No, not like that, no. I don't know. I just thought that he was... He said he was 19. All right. Let's go back over what happened in the house. she was there and spoke to Mr. Adams. Yes, that's right. He told us it was us? the... Um, my ex-husband, Martin Sarah's stepfather, he was with me. We found out she was seeing someone who was older than her and we didn't know who he was, so we went round. He told us he was the boy's father. And you believed him? No reason not to. I mean, you trust people, don't you? You believe they are who, who they say they are. And, and he seemed so concerned. He told us that the boy, Gary and Sarah, were at the pitch. statement as well. Don't blame yourself. People like Adams are experts at manipulating people. Look, why don't you take it home? We can sign off on this tomorrow. Thank you. Sarah? Sarah? Let's go home, eh? Sorry. I'll see you both tomorrow. I've arranged a car for us. Are you all right? Are you sure? <laughs> Where's Bethany? Oh, she's fine. She's with your nan. I've asked her to keep her for the night. Let's go home, eh? Did you see the police car outside number eight? There's number eight there. The Platts, yes. Yes, I did. Uh, two pints, please, love, when you're ready. Okay. Well, Lucy's asleep now. Makes you wonder, though, doesn't it? Blanche. Well, I mean, there's not many good reasons to have a police car outside your house. 
Do you want me to tell you why there was a police car outside? I mean, don't. I were being neighbourly, not nosy. Just thinking of a way in which we might be able to help. I've just had to fetch my son from the hospital. He could have been... Anything could have happened to him. It's all right. It's Todd. He's just had a bit of a bump on the head. Tell him what happened. It's been a bit of trouble. I thought you'd be mad with me. So you hid and let him tell us a pack of lies. Yeah. He preferred to stay with him than face me and Martin. I didn't know what he was like then, did I? You knew that he lied. You already knew that. What did you tell the police? Same as I've told you. You can tell me what happened. Whatever it was, you can tell me. Nothing happened. You were in that house with him for a long time. We, we just talked. I felt sorry for him. He seemed nice. He seemed interested in me. He understood me. He told you a pack of lies. He was a grown man. He was old enough to be a father. He wasn't interested in understanding you. He wanted to harm you. Have you any idea how much danger you were in? Sarah, look at me. Look at me. What do you think would have happened if we hadn't have turned up? What do you think he would have done to you? You watch the news. It happens all the time. Young girls go missing and they turn up dead. Do you hear me? Dead! So, she made friends with him on the internet? But why on earth did she go to his house? I'm not telling you right. I haven't got all the details. She thought he was a young lad, and it went to later that she found out he wasn't, and then he started turning nasty. And what about Candice and Todd? What were they doing there? Well, they were the only ones that knew where she was, and then when it all kicked off, they called Gail and the police. But Sarah, she is all right? Uh, yeah, I think we got there before anything uh, bad happened. Oh, that poor girl. She certainly had her fair share of trouble. Well, I hope you put that scumbag in hospital, Dennis. He did leave in an ambulance, yeah. Well, given your recent experience with the law, I'm not sure you should judge quite so quickly. Innocent until proven guilty. Well, well, right, yeah, but the difference in my case is I'd not done anything wrong. This bloke got caught in the act. You just heard what Danny said, didn't you? Are you saying we should give this monster the benefit of the doubt? No, I'm just saying we don't know the whole story, and until we do... <laughs> I know the whole story. You should have seen the kids, seen the faces. I'm trying to be brave, but they were terrified. I mean, my Todd's a brave lad, and I have never seen him so frightened as he was tonight. Yeah, if someone touched one of my kids, I'd kill him. I won't be able to stop myself. Well, I, I think the main thing is that we all be thankful that they're all all right. Yeah. You're a hero, mate. You know that, don't you? I only did what anybody else would have done. In fact, Shelley, let me buy that man a pint. <laughs> What's it going to be, Dennis? Oh, no, really. Oh, go on, let them. You deserve it. <laughs> all right, then. Just one settle me nerves, eh? us all. And I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. Or maybe I did. Maybe I wanted to frighten you so much that you'll never do anything like this ever again. You're safe now. Do you hear me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you get 
any sleep last night. Not a wink. Where did they get their energy from? What are you doing? I'm trying to get me messages. I could ever get a signal in this wilderness. Only five minutes away from the motorway. It's hardly the heart of darkness. Mm, well, you know, three messages. <laughs> oh, I don't believe this. What is it? Gail's at the police station with Sarah. Why? What's happened? Hang on a minute. There's another one here from Gail. Go on, Sophie. Hey, big man. Hey, you should be front page news this morning, mate. I don't know about that. Hey, don't be so modest. He's right, you should be. Yeah, I envy you. Well, you do, why? Well, yeah, it's something you're never going to forget. You get that chance to be tested, you know for sure you do the right thing, don't you? Yeah, well, as long as you don't lose control, eh? Still, nobody was hurt. You look awful. Thanks. I didn't sleep much. No, neither did I. How's your head? It's OK. You know, you were dead brave last night. No, I didn't help much, did I? Well, you did more than most blokes would do. I'm really proud of you. And I swear, I won't mess you about again, I promise. Just wait till people at school find out about this. Yeah. Would you come and save me if I was in danger? Yeah, of course I would. Hello. Hiya. Oh, I hope this hero thing isn't going to Dennis's head. Yeah. That's Todd. Must have been quite an ordeal for him as well as Sarah. Yeah, it was. Can I ask you to come down to the station with me, please? I'm sorry, but I think I told you everything I know the other night. I'm afraid we need to speak to you for a slightly different reason. Gary Adams says you assaulted him. Oh, you are? What, is this, is this some kind of joke? He has some severe injuries and he wants to press charges against you. So... I don't believe this. If you could just get uh, yeah. in the car, to be joking. Severe injuries? It's one like that. I must have asked for him. Don't worry, that this is ridiculous. Where is she? She's upstairs, but please talk to me first. Gail, I've come back to see her, find out if she's all right. Yeah, she is all right. But the last thing she needs right now is you doing a repeat performance of that business with a diary. <laughs> so, what's happened then? She was fooled by an evil man. The way he fooled us. What do you mean? That wasn't the same bloke. It wasn't the same yes. one we talked to. We had a chance to stop it, Martin. And we didn't. I didn't have to come back. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I wish everyone would stop asking me. Good. And maybe you can tell me what happened. I've told it a million times. Yeah, well, not to me, you haven't, so come on. Come sit down. Come on. So what do you want to know? Oh, uh, pretty much everything. It's all right, I'll get it. Well, it might be candy. Yeah, I'll let her in. Sarah, look at me. You didn't have to come back. I'm all right. Oh, hello. I, I was just wondering what you're up to today. No, um, it's not a good time. Oh, I I'm sorry. Can I help with anything? I I'm, no I'm nothing planned. Uh, no, thanks. But um, I best get back inside. Well, I'll see you some other time then. Yeah. Who is that? I don't know. Ask her. Who is that, then? Nobody. Nobody? Nobody important. Oh, well, if you're quite finished with nobody important, maybe you can get back to your family. And what's that supposed to mean? Uh, nothing. You talk to me like that. I'm like what? Like that! Oh, please, come on, will you stop arguing? I asked you a question. Yeah, and like I told you last night, I hit him. I admit it. The same as if you come in and found me holding a screaming little girl, you'd have got one of your monkey boys to hit me. You're not making this very easy. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it just yesterday I was a big hero and today I'm public enemy number one? It's got me ever so confused. Mr Adams has significant facial injuries. So? So, have you any idea how he got them? I've no idea how he got them. Maybe he cut himself shaving. This attitude isn't helping, Mr Stringer. So stop asking me stupid questions. I'm trying to be patient with you, Mr Stringer, you, but you're making it very difficult. Oh, difficult? You should try it from my side of the table. All right. Listen to me. I don't like this any more than you do, but this is my job. Now, there are two ways of doing it. 
Either you help me out and answer my questions, or you talk yourself into a serious assault charge that'll get you locked up for a very long time. Now, what's it going to be? Look, I don't care if we end up sitting here all day. I want to know exactly what went on in that house. Nothing. Sarah, what did he do to you? Nothing. Nothing at all? Please don't start this. He didn't touch her. I didn't make any suggestions. Um, he made me beans on toast. Oh. Sarah, you can't blame us for worrying about you. I know you've been through a frightening experience, but you also lied to us. I didn't lie to you. I just, I just didn't tell you the whole truth. OK. So maybe now you can tell us the whole truth. Everyone goes on chat rooms. They're just a laugh. You can just talk to people and you don't have to tell them the truth. You mean you don't have to tell them you're a 14-year-old schoolgirl with a baby? Yeah. Well, it's not exactly the ideal way to find a boyfriend now, is it? I wasn't looking for a boyfriend. So what were you looking for? I was just looking for someone to talk to. But you can talk to me. What? You know you can talk to me about anything. Yeah, but you're my mum. Yes. So? So this is it then? My whole world for the rest of my life, my baby and my mum. I just wanted someone else to talk to, someone who didn't know me, who wasn't related to me. Yeah, well, you got what you wanted then, didn't you? I know he was older than me. But on the chat room, he, he seemed like a friend. He seemed to understand the way he felt, felt the way I felt. And do you still think he feels the same as you? Maybe he might feel as stupid as I do. And Sarah, come on. You're not stupid. Yes, I am stupid, because look at me. I'm the most stupidest person in the world. I get pregnant the first time I do it, and then I make friends with some stupid hey, weirdo. Hey, come here. <laughs> so, so, what? But don't you think you should do something? People look to you for a lead. Well, uh, I could write an article for the Gazette. An article for the Gazette? Yeah, look, I don't think the parents realise the dangers in the technology that the kids have access to. What good's that going to do? Well, it might stop another teenager going through what Sarah went through. Yeah, but it's not going to stop Dennis from rotting in that prison cell, is it? Well, I don't imagine that he's rotting. Yeah, but what I'm saying is he's not here, is he? He's not a free man. No, I agree with Peter. I mean, after what he did, you'd think they'd give him a medal, not lock yeah. him up. Oh, it's all just words, isn't it? I mean, we can sit here drinking and prattling on all day. It's not going to help my Dennis. Well, all right, then. Let's do something, then. Come on, Dad, you organise that mob to save them cobbles. Let's do something to get justice for Dennis. Why don't we all get down that cop shop and we'll tell them what we think? How about that? At last, some action. All right, come on, let's do it. Well, we can round up the cabs and have a convoy. Yeah, I don't think that's wise. Well, come on, you love a protest to just cause. Now you've got one, Dad. Are you coming or not? Well, all right, but just to make sure that you don't get into any more trouble. We can use our cars to block off the street. Hey, blockade the police station, nobody gets in or out. Yeah, but I can't see how getting ourselves arrested is going to help Dennis. No, but it's going to make them think twice before they lock up honest, decent people, isn't it? Right, come on, let's do it. Right. OK, well, we'll give it a go. Where's everybody going? Dennis? Oh, we're just, uh, we're just on our way to bus chart there, Dennis. <laughs> we think it's a disgrace the way they treated you. Here, here. Well, thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> But so what happened? Did they just let you out? Well, no, they had to do something once he made a complaint. They just give me a caution, that's all. You know, that stays on record. Yeah, well, I don't care as long as the kid's all right. That's all that matters. But uh, I do appreciate you getting all so steamed up. <laughs> right, then let me be the first to buy a drink for the free man. <laughs> so you know, it's a good job you got back when you did. <laughs> so, did uh, you think you was going to die? Towards the end, I was a bit too scared to think about anything. I kept waking up last night with nightmares. I never slept. Mm. Todd was so brave. I mean, he wouldn't let me inside. He said he had to go and wait for the cops. Yeah. We're back together now. I'm solid. Right. Was that our front door? 
I don't know. This is Martin, Sarah's stepdad. Hello. Yes, pull in. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Oh, we heard the door go. Do you think you might be ready to make a statement now? Yeah. Oh, uh, I think I better go. See ya. Hey, thanks for coming round. Bye. Hey. Like I said before, I need you to make statements as well. Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. And when we're finished, if Sarah would like to see a counsellor. Oh, no, I'm all right. I don't need anything like that. I think we're more concerned about what's happened to Gary Adams. Have you charged him, then? Uh, yes. With child abuse? With false imprisonment. False imprisonment? What's that supposed to mean? Well, we're still investigating. But right now, Mr Adams is telling us a different story. We've searched his house and computer, but... so far, we've not found any incriminating evidence. He's denying everything. So he's saying I'm a liar? Yeah, OK, Sarah. I mean, the main thing is that he's still locked up, yeah? Um, he's not. He was released on bail this morning. Cup of tea. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, not bad. Thanks for stopping. No probs. How are you? All right. Well, I would have been if they hadn't let him go. Yeah. I mean, what were they thinking of? Oh, I don't honestly know, Gail. That's the law for you, I suppose. The law? Hmm? Well, what sort of a message does that law send out? A man... a monster preys on young girls, traps them, he gets arrested, and then he gets sent home again. Oh, no. I haven't slept a wink. Of course you haven't. We've all had a big shock. We've had a lucky escape. And now he's back on the streets, I don't know. I mean, Sarah knows how stupid she's been, but... How long before he lures some other stupid teenager into his club? Look, why don't I take Sarah away with me? Where? Away from here. Camping. Give you both a break. Camping? Yeah. You can catch up on your sleep, relax a bit. She can get away. Get some fresh air in the lungs. Oh, I don't know, Martin. Yeah, well, think about it. Hey, where do you think you're going? Me? Yes, you. Well, I thought I might uh, do something like uh, help out in the Middle East crisis or cure foot and mouth or maybe just go for a stroll for the good of my health. You're doing none of them things. You can start collecting some dirties now. Do what? Look, we're all nearly out the frame. Janice disappearing. I need all hands on deck. Here, get that on. Don't worry, Jack. I'll cure foot and mouth for you, son. <laughs> well, you're such a hero these days. I wouldn't put it past you. Mm. Dennis, love it. What can I say? Thank you so much. Oh, you're all right. See what I mean? Pardon? Just saying what a hero he was. Oh, just say that's again a real man. Oh, more like I say about some people. Uh. No, no, not you, lovey. No, I'm talking about a certain son-in-law of mine who will remain nameless. Right, well, let's get out of here. Well, I can still get my head through oh, the door, eh? Oh, yeah. Right, thanks well, again. I could be an hero, you know, but it's very difficult when somebody tarts you up in an apron. Oh, yeah, well, now, that's very useful for other stuff, Jack. A pot of tea and a little bit of toast as quick as you can. <laughs> Morning. I think you just love these school holidays. Did you get your breakfast all right? I was going to get up and get that for you. No problem. Listen, I've been thinking. Why don't we have a week away? Get some sun and sangria. Because I don't think that will solve anything. What do you mean? I mean, until you let go of the past and face the future, I don't think it's worth having an afternoon off, let alone a week away. See ya. There you go. 
Rachel? Ah, oh, thanks. How are you feeling? Like everyone's going to be talking about me. Ah, well, we'll have to get over it, won't we? I am stupid. Sarah, you're not stupid. Yes, I am. Look what's happened to me. Look what keeps happening to me. Oh, it must man. be thick. Sarah, you know, you made a mistake. It happens. Yeah, and it keeps happening to me. Yeah, but it doesn't just keep happening to you. It happens to everyone, me included. You mean, if you hadn't made that mistake, you and Mum might not have split up? Oh, well... Oh, I don't know. Everything I do or touch, it just falls apart. Right, well, I'll have to keep you away from them sausages then on the campfire. Are you serious about coming away after all this? Yes, especially after all this. Can Candice come? Candice, camping. They don't make a tent big enough for her wardrobe, do they? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. Oh, thank you, Martin. You know this stuff you do in your shorts? You mean me running? Yeah. Why do you do it? Well, because I like it. Mm, is that it? No, because I'm good at it. Yeah, but it's not like football, is it? You're never going to make a fortune out of it. Oh, top runners do all right. Mm. You going straight to the top? If I can, yeah. Any road, there's other stuff. You get to travel different places, different countries, see the world. Oh, are you? Yeah. Olympics were in Australia, weren't they? What's the next big one? Commonwealth Games. Where's that then? Manchester. Manchester? Oh, well. You better start saving up your bus fare. I tell you what, shall I ask Sally if she'll sponsor you? Hiya. Are you love? You alright? Yeah. You alright? Yeah. Working here is a doddle. I tell you what, I'll be sorry when Sally gets back and I have to jack it in. Mm. Come for your lunch? Yeah. Why not? Hey, I normally have first lunch. Oh, do you love? Well, there you go, you see. These new managers coming in with the newfangled ideas, changing <laughs> all the system. See you later. See ya. <laughs> Can you? I read your article in the Gazette. Oh, did you? Good, good. I like a man who can think. I didn't realise you were an intellectual. Oh, yes. Stacking them trolleys in a straight line is a real brain teaser. Thank you, Blanche. You just don't know when to stop, do you, Blanche? I tell it how I see it. <laughs> so, uh, what's this article then, Ken? Oh, it's a right brainy piece, right, about kids and computers and the problems they can cause and stuff. Oh, you say that again. Do you know, I've got no idea what Todd gets up to on his. I only hope it's legal. Well, I'm sure it is, but we just can't take it for granted. So, have you got a copy? Can I have a look? Oh, yeah, I have mine. Here he is, man of the moment. Oh, give over. No, honestly. There's not many blokes who would have done what you did. Yes, still would. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen to this. We used to think that the little box that would ruin family life would be the TV. Instead, it's turning out to be the computer. Invented to ease everyday life. In the hands of the unscrupulous, they pose a serious threat to our children, added by our own ignorance and lack of care. Well, thank you very much for your support. Oh, Ma'am. No, it's nice to know we can count on our friends. Uh, what are you reading, Ali? Oh, it's just, uh, just something that Ken's written for the Gazette. Oh, well, I might have guessed. I mean, cashing in on Alf is not enough. You've got to start on Gale now. No, Audrey. Oh, I'm... yes, Ken, yes. You should be ashamed of yourself. Come on, let's This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee, 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 all the way home. Which is where your mum should have stayed, isn't it? Who is it? Me, Todd. Right. Hiya. Hiya. How are you? Yeah, well, you know. I just wanted to come round and check you're okay, that's all. Thanks to you. <laughs> Dunno, I was well scared. You didn't see me. Well, was. I'm scared for you. Um, I've, I've got some drinks in the fridge if you want one. Yeah, cool. My bed. Hiya. Oh. Hey. How are you? You all right? 
The man. It's an absolute disgrace. I'm leaving. No, I won't leave it, Gail. I'm very angry. I mean, I shall write to the press council. It's victimisation, this is. Maybe he's right. Maybe he should warn people. I was taken in. I am stupid. Oh, yes, well. Well what? No, nothing. Look, come on. Everybody else has their opinion of me. You might as well have yours. Yeah, I'm your mother. I'm entitled. Entitled to what? Think I'm hopeless? No, I didn't say that. No, you didn't have to, Mum. It was written all over your face. <laughs> You're my mother. I thought that might mean you'd support me. Obviously, I was mistaken. Passes the thingy. You what? The gizmo. Well, what the thingy or the gizmo? Make your mind up. You know what I mean. Well, I'm not sure I do. I'm I'm blinded by your technical use of mechanical engineering oh. speak. Oh. <laughs> Good news. Yeah. Well, it can't be more work. We can't do any more. Now, uh, kids phoning from camp, having a great time, apparently. So, come on, back to work. If it's not too much to ask. Oh, well, this is great. All this overtime, yeah. I move out that pokey gap from in by a decent place. Very good. Well, at least everyone's happy. Yeah. <laughs> Hiya. I thought you'd have been at home for lunch. Now your missus is at home. Is it still not resolved? Yeah. What are you going to do? No idea. This thing happened years ago. What have I got to do? Wear sackcloth the rest of my life. Hmm, sounds like it. Hey. Oh, come on, kiss and make up like you usually do. Come on, you love her, don't you? Yeah, of course I do. Well, there you go, then. Do you want out? Yeah. Hey. Take them to table five. <laughs> What's up? What's wrong? Have you been eating them chips? <laughs> They're out. <laughs> Burning your mouth, have they? Spit them out and behave. <laughs> At table five. You know this camping thing, is it like shower blocks and tents? Well, well, where is it? It's not far, I don't think. Derbyshire. Oh, right, so there's like theme parks and arcades and rides and stuff. No, I think it's more trees and country and stuff. Mm. Yeah, well, we can still have a good time. Yeah, OK, then. Brilliant. Look, I'll ask my dad. Your mum's not going, is she? No. Oh, I thought she was going to kill me. Yeah, she's a bit upset at the moment. She's trying to be all supportive and nice and stuff, but she's struggling. It's one of the reasons I want to get away. Do you know when uh, you were, like, with him, Gary? Did he, did he do anything? No, he just scared me. Right, cos, uh, if it had touched you or anything, you know, I'd never forgive myself. I mean, at first, yeah, I know I was jealous because he sounded dead cool and gorgeous and stuff, but now... I'm really sorry. I mean, your mum's right, I really let you down. No, you didn't. So you're not mad at me? No! Cos... I really thought I'd lost you, you know. I thought I'd never gonna see you again. Oh, come here. I'm fine. All right. Hey, you know, Sally never stopped for an afternoon tea break. Yeah. Well, that's the difference in his management style. And for me? Well, now I'm in charge. I need to watch my stress levels. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, hey, Mum. Hi, love. Hiya. Hello. Oh, no. All work, eh? Another late night, it's all go, innit? Mm -hmm. Well, if you want to go out or anything, I can get some time off. Uh, not tonight, no. Oh, are you all right? <laughs> is, is it your HIV test? Have you, have you not heard yet? I, I get some time off and come with you. No, no, it's um, next week sometime. Oh, all right. Well, let me know, eh? Right? See ya. See ya. What can I get you, lovey? A uh, cappuccino, please. A cappy what's it? 
which she means a frothy coffee. Yeah, and while you're at it, another frothy coffee for table four and two unfrothy coffees for table five. Right. One frothy coffee here and then two non-frothy coffees over there. Where's the other frothy coffee? At table five. No, no, no. You said two non-frothy coffees for table five. No, I said one non-frothy coffee for, right. for four and... Um... Right, four non-frothy coffees then. Yes, no, and I don't... Oh, go but, 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 oh, but where do we where do we get the froth? Oh, will you come back, love? Will you come back here and work? Because I never know what he's going to do next, please. Yeah, all right, then. Oh. You sound... Surely not. Yes, get that penny off. <sighs> there we are, look. Thank you. Hiya. Hiya. Guess what? Sarah's going camping and she wants me to go as well. Oh, she never said. When? I, uh, I ran there a bit earlier, just see how she was. Funnily enough, she never mentioned it either. Don't go jealous on me. We're past all that. Well, you could go as well. I mean, you, me, the stars, the fresh air. <laughs> oh. Hi, Miss Grimshaw. Well, carry on. It sounds dead romantic. So, um, where is this, then, uh, behind the back of the chippy? No, camping. Camping? Where? With Sarah and Candice. Martin and Sally there with the kids, and Roy, Wayne and Hayley there, too. What do you reckon? Well, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's a good idea. Oh, well, we'll be helping Martin and Sally with the kids. Is that okay? Yeah, cool. Come on. Well, make sure you don't get into any trouble, all right? Yeah. David, David, are you going to let me get a word in edgeways? Right. Look, I'm coming tomorrow. I don't know what time. It'll be uh, late morning. Uh, Sarah, can you get that? So, sleep tight and no ghost stories to Rosie. Huh? All right, then. See you tomorrow. Bye. I lost my key, I don't know why. Gail, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you, that's the last thing I wanted to do. Yeah, might have been nice to have heard that earlier. Yes, but I'm upset too, Martin. Martin. Oh, stop cooking, Gail. Me and Sarah are just going to get a takeaway. What do you want? Indian or Chinese? Whatever. Whatever. And fried rice four times. Coming up. Are you stopping? Uh, no, love, thanks. No, I'm late as it is. Well, don't bother with the rice then. There's some on the stove. All right. Right, come on, you. The last thing I wanted to do was upset you after all you've been through. Come on. I know. Well, at least I'm not as bad as that Ken Barler. I mean, why is that man going against this family? Look, he's just trying to point out that our generation is way behind with all this new technology. The kids are outsmarting us in every way. Oh, well. Maybe something good will come out of all this, huh? Oh, yeah? Yes. Well, maybe you and Sarah will talk to each other a bit more. What do you mean? Well, communicate a bit more. We do. <laughs> oh, Luffy, come on. If there wasn't a problem, look, she'd never have got pregnant, would she? She wouldn't be writing made-up things in her diary, and she certainly wouldn't be talking to strangers on the internet. Hmm? Anyway, that's all in the past now. Just wanted to say... Sorry, I don't want there to be any hard feelings, right? If you want me, you know where I am. Bye. Yeah. I know where you are. You are back late. I expected you earlier. Yeah, I had to uh, write some notes up. You could have done that here. Well, maybe I didn't want to. I see. Come on, then. Get on with it. What? Whatever it is you want to start a row about. I don't want to row. I love you. So what's the problem? I don't know. <laughs> Trust. Forgiveness. I want to know I can make a mistake without it being the end of the world, and... I want kids. I don't know what the problem is. I thought you wanted them too. So did I. So what's happened? I don't know, to be honest. I mean, you know that biological clock thing that us women are supposed to have? Well, I haven't got it. I don't feel a need to have children. I mean, when women at work get pregnant, 
All I envy is the time off work with pay. And when they bring the photos in and the babies, I don't drool, I, I just turn cold. I'm sorry. I see. Matt, you know I love you. Of course I do, you do understand that. But? I just don't want to have children. Not yours or anyone's. So all this well now. I mean, if Candice asked him, would it be all right if he came with us? Yes, I suppose so. Thank you, Martin. Hello, have you missed me? What's the smell? Oh, no, no. Ah! Ah! Oh! Gail? 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 Come on, what are you doing? That's my emails. What are you doing? She doesn't talk to me. Oh, come on, downstairs. I don't believe this. Checking up on me, looking through my stuff. It's my room. Yes. And what goes on in it? She talks to everyone from this room. Joe Cool 99, Jessie Girl, everyone but me. Gail, come on, we'll talk about it downstairs. Why don't you talk to me? I want you to talk to me, Sarah, not these people. Mom. Gail, calm down. Easy for you to say. Mum. My own daughter's a stranger. <laughs> We're going to talk to each other forever. The way I talked to her when she was a baby. Oh, Gail. She talks to the whole world from here. And I share the same house in total ignorance. My own daughter, a stranger. No, Marty. Leave me alone. Remind me, Les. I got to ring that wholesalers this morning. Order some more placky bags for the shop. Yeah, yeah, all right. And I must get Jason to do that window display. It's starting to look dead boring. <laughs> Flipping it, Janice. It's only a poxy hardware shop. <laughs> You're starting to sound like Linda Baldwin. Oh, all right. That'll be the day. You all right, love? Yeah. Uh, don't you want something to eat before you get off to work? No, I'm not hungry yet. Yeah. I'll see you later. Toya? She's keen. Nah, there's summer up. How do you mean? Well, I don't know, but she didn't sleep. Heard her walking around all last night. Well, she has got a lot on her plate. Hmm. I reckon we don't know the half of it. So, have you packed? Yeah. Me mum keeps going on about sleeping in separate tents. Mm, well, I know what you're thinking. Well, she won't know what we're doing if she's not there. What about your mum? Mm, the less she knows, the better. You have told her, haven't you? Candice. Yeah, well, it's too late now. I've packed and all anyway. I'm going to leave all that to my dad. <laughs> hey, yeah, love. One full English breakfast. <laughs> right, love. What were you wanted? Pot of tea and two slices of toast, very please. Brown. Do you know, thank goodness you've come in. Do you know I've been run off my feet? Actually, I'm not stopping. What do you mean? I've got to go into college and sort out some important stuff. Look, I'm snowed under here, and this is your job, you know. Your mother were only covering. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, Vera. I'll definitely be in 
tomorrow, OK? Do you know, I must be going soft in the head, letting her wall soft like that. Wow. That's youngsters for you, Vera. They've no idea of responsibility. I mean, life's just one big party at that age. Uh, brown. Thanks. How are you feeling? Better than I was yesterday. Must have thought I'd gone off my head. No, it's hardly surprising, after everything that's happened. I'm not sure about her going away, though, Martin. I think it's too soon. Oh, well, I think it'll do her the world of good to get away. Get away from me, you mean? I'm hardly flavour of the month, am I? Well, she must be feeling pretty messed up. I won't take it personally. I can't help it, Martin. If I'd taken more notice of what was going on in her life, then maybe she wouldn't have got involved with that man. Gail, there's no point blaming yourself. There's no way you could have known what she was up to. So why don't you just let Audrey look after Bethany? Have yourself a nice rest. You never know. Maybe spend some time with that new fella of yours. Richard. Ah, so it is true then. He's just a friend. It's all right. She will be OK, won't she? Yeah. Don't worry. I'll keep a close eye on Sarah. You just look after yourself. Vera, uh. Vera, look, can I, have a, can I have a word, please? Not now, Jack, no, I'm busy. Vera, now, it is important. Well, it'd better be. Yeah. This coming in the post this morning. No, what is it? It's a solicitor's letter. Oh, it's not to do without her, is no, it? No, 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 it's good news for James, anyway. Do you remember that? old chap who I used to have a drink with, Jimmy Kelly. I used to have a drink with him down at the Legion years ago. That short fellow with uh, squinty the squinty eyes? Yeah, yeah, well, that's him. I, I, he's passed away. I thought you said it was good news. Well, it is. I mean, not for Jimmy, but uh, it says in here he's left me something in his will. You? Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know. Oh, they were a tight old beggar him, well, from what I could remember. They are more gets more up here, doesn't it? He had a bob or two. I'd really love to flutter, did Jimmy? He's the only man I know that could put money on a three-legged donkey and it'd come in a winner. Anyway, reading between the lines, I reckon we could be in for a nice little windfall, me and you. I wondered where you got to. Fancy breakfast in here for a change. Trying to avoid me more like. Well, he can't hide forever. We've got to sort this out. Not now, Matt. When? It's about time we started talking. Fine. Just not now. Not here. Suit yourself. <laughs> Can I come in? Yeah, I suppose so. Your pet? Well, I can't wait to get rid of me. No, of course not. Yeah, well, I wouldn't blame you. I'd want me out of the way, too. What do you mean? Everything I do, it just... <laughs> it always goes wrong. It's... Life's a big mess. That's not true. Yes, it is. Everything I do is wrong. And what about Bethany? Yeah, well, when she's old enough to understand, she'll probably blame me for being a terrible mother. <laughs> oh, well... That just goes with the territory, I'm afraid. I'm sorry about yesterday. My head was all over the place. Yeah, well, that's no excuse. She's not gone rooting through my private stuff. No. I know. You should have just tried talking to me. I was scared, Sarah. He could have done anything to you. I didn't know he was going to be a weirdo. I thought he was my friend. I just wanted to be happy. Hello? It's uh, Toya Battersby.
Here, make yourself useful and some dishes want washing. You've sacked me yesterday. Well, I'm unsacking you now, aren't I? Look, when you've inherited your millions, then you can act like a gentleman of leisure. But till then, get your big fat backside up and help me. Vera, there was a rumour going round, you know, that Jimmy had this villa in Marbella. Now, if you can afford some of flats like that, you must have a bob or two. But why would he leave you out? I mean, you want that close? I don't know, he had a soft spot for me. He said I was one of his only mates that he could trust. <laughs> well, he must have had some dodgy mates then. Hi, pal. How's it going? Oh, you're behaving yourself for Ryan Haley. Yeah. Is that David? Mm -hmm. Telling me out they're having a smashing time. Okay. <laughs> What's yeah. up, mate? Oh, Vera says hello. Now, look, I'm coming back this afternoon, but I won't be on my own. I'm bringing Sarah, Todd and Candice. Yeah, I know, but she's had a bit of a rough time over here, so you've got to be nice to her. She needs a break, all right? And I promise you, me and you'll still have a laugh. OK. But she's not sleeping in our tent. She stinks. All right, see you later. Have you ever had an HIV test before? Did you bring anyone along with you today? No, uh, my family think I'm having the test next week. I didn't want any fuss. Well, obviously you've had time to think about things. I want to reassure you that whatever the outcome today, you're in good hands, OK? So don't think you're on your own. I just want to get it over and done with. I can understand that. But it's important we have this chat. In the event that your test proves positive, you'll need to consider a lot of things. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I really don't feel like talking about this just now. Have you had any thoughts about what you might... I don't know. I can't really say till I've had the results, can I? Well, how long will I have to wait? A couple of hours. If in the meantime you want to talk to someone... Look, can we just do it, please? I just think if Jack does get a bit of cash out of this bloke, so they might bung us a few quid. Tyrone, this is what he does when they run on the horses. Do you know you're starting to sound just like that money grabbing terrier? I would imagine. Could have a nice little holiday, just the two of us. Yeah. Well, if they do get the money, I hope to spend it on themselves. Because you don't deserve anything. <laughs> Are you going to be a good girl? Are you? Oh, we're going to have loads of fun together, aren't we, sweetheart? Wait a minute, Candice. You've got enough gear in it. <laughs> What does she want? I thought you'd sneak off without telling me, eh? No, actually, Dad said I could come. Well, I wouldn't expect out else from that dozy lump. Look, Bill spoke to both me and Martin about the trip. Candice, get your bag out of the car. Oh, Mom! Just do as you're told. That's not fair. And I'll thank you to mind your own. And don't think I don't know what's on your mind, young man. Hey, what? You told me that you'd asked your mum. Look, there seems to be a bit of a mix-up, but I promise you Candice will be fine. You might be happy with your free and easy ways, but I do not want my daughter to end up in the same boat as yours. Oh, give it a rest, will you? It's just a little holiday. Candice is staying here. But Candice... And that's final. Look, there's no need to worry, cos Martin will keep an eye on both of them. Oh, aye. And he did a good job of that with Sarah, didn't he? Look how that little madam's turned out. Now, just a minute, madam. I wouldn't trust him to look after me budgie, never mind our Candice. Oh, have you quite finished, then? I'll deal with you when I get you home, lady. Oh, please let her stay. Over my dead body. How you raise your kids is up to you, but you just leave my daughter out of it. After him. I mean, I might be able to persuade Candice some to like come along still. <laughs> I doubt it somehow. Unless you're willing to take your life into your own hands, of course. No. Maybe not. Wise lad. Now, come on. No, I don't suppose you still want to come anymore, then. Right, might as well. On, We're ready. <laughs> come on, my darling, and you take no notice oh, of that stupid woman, sweetheart. You make sure you have a oh, time, dear. Yeah. 
You'll be all right. Yeah. And you'll phone me if you need to. Of course yeah. Bye, Mum. Oh, bye-bye. Bye, bye, bye sweetheart. Bye, bye Mummy. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye, bye. Are you OK? Well, I could have done without that little scene. Yeah, well, that woman needs a health warning attached to her mouth. Listen, why don't you go in and put your feet up while you've got some peace and quiet, eh? I just might do that. <laughs> Come on. Bye. Oh, bye. Look, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Given half the chance, I could have... Well, I won't say what I would have done to the woman. Well, she sounds like a nightmare. She is. I mean, it was an action replay of Bethany's christening. Oh, poor Candice. Well... Thanks, so. Scale and Sarah, I feel sorry for having to put up with all that kind of shouting and abuse. Oh, look, how much do I owe you? Uh, 2 40 love. Right. Oh. Uh, hey, would you mind? No, not at all. Uh, hello there. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, uh, hello right. lovely. How are you doing? There we go. Sit going. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> she likes you. Look, look at Teresa. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Yes. yes. What is Lots it? Lots of lovely sweeties everywhere. Which one do you want? Oh, that one. Doctor. Good news, Toya. You test negative. I'm in the clear. Yes. I don't believe it. I, I thought... You all right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Would you like to talk or would you prefer to be on your own for a minute? No. Uh, I think I just want to go home. <sighs> Thank you. Thanks so much. There you go. Thanks. I heard about that drama with your daughter, the poor kid. Well, it's over now. And hopefully one less creep on the loose, eh? He's out on bail, actually. Never. Hey, if Jack was to bung a bit of cash our oh, way... he's still going on about this money. Yeah, but if he did, added to all the overtime I've been doing, we could get married quicker. Oh, why, right, yeah. And what happened to that money they give us? Yeah, well, it weren't my fault it was ripped off. Anyway, Jack might not even get the money yet. And even if he does, it probably won't add up to that much. Jack reckons this bloke that snuffed it was wedged. Hiya. Hiya. You want a drink? Uh, oh, yeah, please. I'll... Uh, no, we'll get these, Vera. No, you won't. Oh, this is on Jack. Yes, dear. What do you fancy? Well, just usual, ta. Right. You have Yeah, Hey, Hiya. I met man a double. Oh, you would. Might as well while we're in the room, mate. We have been worried sick. I've been over to that calf. Vera said you'd taken day off. Yeah. So what have you been doing? I went for my HIV test. I thought you said that were next week. Well, I knew if I told you, you'd want to come with me. So, uh, what happened? It's OK. <laughs> I'm in the clear. <laughs> oh, love, that's brilliant. <laughs> Hey, I still can't believe you went on your own. Well, you'd only have worried if I told you. This is the best news I've had all year. <laughs> Tell me about it. I've just been wandering round in a daze for the last hour. Well, at least we've got something good to celebrate, eh? Yeah. Uh, what's happened? We had a call this afternoon from your solicitor. Yeah? They've uh, set a date for the trial. It's only a matter of time now before that scumbag gets what's coming to him. <laughs> you wanted to talk? Talk. Why didn't you tell me you don't want kids? It's not that straightforward. You either want them or you don't. When we got married, setting up a family seemed so far in the future. I just thought I'd wake up one morning and be ready, but... It don't work like that. Don't tell me how it is, Matt. It's not you that have to change the life, give up the job, give up the freedom. You've always known I wanted to start a family. I 
thought I did too. So what happened? I'm not ready to settle down and stop having fun. Having a kid don't mean your life ends. And Charlie, you are over 30. I'm no baby-making machine ready to reduce on demand. This isn't just about you. It affects both of us. I'm not ready to be tied to a kid yet. I've still got things I want to do in my life. I think a family won't stop you. Oh, wake up. Wake up, Matt. Would you be prepared to give up your job and stay at home with the baby? Exactly. So why should I feel any different? So is that it, then? Have you made your mind up? I'm sorry. It's unbelievable. I mean, that's the kind of thing you read about in the papers. Except you expect it to happen to other people. Sarah OK now? Well, I think she's in shock. I think we all are. All that time. I had no idea. I'm supposed to protect my children from things like that. How on earth were you meant to know? You can't keep tabs on their every move. It was going on under my roof. Thousands of kids use chat rooms. Most of the time it's just harmless fun. You want to know this guy was sick. Well, he certainly fooled me and Martin. Those kind of people make an art of it. So when did you last see this friend of yours? Oh, it's got to be nine or ten years. He moved to the other side of Manchester, so we kind of lost touch, you know. Well, he obviously haven't forgotten you. What a lovely surprise to come out of the blue like this. I'll drink to that. Cheers, Jimmy, lad. <laughs> so how did you know him then, Jack? Oh, we go back ages, me and Jimmy. We used to compete together, you know, because he was a pigeon fancier just like me. Oh, we were worse than our Jack when it came to birds. <laughs> Blame it, Nora. What? His birds. But what about them? Well, he always said if I happened to him, he'd make sure his pigeons went to a good home. Oh. Sorry to spoil your evening with all my doom and gloom. I'm happy to listen, and I'm enjoying the company. Well, I'd best be getting home. Do you have to? I'm worn out. Well, at least let me walk you home, then. <laughs> it's only across the road. Scared you'll set tongues wagon? It's a bit late for that. All these years you've strung me along. Using that one stupid fling I had as an excuse. What are you talking about? Whenever I mention kids, all you did was go off on one about that one night. You weren't ready. You wanted to know you could trust me before committing to starting a family. It wasn't an excuse. But don't lie to me, Charlie. You've never intended having kids, have you? You knew that when we got married. That's a lie. Did you think I'd just go off the idea if you held out long enough? I'm not listening to this. If you knew we wanted different things, why the hell did you marry me in the first place? Right now, I'm beginning to wonder myself. Oh, I didn't mean that. Enjoy this time you got to yourself. I mean, don't sit here brooding. Life's too short. You're right. Got to move on. You've got to stop worrying about your family and have some fun for a change. Ooh. Easier said than done. Well, I'm happy to help out if you need a distraction. Oh, yeah? You could start tomorrow by having lunch with me if you like. Ooh. I don't know, Richard. Oh, come on. It's only a bit of food. It's not as if I'm asking you to accompany me on a 50-mile hike. You're right. Why not? What are you doing? I, uh, don't see the point in sticking around. What? And I am tired of arguing. Fine. Then we'll just talk. Don't go. We need to get this sorted. There is nothing to sort. Just had a stupid round. You can't just leave. Well, I need some space to think. Matt, please don't walk out on me. You'll be fine. You've got your drink. Look, what I said earlier, I, I didn't mean it. I was just angry. Yeah, well, maybe if we'd been honest with each other in the first place. Just give me time, yeah? We can sort this. I'll call you tomorrow. Don't make me beg, Matt. You can't do this. We love each other.
，对不对？妈，妈，妈！我爱你，我爱你。Come on, look now. Oh, bills. Circular more bills. <sighs> One for Alma. Well, that's a lot, Bethany. Happy birthday, Audrey. Happiness, happiness. The greatest gift that I possess. I thank the Lord that... <coughs> It's you. What are you doing trying to give people heart attacks so you can practice on them? Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Anyway, you're early. Yeah, I had uh, some catching up to do, some paperwork. I've not done your room yet. Oh, it's all right. Uh, leave it just this once, eh? Paperwork, my eye. Now think on, polish your shoes before you put this on. Vera, I know I'm going to see a solicitor, but I am not the accused. He wants to see me. I know, but I don't want him thinking Jim Kelly's left someone to just anybody. Anyway, be showing respect for an old friend. He was a good lad, old Jim, You know, you, you hear of folk inheriting all sorts of things, don't you? Like family heirlooms, stocks and shares. False teeth. Here, did Jim Kelly have any shares? No, oh, I doubt it. The only bits of paper he looked at was the racing page. No, no, like, like I said, it'll be the pigeons. Look, there you go again, shattering my dreams. Ah, he had some lovely birds, did Jim, you know. It's been ages since I've had my hand round a plump little breast, feeling the beat of a tiny heart. How's your ears today? Can you hear all right? Oh, yes. yes. Good. Because I'm just going to say this once. If I see or smell a pigeon, I'm getting my pie dish out. And I won't be filling it with apples. Eh? Do I make myself clear? Someone didn't sleep in their own bed last night. I beg your pardon? Dr Ramsden slept in the surgery. Makes you wonder, doesn't it, what's wrong with his own bed? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you will when you get in there. He's like a bear with a sore head. I reckon they've had words and she's chucked him out. Not that that's any of your business. Well, if he's not getting what he wants at home, who knows what could happen in there? Sorry? Well, you read about these things, don't you, in the paper? Doctors interfering with the patients. You go in with a jippy knee, before you know it, you're behind the screens we're now on and he's breathing on his hands to warm them up. She's got the right idea, taking time off. Bet she's heard him rowing through the walls and thought she'll make herself scarce. Morning. It's a long time since I went to a country pub for lunch. I wasn't quite sure what to put on. Couldn't be better. Well, Madam's carriage awaits. What's the matter? Uh, well, it's nothing. I just, uh, just get the feeling I've forgotten to do something. Have you been waiting long? 43 minutes. Oh. I could have knocked up a Victoria sponge in less time. What are you here for? Is it personal? Oh, look, Audrey's here. Hello, Audrey, love. Hi, Rita. Oh, I wouldn't bring a baby in here. From the look of this lot, like death is making a comeback. Yeah, I'm just popping through, Blanche, actually. Oh, now, Moa, have you seen Gail? Well, she's not in this week. No, I know that. I just thought she might have popped through, you know? No. Sorry. Oh. Mrs Sullivan? Mrs Sullivan? Oh. See you, man. If you'd just like to take a seat. Thank you. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah, why shouldn't I be? You know, just a normal free-for-all Saturday morning. You just look a bit stressed, that's all. I'm fine. Look, 
I'll be in the Rovers tonight if you need to talk. I'll bear that in mind. Mrs Hunt. About time. I'd get out of here while you're still walking. It's months since I've had a decent biryani. Plenty of naan bread and four or five pints to swill it down. Oh, stop it, Les. I can hardly contain my excitement. Hey, love, why don't you bring that Sam along? Sam the stripper? Yeah. He's been really good. We always tie you through all this. Well, if you put it like that. Go on, then. Tell him he can have whatever he wants on me. We're celebrating. Hey, it's great news about your test, love. Funny, though, isn't it? Celebrating something that's negative. Normally, you're happier when it's positive. Yeah, well, there's still a trial. Yeah, and we'll be celebrating then and all when that tour rag gets sent down. Listen, uh, would it be all right if I cried off the curry tonight? Only I was thinking I could cook something for Sam here, uh, while you two were out. But it's your celebration, curry. Oh, give over, Les. Of course you can, love. You and Sam have a nice night in together. Don't worry, we'll keep at your hair till closing. Oh, uh, that'll be him now. I'll see you later. See ya. See ya, love. Hiya. Sorry, yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask you something only night in front of them two. How'd you fancy coming round for a meal tonight? Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, what's your mum cooking? She's not, uh, they're going out. It'll just be the two of us. Oh, uh, great. You know, I, well, I, I wish you'd have told me about the test. I wanted to come with you. I needed to do it myself, Sam. Well, there, there was something I wanted to say. What? Well, obviously, it's great news that you're negative. But, well, I just wanted you to know that it doesn't make a difference to me. But I'd still want to be with you. Oh, Sam. Come on. Well, I was here. 45 minutes. I could have died waiting and gone stiff before they realised. I've not been to the doctors for ages, Touchwood. Your time will come. When you get to my age, you see more of the doctor than you do your nearest and dearest. Hey, uh, has our Gail been in it yet? Have you still not found her? No, she just appeared off the face of the earth. Thought I'd have seen her this morning, at least. It's my birthday. Oh, <laughs> let me get you a drink. Only a small one, mind. I am a pensioner. Uh, but then, of course, you're one too, aren't you? Uh, well, no, I want to get Bethany out of here, actually, Blanche. It's her feeding time, bye-bye. Yeah, I'll tell you what, though, I'm absolutely shattered. That contract you got me, kept me on my toes all week. Good, I'm glad to hear it. Oh, so how are you doing, anyway? The usual. You wake up in the morning, the sun's shining, and you're in a great mood. Then the post comes, and there's a gas bill reminder. And from then on, it's downhill all the way to your bedtime cocoa. Oh, I'm sorry, not much company at the moment. So, can you manage with a gas bill? Yes. By heck, you took your time. You cannot rush legal matters, Vera. What's that? That's my little sugar from fairy. Is it my inheritance? What a key? I a key. Oh, don't tell me. It's for an ice cream van, isn't it? No, 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 Vera, no, no. That is an house key, not a car key. House? As in property. <gasps> property? <laughs> Remembered where we live, have we? I've not come to row. And why have you come? For your tea? Change your clothes? I slept at the surgery. You could have slept here. If you haven't been playing your juvenile stunts. I needed time to think. And have you? Thought? Because I have. I've been sat here all night and morning doing nothing but thinking. And? I didn't marry you, Matt, for you to run out on me like you did last night. We've been through so much together. I thought we could talk about our problems. Why did you marry me? <laughs> you have to ask. I thought I knew. But now I'm not so sure. I mean, when we got married, you knew I wanted children. If you didn't, you should have said then, not now. Oh, this again. It's not going to just go away. When something's important to you, everything gets put on hold, doesn't it? 
Life is frozen until you've got it sorted. When something matters to me, you just lift up the carpet and sweep it under. That's not fair. Neither is being told you're not going to be a father. Don't make me out to be an ogre. I mean, I'm not the only woman that doesn't want to have children. You're the only woman I'm married to. Matt, I married you because I loved you. I still love you. Do you still love me? You still haven't answered my question. Do you want me to be honest? Yes. I don't know how you can ask me that question. Right now, I am so furious with you. Did me walking out last night mean anything to you? I mean, did you think I was just stamping my feet? Is that what you thought? Charlie, at the moment I can hardly bear to be in the same room as you. Matt, we've been married ten years. If having children was so important to you, why didn't you bring it up before? I thought it was understood. We get our qualifications, build our careers, get settled, have kids. That wasn't my understanding. I never planned that. Well, where the hell are you going now? I need a drink. That is always your answer, isn't it? Bury your head in a bottle. Yeah, well, just think what a lousy mother I'd make, eh? You make me sick. <laughs> then go. I'm sure the sick and wounded of Weatherfield could do with your advice. <sighs> I thought you were a gale. Have you still not found her? And on your birthday as well. Well, I've come to cheer you up. Many happy returns. Oh, thanks, Blanche. No need to thank me. I know what it's like to be forgotten. <laughs> no, I'm not forgotten. Mind you, you get to our time of life. And birthdays aren't something you want to celebrate, are they? Would you like a drink? Well, I shouldn't. But I'll have one to keep you company. Tea or coffee? Vodka. You know, it didn't take me as long as I thought to get here. Uh -huh. I'll have to come over more often. We've got a lot in common. Have we? Ungrateful daughters, for one thing. Deirdre's forever making out. I'm under her feet. Of course, her house is a lot smaller than yours. You'll have another spare room now, won't you? Now that poor Alma's passed on. Shall we back me up here? What's that, Les? Art Sawyer wants to stay in and cook for her and Sam. Instead of coming with me and our Janice. It's not right, is it? And it was company I'd prefer. You're gonna be alright? Yeah, of course. But you go and enjoy yourself. Well don't worry. We won't be back early. Right. Right. Come on, pest. See ya. See you, love. Grab a seat. Yeah. Right, there you go. Oh, that, uh... Now, you've had rounds before. Not like this one. Oh, you'll patch it up. I don't know if I want to. You don't mean that. Don't I? Look, you and Charlie are made for each other. You both love a bit of drama, you thrive on it. Shows how much you know then, don't it? Well, I'm thrilled for you. If anybody deserved a bit of good fortune, it's you two. Oh, thanks, Rita. What sort of a house is it? Well, we'll meet the executor on Wednesday and then all will be revealed. <laughs> Fancy. Mind you, there's nothing to say that it is a house. I mean, I've got a key like that for the cabin. It could be a shop. Hey, I never thought of that, Jack. Hey, just imagine me and you with us own shop. I could pack the cafe in and me and you behind that counter. I would be like uh, Rita and Norris. <laughs> oh. Gail, hi, love you, it's me. Um, I wonder if you've been doing anything for lunch. I can't remember the last time okay, I forgot bye. about being a mother and enjoyed myself. Thank you. It's me who should be thanking you. Gail, it's me again. Your mother. Uh, seven o'clock and I don't know where you are. I'd have 
thought you'd have come round, actually. Obviously, you've got more important things to do. Give me a ring when you get in, OK? Would it be nice to hear from you today, anyway? Bye. Someone doesn't sound happy. Oh, no. What? Her birthday. Hit me. Oh, oh. <laughs> and a 10 makes 27, unlucky sucker. Well, if you don't take chances in life, you don't get anywhere. Who told you that? You did. Oh, did I? <laughs> well, you also said we'd be having an holiday without Sarah. Yeah, I know I did. She spoils everything, her. Her and her crying, babe. Hey, that's enough of that. Your deal. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Makes you think Will's not such a bad place after all. Does it? Wrong then, isn't it? Hey, do you remember that meal Tyrone and Maria did for us? Yeah. You know, I was well chuffed when I found out you were going. Well, I fancied you for ages. In what way? Well, I like the way you looked. I found you attractive. So, you fancied me because of my looks? What about my personality? Well, that I know. But it's a thing to say, isn't it? I mean, you're dead clever with words. I'm... Well, I'm not, am I? You don't seem to be doing so badly. <laughs> well, I think you're lovely, Toya. Honest to do. I'm sorry. <sighs> well... At least I had Bethany with me. Ooh. I mean, I didn't even get a card from Stephen and Nick. Oh, Ma'am, I feel terrible. Yes, yeah, so you said. Oh, I did have one visitor, actually. A Blanche Hunt, extolling the virtues of bingo and whist drive. Oh, it's my fault entirely, Audrey. It was only meant to be lunch, but I don't know. Somehow the hours just flew by. I'll make up for it tomorrow. I'll do as a chicken. Oh, all right then, but I want the leg, OK. I'm just going to pop upstairs. Yeah, all right. It, you know where it is. Yeah. So, cosy day out with Richard. A nice day out with a friend. Oh! A friend? <laughs> I think someone's deluding themselves. What do you mean? Oh, God. The way he looks at you, that's more than friendly, sweetheart. And look at you. You look radiant. I'm happy. Well, then I'm pleased for you. I mean, heaven knows, uh, you deserve a bit of happiness after all you've been through these last two years, huh? Right, leave mine in the pump and one for yourself. Look. Oh, thanks very much. I'll put it in my pot. <laughs> right, now, to Jack and Vera and their good fortune. Jack, Jack and, and Vera. Vera. Mind you, I'd not be in your shoes. No, me neither. What you on about? Inheriting property. It's a minefield. Did you know Elsie Carter from Arkwright Street? No. Her auntie died and left her a house in Stockport. Hadn't been lived in for years. Elsie didn't know the stairs were rotten until she climbed them. It wasn't a pretty sight when they winched her out. Give over. You're just jealous. No, I wish you well, both of you. Just mind when you're climbing the stairs. How did this friend of yours die, anyway? Heart attack in the bath. I'd get the electrics checked out if I was you. <clears throat> look, I've, uh, I've been thinking. I thought you looked a bit pained. No, uh, no, look, about your gas bill. I don't want any money, Kevin. Look, it's not like I'm giving it you, is it? It's, it's like you've earned it. How come? Well, that contract you put my way, you call it commission. No. Look, now let's just enjoy our drinks. I can sort my own problems out, you know. OK? How many bottles have you gone through tonight? It's none of your business. You walked out the moment. It's up to me what I do now, isn't it? You disgust me. <laughs> well, I suppose disgust is better than hate, isn't it? Look, Matt, 
I know I've been drinking too much. I'll stop it. Why, why don't I put something in the microwave, eh? We could sit down and talk. I'm not stopping. Matt, please. Have you got any idea how pathetic you look? Just sit down, yeah? We can talk about this. What's the point? I've got nothing to say. I want kids, you don't. End a conversation. <laughs> Why are you punishing me like this? Where are you going? I'll check in at hotel. No. Stay here, yeah? I'll sleep on the sofa. Please don't leave me, Matt. I hate being on my own. I'll let you know where I'm staying. <laughs> you won't help me again! You might as well not come back! Fine. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just thought you wanted... I do. I do, it's Toya, just... Toya, I've been thinking maybe it's best if we call things. Is that what you want? I just think after everything you've been through, I, I, I don't want you thinking you've got to do things to please me. I mean, I wouldn't want that. I'd rather... Well, I'd rather we just be friends than you do something you might regret. But I want to. OK. I'm sorry, yeah? Uh, perhaps if we went upstairs? I, I don't really think that would be a good idea. Don't you want to? Toya, I really care about you. I'm not just interested in sex. I can wait. <laughs> But I just want to get on with my life. It's not fair. It's not fair. Shh. Come on, it'll, it'll be okay. <laughs> There's nothing like a nice cup of tea outside, is there? Mmm. Nice porridge, Roy. Oh, not had this for ages. Yeah, even I liked it. I can't stand it at all. Mm -hmm. That's Roy's cooking for you. How's oh. the game of footy, Todd? Yeah? Uh, not so fast, Bart, ma'am. We've got some washing up to do. Look, if you want to go fishing this afternoon... Hey, Roy, tell them about bird bingo. Oh, well, then they're not going to be interested. Bird bingo? He forced me in tent last night. <laughs> oh, come on then, Roy. Spit it out. Well, uh, what it is, is that we all keep our eyes peeled for the local bird population. The person that spots the most varieties wins a prize. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, really cool. Hey, you. What do we win, Roy? Well, we'd have to, have to work something out, but I would have thought a compass might be a suitable reminder of a camping holiday. Well, you'll always know where you are with the compass, don't you? Do you get off a sink down with your beast? What's that? Is this creature half man, half beast? and it roams round woods, eating little children. <laughs> Does it, Mummy? Only they're called David Platt. Come on, let's get cleared away. <laughs> oh, I wonder who that could be. Hi, Candice. Hiya. Did you sleep all right? Yeah, great. On your own, I hope. Well, uh, Roy and Haley tried to lure me into the tent, but apart from that, of course we're on your own. I'll leave you to it. Was that Sarah? Yeah. What are you doing with her? You're not on your own with her, are you? No. Well, you better not be. Right, well, come on, let's get some tidying up done. You don't need me, do you? You don't fancy it, do you? Is that all right? Yeah, OK. You can go to the shop and get the food instead. He smiles! It's ten minutes if you go through the woods. Look, you're going to do something. OK, then. In fact, er... Uh, you might need a hand if you feel up to it, Sarah. Yeah, quite fancy a walk. Yeah, will you be okay? Well, what's up with her? I'll go and make a list. Well, what does Sheila say when you rang? Why do you always have to expect the worst? Well, why do you think? Alex were up to his usual tricks last time he came round for his stories. Well, they can't touch his ear. So everything's all right? It's fine. 
Well, maybe we should give Vera a ring, just to check on Kathy, if nothing else. Look, I'm sure there's not a problem. Let's just enjoy this time here as a family. That's what Wayne's doing. Ten minutes, he says. More like ten miles. Oh, I'm having a rest. Price is in that shop. I know. It's not going to believe money we've spent. I can get fags cheaper in Dev's shop, and that's saying something. I smoke ten a day in holidays on Red Wreck. Oh, get lost. You're not funny, you know. Did you say something? Where? Behind that tree. I can't say anything. I think it was a bloke watching us. What did he look like? I don't know. We're too far away. Are you having a joke with me? I saw something! Oh, come on. Let's get out of this place. It's giving me the creeps. Hey, maybe there. Is it Derbyshire Oh, beach? cut it out, will you? You're not funny. Hey, up. Who's behind you? Who are you? Shut up! Whoa, very Tom Cruise. Oh, I'm not that short, am I? It's got other assets. Let's take a compliment. All right, then. Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> Martin! What is it? What's happened? David said he saw a bloke in the woods. The woods? Where? Back there in the wood. What bloke? I don't know. Uh, what did he look like? I couldn't see him right, we were behind loads of trees and... You said he was following us! Now, is this right? Well, no one made that bit up. But there was a man? Well, yeah. Well, I think so. And then he started saying it was the Derbyshire Beast. Hey, yeah, come here, calm down, you're all right. Now, have you been winding her up? Well, I thought I saw something. It was probably just another camper. There's loads of them about. Yeah, if it were anyone at all. Now, it's not funny, OK? We're only having a joke. Yeah, well, don't in future. All right. You don't think it was that, Gary, do you? No. You wouldn't be that stupid, surely. No. And he wouldn't know where we are, either, would he? It'd be a trick of the light or, or a camper, like Sally said. Mm. Oh, thank you. You all right now? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm just sorry I made such a fuss. I don't think anybody blames you, not after what you've been through. I just always seem to be in trouble. It's not your fault there's nutters out there like him. I think you're handling this very well. Thank you, Sally. <clears throat> I thought a round of bird bingo might be in order. Oh, good idea, Roy. Oh. Can you gather round, everybody? Oh. Gather round. Have your attention. Thank you. We're going to play bird bingo. We're going to play bird bingo. Now, we're going to start with an easy one. The common sandpiper. Brown wings, white below, distinctive trilling song. No? <clears throat> well, and moving on to the, the dipper. Distinctive white breast, found near water, if that helps. Oh, how about the crimson-breasted shrike? Red wings, light blue hood. Ah, a bit of a long shot, that. Only 50 nesting pairs, according to this book. I saw a pigeon. Well, th th yes, that's the start. G good. Can we go fishing, Dad? We can go this afternoon, I promise you. Oh. Well, I can't go now. I'm preparing this. Why don't you go and spot some birds? Oh, I'd rather go to sleep. <laughs> I'll come with you. Oh, yeah, take Rosie and Sophie with you. I'm scared of that man in the woods. Don't be silly. Have you seen what you've done with your daft stories? You'll go with them, won't you, Rosie? You're not scared, are you? OK. Come on, then. Don't go far, eh, Wayne? Yeah. <laughs> and don't be too long. This will be ready in about an hour. We will be all right, won't we? Yeah. As long as he don't get up to any more of his tricks. I'll kill him if he does. Do you live with Roy and Hilly all the time, now? Yeah. Who's your real mum and dad? I don't see me dad. I see me mum, but I can't stand a boyfriend. My mum had a boyfriend once. Greg Kelly. He was mad. He's in prison now. Parents. They're always telling us to grow up. I know, they're just like big kids. Shh. Did you wear somewhere? This is what he did to Zara this morning. No! Listen! Hear it? 
probably a squirrel or something. Stop scaring us. Yeah, come on. <sighs> the Derbyshire beast. Ray, we've got to try and relax. Hardly slept last night for worrying. There's no beast round here. No Alex, no one lurking. Just someone with a very overactive imagination. I don't think my imagination is what you could call overactive. I was talking about David. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you're more scared in those woods than any of those children are. Well, I can't help the feeling that they're vulnerable every time they're out to be a sight. It's easy to think the worst. What was that? A bird, Roy. Yes, well, the, the world can be a frightening place. I can't go into a panic every time we hear a branch rustle. No. No, no, no. They'll, they'll, they'll be all right. Of course they will. They'll be fine. There's three of them. It's the middle of the day. What can happen? As long as they stick together. They'll just be having fun, which is what children are supposed to get up to. Yeah, as long as they're sensible. You can't stop children from being children, right? And no child wants a grown-up watching their every move. No. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Sorted. What is it? I don't know. I don't want you to get in, do they? Mm -hmm. But I'll go in. Why are you not scared, are you? No. Hang about. David, don't. You'll get us into trouble. I only want to have a look, that's all. Passes that crit, Wayne. Hey, come have a look at this. Let's see. It's just a room with old beds in. David, that's enough, come on. This is this. It's like in dark. Sleep all right in here. I don't like it. I thought you said you weren't scared. I'm not, I just don't like it. What was that? It's the Derbyshire Beast! I'm getting out. Me and all. We're only a floorboard. I don't care. Ladies first, Wayne. Where's your mess? Me now? David! No, I couldn't see him properly. What are we going to do? They're going to kill us when we get back to camp and they find out. Should we go back and get him? What about that fella, though? What about Wayne? David, what's happened now? Where's Wayne? David, where's Wayne? Some bloke got him. What, what bloke? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What happened, Rosie? You, look, you, you must tell us. You, you must know something. We were messing about in this hut and a bloke came. Me and David ran off, but Wayne was still inside. When we got back, he'd gone. Well, what did he look like? I don't know. I didn't see him right. Yeah, but was he young, old, tall, short, what? Was it that bloke you saw this morning? I don't know, I couldn't see him through our trees. Well, where was this hut? It was back there. 
Right, we'll, we'll have to find it. Okay, then we'll have to split up. Um, all right, then, me and Sally, uh, you and Hayley and Todd and, uh, and Sarah. Come on. Wayne! Oh, I thought we'd lost you. Uh, what happened? Are you his parents? They're my mum and dad. Brian Haverstock, Camp Warden. I found him trespassing in one of our dormitories. Trespassing? Aye. His partners in crime ran off. There'll be a repair bill for the damage. Uh, what's this? They broke a padlock getting in. Who did that? Me. I warned you this morning. Hiya. I'm his dad. I'm sorry about this. There'll be no problem with the bill. Well, you would keep an eye on them in future. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's episodes like this spoil it for everyone else. We can't rely on yeah, people Yeah, to... I can assure you it won't happen again. I'm sorry, Roy. I thought you were his parents. Foster parents. Oh. Well, enjoy the rest of your stay. Now, this better be good. Well, at least the bogeyman in the woods won't Gary. Except David didn't see that bloke this morning. Hey, he wouldn't fully wow out here with all us like here. No way. I suppose so. Look, I'm going for a walk later. Why don't you come? Oh, come on, you can't stay chained to the tent all week. Yeah, all right then. Never would have happened if you'd have taken me fishing. It wouldn't have happened if you'd have behaved yourself. Well, I didn't mean to break that lock. It's just it gave way my hands. And I'll pay for damages out of my own pocket money. Too damn right you will. I didn't mean to shut him in. It's just that bloke scared us. Oh, so you just ran off and left him? Well, at least we went back to go and get him. And then we came back here to tell you the truth. And you ever do no wrong when you were a kid. I said I'm sorry. I don't know. What are we going to do with you, eh? There we are. Oh, thank you. I didn't even want to go in there. Well, it doesn't matter. It's all over now. The important thing is you're safe. I tried to do the right thing by calling you, Mum and Dad. And then I went and called you Roy. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. We were all right about it once Roy said that we were foster parents. I hate all this lying. We all do. But when it's for a good reason, sometimes you have to bend the truth a bit. I'll tell you what. A bit of a nice piece of apple pie. I think there's some left over from lunch. Oh. Can I ring my mum and tell her what's happened? She'll be at work, won't she? So? Well, you don't want to upset her. She'll only go worrying. Anyway, don't dwell on it now that it's over. You can always tell her, you know, when you get back, if you like. I hate it being shut up in there. Well, I don't think David meant to be cruel. There was nothing unpleasant in there, was there? No, no. It was just the thought of what he might do to you? In a way. It's what Alex used to do to me. What lock you up? That's terrible. Sometimes for ages. There you go. Thanks. <sighs> How are we feeling? Wayne said Alex used to lock him up. Well, that's ter terrible. Why? All sorts, mainly for lying. Well, no wonder you were so upset. It won't happen to you again. Not while you're with us, anyway. We. There you go. You know, we're only doing this because I'd already promised. If I'd have known Wayne we would have gone to take it bad, I wouldn't have done it. Yeah, well, that's what you never know about people. Especially when they've had such a bad time of it like he has. You think you're hard done by? What do I want like that again? Honest. Yeah, and while we're on the subject, you know Sarah was really, really upset this morning. I we're only having a mess about. Yeah, I know. But she had a bit of a knockback last week. Oh, why? What happened? Well, she met this bloke in a chat room on the internet. Said he was 19. Went round to his house. Turns out it was more my age. Oh, one of them sickos. It was OK in the end, but we had to get the police in. And it turns out they've had to release him because they can't pin out on him. Oh, so she thought he were... Yes, exactly. I'm sorry. Ah, well. 
You weren't in. I've been a right pain lately, Anna. I don't know. I'd say you'd learn your lesson. This is great, just me and you, eh? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Let's try and do it more often in the future, eh? Especially if it keeps you out of mischief. Candice hadn't rang for a bit. Must be recharging the mobile. How many times has she rang you? 31, 32. Must be half a dozen. Well, it's not like she can't trust you or anything. Not like I'm surrounded by hundreds of girls, either. Maybe it's me she's worried about. Well, yeah, I think it is. Well, she's got nothing to worry about, then, has she? Back tonight? Yeah, last one were really good. Is it far? Get a bus down at gate. Takes about a quarter of an hour. Maybe see you there. Oh, somebody's popular. We could go together. No, I don't fancy it. Not after, you know. Yeah, sure. Probably be rubbish anyway. Don't let me stop you. But if I don't know anybody? Well, we can hardly go together. I mean, if Candy's found out, then... I suppose not. Oh, go on, have a good time. It's better than sitting around a boring old campfire with me and everyone else. Yeah, OK. Might as well give it a try. Thought we'd be having trout tonight. Oh, yeah. We have to chuck them all back in. <coughs> yeah? Yeah. Seems such a shame we kill them all. <laughs> Things had changed from the one that got away. I know, we were absolutely useless. <laughs> well, as long as you both enjoyed yourself. Oh, we did. We had a great time. And that's what we miss, you know, doing things on the spur of the moment. Makes such a change from having to plan everything. Although, I need to tell you about broken families. A mess we make, eh? Yeah. It's just when they get into trouble like they did today, I'm always blaming myself. I'm always thinking, if I hadn't left. I think you do very well. Yeah, well, you've got to plough on, haven't you? Wish things had worked out with Danny and me. Especially because the girls liked him so much. Yeah. I was really sorry about all that. Oh, well. Just have to grow old gracefully, won't I? Sorry, did you say old? Sal, you're not old. You're still young. No, but for the time being, I'm giving up hope of meeting anybody else. Yeah, well, you want to be careful. That's exactly when it happens. Sleep for a while. Oh, had a full day. I felt terrible when he said that thing about lying. What else do we do? Do you think that warden did suspect anything? No, 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 no. He's more worried about the damage to his hut. We're going to be worried every time he gets in trouble now, aren't we? In case we get found out. He doesn't get in trouble very often, does he? Because if that man does suspect, then I think we should go. No. No. No, no, no. That would be... Uh, that would be panicking. There's nothing you're not telling me, is there, are you? Why should there be? I don't know. These last few days have just seemed a bit jumpy. Well, that's... that's the worry I expect. Well, thank goodness it weren't Alex. It'd be just like him to have something else up his sleeve. No, no. I think he's done his worst. There's nothing more he can do to us. I'm sure of that. Oh, Tarlow. Jack? Yeah? You know this house you're going to see? If it's any good, are you planning on moving it? Well, it depends. Why? Well, I was just wondering what you'd do with this place. Well, we'll sell it, of course. Why? Well, it's just, you know, with me and Tyrone living here now. Well, you'll be coming with us, won't you? Well, I, I'm moving in together. Well, yeah, of course. Look, we're a family now. Hey, and there'll be bags of room. Hey, hey, hang on, just keep your feet on the ground here. I mean, we don't know what the place is going to be like. We haven't even seen it yet. Look, 
You've got a key, haven't you? It's bricks and mortar. Like you said, Jim Kelly were a gambler. I bet he'd loads of brass. I liked his comforts, Jim. He also had a bit of style, you know. You never saw Jim Kelly outside without a, li a little flower in his buttonhole. Welcome to the mate of yours then, Jack. <laughs> well, the truth is, he's a, a sharp dresser, he was. But he never had what you might call um, a, a way with the women, so I used to help him out. <laughs> you used to pull his birds for him? Well, yeah, yeah, but it was more a financial arrangement. I'd pull the birds, he'd pay for the ale all night. Yeah, I hope you weren't still pulling them when I came on scene. Of course not. That was a pine of the ways for me and romance, wasn't it? Morning, Gail. Morning. What's up? Do you know, I'm sure I tidied these magazines last night, and now look at them. And there's this coffee cup. Oh, well, Edna needs a kick up the backside. Do you want me to get my footy boots out? Yeah. Edna didn't come in last night. She rang in with a cold, so I tidied up, which is why I know that that wasn't there. Mm. You don't think we've had burglars, do you? Uh, morning. Morning. Look, Gail, uh, it's not burglars, it's Matt. Uh, he's not in yet. No, he's just gone for a walk round the block while you get in. I don't follow you. Him and Charlie have had a bit of a falling out, so he's been keeping down in here. Never. Look, he doesn't want it broadcasting. And I promised him I'll keep it to myself, so do us a favour and don't let on that you know, all right? No, of course I won't tell anybody, but what have they fallen out over? Oh, I don't know. But between you and me, it's nothing new. They're always at it. They were like this at the old surgery. They're like, can dog. I never realised. Morning, Gail. Molly. Morning, Matt. Two full breakfast, please, so yeah, one of them's a veggie. Yeah, of course. Did you have a good holiday? Oh, yeah, it was great. And got back this minute. Well, it's a bit out of appetite. <laughs> Dublin's a lovely city. Have you been? No, I haven't. Well, we should go. So romantic. Look, you go and sit down. I'll bring them over when they're ready. So, when of you in this house of yours, Vera? Lunchtime. You are joking? No. This is a cafe, Vera. What are folks supposed to do for lunch? Oh, you'll be able to manage. No, I won't. I'll be doing a shift at the Rovers. Well, I can't help that. I'm fulfilling the last wishes of a dead man. Is that what it's about? You want to have a baby and she doesn't. Are you sure that walking out is the best way to deal with something like that? No, but there is more to it than that. Well, how do you mean? Well, I suppose when it comes down to it, the... The marriage I thought I had with Charlie, and the marriage I thought it was at all. <laughs> See you then. Hello, Candice. You're not poorly, are you? No, I came to say I'm sorry about my mum the other day. She'd not make much of a diplomat, would she? She's always the same, about as much tact as a flaming Terminator. That's no way to talk about your mother. All the same, apology accepted. No, it was nothing to do with you. You must be at a bit of a loose end, are you? With Sarah gone and Todd? I'm all right. I mean, it's not really my thing, to be honest. You know, the great outdoors. <laughs> well, Sarah's having a lovely time. Why don't you give her a ring? Todd's got a mobile, hasn't he? Yeah, and I never thought. <laughs> Bye. Hey, what have you got there? For you. For me? What is it? It's a teller. Remote control, teletech, so you can keep an eye on all your stocks and shares. A lot. Why? Well, I just wanted to say thank you for putting Mr Rush's business my way. What's this, a new promotion? A free telly with every MOT? <laughs> the amount of business Molly put my way is worth more than 12 months MOT. And, well, I knew you had yours taken off you, so it's the least I could do. Oh, well, oh, thanks, Kev. I don't know what to say. Yes, nearly done, sir. Come on, Dougie. Have you got a drought your side at a bar or what? Hey, keep your hair on, Les. If it weren't for your toy, you'd have a pint in your hand by now. Well, where is she? Emergency over at Roy's place or somewhere. Yeah, so she says. Oh, aye. Hey. Well, if you want a lift back there, just give us a shout. I'm sure we can work something out. Uh, no, thanks, Les. We can muddle through. Oh, Rita, hi. Hello, Les. Vakran Oh, yes, please. Thank you. 
I've just seen Jack and Vera. They're off to see that property they've inherited. Yeah, that's right. Vera's well excited, isn't she? <laughs> well, who did Jack and Vera know that would leave him property? Oh, some mate of Jack's who was a bit of a gambler and that. Oh. Well, it'd have to be. No friend of Jack's would leave out in his will that came from an honest day's work, eh? <laughs> oh. Well, they can keep that stuff to drink over in Dublin. If you'd ask me, you can't beat a proper part in Union Ridley. Mm -hmm. Didn't stop you drinking it, though, did it? How long have they been polite, Maxine? You know, that holiday's done me the world of good. I feel really energised, don't you? Well, to be honest, I feel worn out. Why? Well, it would all go, wouldn't it? I don't know what you mean. We're in bed early most nights. That's what I mean. Yes, mate, what can I get you? Is a toil about. Well, who wants to know? I'm a mate from college. Oh, right, yeah, well, you'll find her working in the cafe on Victoria Street. Right, cheers. Tell you what. As a mirror, I'll have a pint, eh? Okay. They should have talked about whether they wanted kids or not before they got married. A bit late, ten years on. Well, I wouldn't have put it past her to have said one thing then, and then when it came to the crunch, told me she's changed her mind. What, lead him on, you mean? Oh, I reckon. He thinks the world of Charlie, but she's always given him such a rough ride. Well, I hope he managed to sort it out. I know what damage this sort of thing can do to a marriage. Mm. Well, let's change the subject. Mm. Now, what about you and Richard, then? What about me and Richard? We're just friends, that's all. And Richard doesn't give me gifts of new tellies. What, me and Kevin? No, no, really. We're just friends. I did him a good turn, that's all. Yeah, right. Well, that's all there is to me and Richard. Just friends. There's nothing more to talk about, is there? Not yet, maybe. But there's plenty to think about. Like what? Like when's he going to make his move? I've just come to get some clothes. You know where they are then, don't you? You're uh, keeping busy from the look of it. Do you think because we've fallen out, I should forget about work, Matt? No, no, I didn't say that, did I? It's the way you said it. it sound like an accusation. Did you expect me to be lying here crying, is that it? No. Or up to me necking, baby's nappies and sick? That, 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 that's not how it is. That, that, that's not how it's ever been. I thought we got married for us. Not because you thought of me as good breeding stock. What? I mean, it's my body, Matt. I'll decide what to do with it, not you. No, well, what, what the heck has got into you, Charlie? I mean, you, you, you talk about me like I want to force you into having a baby. Like, like I'm no better than that bloke that... They raped me? Oh, let's take it all back down to that, eh? Then it's my fault that I got raped. Charlie, stop it. And I'm not stop a proper it. woman because I don't want kids. Stop it! What has happened to us? Okay. Right, uh, bacon, sausage and beans. I will have it with you as soon as I can. Why don't you have a nice cup of tea to be getting on with, yeah? There you go. You look busy. Where's Vera? Dump me in it, haven't you? All right. Look, you might be best off at the Rovers if you want to serve in this side of Christmas. Wait, it's OK. I only really came round to see how you were after the other night. Thanks, eh? Uh, fine. How about you? Well, it's you that counts. I mean, it's important that you take your time to you. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, why don't I nip round here and give you a little this one? No, you can't. Of course I can. It's my lunch hour. Well, I'm not sure that penny suits you quite as much as your overalls. Well, I'm used to it. I mean, I used to dress up as a chef as part of my strip. <laughs> well, try and keep your clothes on today. Them sausages spit and uh, wash your hands before you start. Uh, what can I get you? Uh, just a cup of tea, please, love. That'll do for now. Miss Roberts, please can I have a word? Oh, dear Candice, what about? I mean, I've got highlights. I'm Mrs Braithwaite's perm due in in five minutes. Sounds like you need a hand. <laughs> Why, are you offering? Yeah, I'd make a great trainee. I mean, I'm a natural at hairdressing, and boys love it when I rub my fingers through the hair. Uh, yeah, well, that doesn't sound like you've got hairdressing on your mind, Candice. And after what your mother called our Sarah. Well, my mum's a bonnet. Please, just give me a chance. I mean, I was all right when I was sweeping up, wasn't I? I'll work really hard for you. I'll think about it. Cheers, Mr. Robert, you're wicked. Oh. <laughs> oh, cup of tea, I want to take it out, love, please. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at these here. Oh, hey, aren't them beautiful? Class. Aren't they? Hey. Aren't they? Oh, yeah. right. Been a long time. Hey, Marty, too long. <laughs> Sorry about Jimmy. Come like a boat out of the blue. Well, I remembered his mates, did Jimmy? <laughs> And he said you and him had had some uh, high times. <laughs> yeah, I've heard all about it. Uh, Marty, this is uh, the wife, Vera. Oh, it's 
Yeah. Pleased to meet you, love. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll show you around then. You got the key, Jack? Well, I have indeed, I. Yeah. Come on then. Right. Where, where are you going? It's this way, Vera. There we are, number 65. It's a flaming shed. Oh. <laughs> Didn't have to enjoy themselves, them Dubliners. We went in 20 pubs in one night. What was the matter, those? Wouldn't they serve you? We were soaking up the atmosphere. Okay. I bet that weren't the only thing you were soaking up either. <laughs> <laughs> well, me and Ash had better things in our mind, didn't we, darling? We met a lot of people. Do you know, if you're an artist of some kind in Dublin, you don't have to pay tax. So. Typical. Why can't I be an artist? I thought you already were of a kind. <laughs> the other pint, was it, Les? <laughs> oh. Hello, Ken. I thought I might catch you for a lunchtime drink. Oh, Richard, I'm sorry. That, uh... Well, it would have been lovely, but we're just going back to work. Well, I, I wouldn't want to hold up the healing of the sick. Oh, she'll be up for one after work, though, won't you, Gail? Will I? Well, it's a necessary precaution after working in a doctor's surgery all day is a little drink up to. <laughs> really? Well, um, it fights off all the germs that everyone's been breathing on you all day. I see. Well, I wouldn't want her to catch anything nasty, would I? Well, I'll see you in here later for my medicine, then, shall I? Sit down. Jimmy was very green-fingered, oh. you know, then it all went to pot. <laughs> <laughs> you much of a garden, Jack? You are. The only thing he's ever grown is his toenails. No, the, the ground's no good where we live. It's uh, covered in cobbles. Smell that, Jack. Oh. Eh? Jimmy used to dig in two loads of cow muck every autumn. Yeah, Vera. He never seemed uh, the gardening oh. type, didn't Jimmy? Well, uh, he took it up after he gave up the gambling. For health reasons. Stress, you mean? Yeah. He got caught cheating. <laughs> anyway, yeah. As he um, as he got older, he seemed to appreciate the the simpler things, you know, to to get away from it all. The quiet life. Aye, the quiet life. Getting away from it all sounds a great idea. I can't wait to get away from here. Inheritance or no inheritance, I never want to set eyes on this place again. Hey. <laughs> oh. OK, just put Sarah on, Todd. Hi, it's me. Yeah, I'm great. Just hanging about, really. What are you doing? Together? Yeah. Hey, great stuff. Ah, that's it, I see. Oh, yeah. Everything all right? Fine. Just thought I'd drop by. Well, not checking up on me already, are you? Should I be? Well, of course not. Well, it's good, isn't it? You're keeping Weatherfield windows on the road. You can't say fairer than that. Oh, everyone's happy then, eh? I hope you are, too. <laughs> yeah, of course I am. A contract like this means a lot to our company, so uh, any time you're up for it, I'd like to buy you the pint sometime. Drink a big great, Kevin. But to be honest, if we're going to put things on a more permanent basis, I'll be looking for a bit more than a pint. Done viewing Duckworth Towers then? Duckworth dump, more like. Yeah, and a compost dump at that. You are? House not what you expected then, Vera. House. There were no house. It were a flaming shed. <laughs> Someone left Jack a shed? Yeah, and a great big stinking allotment and all. I mean, what kind of an inheritance is that? Oh, well, look on the bright side, Vera. You'll always have plenty of fresh veg. What, in our Jack's condition? He can't go digging taters. Well, a bit of gentle exercise like gardening should be good for him, shouldn't it? And who asked you? And what are you doing behind here with that pinny on? Right, I'd best be off then. Kev be wondering where I am. Thanks, Sam, and uh, I don't just mean for that. Ain't no problem. Cheers, V. 
it's a good job you showed up. It's been murdering here while you've been off you in your shed. Well, listen, you can shut up tonight and get things straight. Oh, I can't tonight, love. It's me being gone, honey. Vera? But I, I promised Maria. I mean, it's her first time. She'll be disappointed. So I'm cleaning up on my own and all that. Well, I'll make it up to you. And I'll bring you a couple of pounds of spuds in if you like. Yeah, you'd better make it up to me. And I don't mean in sports video. Okay. Where's Roy? He's away. What about his missus? They're both away. <laughs> and that little kiddie, you know, Wayne. What, on holiday, you mean? Yeah. Hey, do I know you? Aren't you from social services? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Just checking Wayne's fine, you know. Ah, oh, he's fine. You know, it's terrible what folk do to kiddies, isn't it? It's a good job there's people like Roy and Ellie about. Yeah. Look, do you know where they've gone? Camping in Derbyshire. Not my sort of thing. Don't like the bathroom arrangements. <laughs> the only thing is, they should have let us know at the office if they were going away. Oh. And nothing to worry about, just a bit of paperwork. If you've a note at a campsite, that'll do. Well, we did get a card this morning at Whitney on the front. That's great. Thanks for your help. See ya. See you, love. So, so we're not good enough for you, is that what it is? Oh, Kevin, nothing like that. If you weren't up to the job, I wouldn't be making you the offer. <laughs> offer? Sounds to me more like you're asking for a backhander. Think you know the way things work? Well, I'd rather people give me the jobs because it was good, not because they think there's something in it for them. Nah, it's just business. If you don't want the work, fine. No, <laughs> I want the work. How much are we talking? 500 a month. I'm sorry, you two. Looks like we're staying put. The cauliflower's growing out of his ears. Ah, oh, well, never mind. Quite like cauliflower. That's the spirit, lad. It's a dead smart little shed. How's sheds go? Folks have a thing about sheds, don't they? I read about it in a magazine. It's much to do with the way your heads work. Yeah, well, them magazines talk a load of rubbish. Hey, it ain't rubbish. It was a scientist fella. Reckons it was a throwback to when they lived in caves. Well, I think some of them still think they do. <laughs> Let's leave these cavemen together. <laughs> Got to bingo, see if we can win out. Do you mind having a drink? Uh, only uh, I kind of got the feeling that your friend pushed you into it. Molly's a nurse. She thinks she knows what's good for people. Does she? Well, I think so, yeah. Richard and Gail seem to be getting on with. Oh, yes, I do. Well, he seems a nice enough fella. He's sweet. He's a real gentleman, you know, just right for our game. Oh. Decent son-in-law material. Rita, they're just good friends. Uh, that, <laughs> you are such a gossip, you oh. really. <laughs> Hello, Matt. Hey, Ash. So you, mate. Yeah, why not? Shelly, two parts, please, love. Coming up. No Maxine. No, I'll tell you the truth. I'm glad get out of the way for half hour. Oh, why is that? Oh, that holiday. It will like being locked in a baby-making factory for a couple of weeks. Anyway, where's Charlie? Oh, don't ask, mate. Well, what's up? Do you really want to know? Sorry, we're closed. Toyo. Who are you? Jim Simmons. Phil sent me. So, have you always lived round here? Mm. Not a very exciting life, I'm afraid. Well, it doesn't have to be exciting to get a lot out of it. You've got two children. Three. Nick, the eldest, lives in Canada. Well, that's a great place. I worked there for a while. Lumberjack? <laughs> in a bank. Have you been abroad much? When I was younger, I travelled a lot round the world, trying to find my place in it, I suppose. And in all the world, you ended up round here. There are worse places, believe me. Maybe. I'd have liked the chance to find out. I haven't lost the opportunity. Maybe not, but, um... Well, I'm settled round here. We could do it Spain, does me. You should never write yourself off. No, I don't. Just comfortable. Well, that's good. Still, you must tell me all about your adventures. They're not very adventurous. 
Come for dinner. I'm oh, sorry, Matt. And there's me banging on about making babies. Must be awful. Oh, forget it. It's not just you. It's Curly and Emma and every other young woman that walks in me surgery. I've just begun to realise more and more lately what it is I want out of life. It's that Charlie don't see things the same way. Yeah, well, anything I can do. I mean, talk or whatever. Where have you been staying since you walked out? I've been keeping in the surgery. Well, that's over for a start. You can stop with us in spare room. Oh, no. I can't, Ash. Oh, you've no option, mate. Maxine won't mind you stopping with us. Keep away from me. Me mum will be here in a minute. Oh, look. It's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to hurt you. What do you want? It's Phil. He, he wants to get this all sorted out. What do you mean? He's going to get sorted in court. He wanted me to give you this. I don't want it. Oh, come on, Toya. It's only a letter. Can't hurt you. All right. I'll leave it here, yeah? But make sure you read it. Why should I? What does he want? He wants to see you. What? Oh, it's all in the letter. Right. Looking for your boyfriend. What do you mean? Well, you're Sarah, aren't you? Yeah, so? Thought it was going to be a laugh. Spent all night at the disco going, Sarah this, Sarah that. You're welcome to him. Oh, so is she why you went to the disco then? Of course not. She just latched on to me, you know. Oh, and what about Candice? Because she's going to ask me about girls. Am I going to have to lie to her? No, you won't. Now it happened. Yeah, like you tell me out. Good morning, Sarah. Been down to the lake. It'll be at its best at this time of the day. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> so, have you uh, thought of anything else for us to do today? Yes, and uh, something that's going to be much more to your taste than bird bingo. <laughs> oh, good. There yes. you are. <laughs> Hope you'll be up for the game. It's a treasure hunt. Well, I'm not going in the wards, not if that bloke's still hanging about. Oh, no, that was, that was the warden, that Brian Baverstock. Haverstock. Haverstock. Yeah, well, he seemed like a nice chap. Yeah, well, I don't think the one David saw was him. What are you doing? No, I, I just spilled something. Oh, only babies did that. You think it's funny? Go on then, make some of it. Don't bother me. Hang it from tree, it'll dry quicker. You think I don't know that? We could play footy later if you like. When you've done it. Yeah, great. The up, shutting you in. Didn't mean all. I know. See you back at camp, yeah? Yeah. Sarah, now happened with that Christy last night, I promise. Well, it's not me you have to convince. Oh, by the way, I have to ring Candice, so uh, can I borrow your phone? You what? First thing you'll do is tell her. I know what girls are like. Well, you know, I could use the phone box, but think about it, Brains. If I do, I'm more than likely to tell Candice all the gory details. That's blackmail. Phone. Thank you. Suppose this character lurking in the bushes was... What, that it was Alex? Well, we don't even know that there was somebody, do we? David's been doing his best to wind everybody up. Yes, but something frightened Sarah. She's not one to make things up. Well, Alex doesn't even know we're here. Well, not unless Sheila's told him. Yeah, I, I, I didn't get round to phoning Sheila, so... Well, she doesn't know either. Oh, right. Great. So here we are in the middle of Derbyshire and his mum doesn't even know. What does that look like? Playing bird bingo again? Uh, no, no, we're having a treasure hunt today with, with real buried treasure. Mum, we're having a treasure hunt. Oh, it sounds like fun. Oh, so we're finally going to get our hands on the crop of millions then, are we? Yeah, put all our names in this hat and we'll make up teams. Ah. Right, Rosie, you're with me. Is 
David going to be with us? No, Sophie. With no chance. Right, so, where's Sarah? You seen her? Oh, yeah, she's uh, <laughs> in tent on form. Huh? David and Wayne. <laughs> Boys, you're with me. What for? Treasure hunt. You, me and Wayne. What a team. <laughs> Should we call ourselves something? Do you reckon Wayne? I don't know. Haley's Heroes? No, Candice. No. He didn't meet anyone at the disco. Because he would have told me. Listen, I'm going to have to go, OK? Because Martin's here. All right, then, bye. No, nah, it's a shame she couldn't come. Well, her mum doesn't really even like her coming around to the house, so it's no wonder she threw a wobbler about coming out here. Woman's a pain. So you mean, in her shoes, you won't mind Candy's coming away with the local slapper? Who? You? That'll be soft. The girl with the baby. The one that goes off with the old purr from the internet. Yeah, well, that's why I brought you to the back of beyond. Even you can't get into trouble out here. Not me, maybe. Oh, look at his guilty face. What have you been getting up to, then? Me? No? No, no. What have you said? Oh, nothing. Your secret's safe with me. Did you say out to Candice? Well, I think she'd be phoning back right now, demanding that you jump head first into the lake. Yeah. Here's your phone. What do you get when you scrape the bottom of the barrel? Splinters. No. Well, I don't know. What is this, a riddle from the treasure hunt? No, you lot. We were left when they drew teams for the treasure hunt. It's Haley's heroes, Roy's babes and us. Right. So what should we call ourselves? Ooh, um, what about the not taking part team? Or the, uh, I want to go back to bed team. You know, there's nothing quite so impressive as teenagers with energy, drive, ambition, is there? Really? Where can we find some? I thought you were going to tell everyone about the sleeping bag. Well, we're mates, aren't we? Yeah, mates. Lads. So, uh, what do you make of our first clue, then? What keeps the doctor away? A big dog. <laughs> or... Be dead. <laughs> but then you need an undertaker, not a doctor. Are we going to win this competition or what? An apple a day. But there aren't any apple trees round here. The sell apples in shop. Come on, Haley's heroes. Look, they're off already. We're bound to lose. Just because you want him to be a boyfriend. I don't think you should be thinking about boyfriends at your age. Uh, which one? David or Wayne? She liked David, but now she likes Wayne. Oh. Come on. I don't really want to go, you know. Why? What's your problem? I'm not being mad here out. It's just I don't want to go in the woods. And I'm being stupid. I mean, Todd can just stay behind. Hey, I hope you two aren't getting up to that behind Candice's back. Of course not. I can't even go near a lad. No, definitely not. <laughs> don't think you should start dating again until you're about 35. Look, Sarah, you made a mistake. But hey, everyone does. Just that when me and you make them, they're quite spectacular. Oh, thanks. Hey, you're a kid. I'm supposed to be old enough to know better. But like my old dad said to me when I was your age, being a grown-up's all about the three R's. Three R's? Yep. First one is respect for yourself. Never do yourself down, Sarah. All right. And then there's respect for others, which is obvious. It's like being loyal to your mates and that. Well, not just that, no. I mean, considering other people. Not just your friends, but anyone you deal with. Common sense, really. What's the third one? Now then, this is the biggie. Responsibility for your own actions. You mean like Bethany? Well, yeah. But quite simply, anything you do... You've got to live with the consequences, good or bad. Like Bethany. Like the fact that Candice's mum thinks you're a bad influence. Like the fact if you don't do your own work, you don't pass your exams. All that stuff. You can't dump responsibility on other people. Come on, the other two teams will be back before we've even set off. All right, all right, we're coming. Well, I am, but Sarah's not. Uh, Todd, fancy staying with Sarah? What? And miss out on the treasure hunt? Cool. <laughs> well, we still want a share in the treasure if you win. It's a fat chance. So, would Madame care to join me on the treasure hunt? 
Do you think I'll be safe in the woods with Martin on my own? Oh, I don't think he looks like a big bad wolf. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Are you wanting to buy some apples, son? We're on a treasure hunt. Ah, well, maybe if you buy one each, you might find a clue. Buy one? I like apples. <laughs> Can I have mine? We'll have three, please. So where's clue? Look closer. That's a dirty pencil. Um, Roy, that's my husband. He's very keen on the right nutrition. <laughs> you what? He makes a fortune out of selling whopping great fry-ups. My dad says he ought to be on commission from hospital. What's that? Where Jack joins a union, he's going up in the world. Well, that's just daft, that. Jack, union. Union Jack, that's a flag. Going up in the world. Flagpole! I know where a flagpole is. Nice to have five minutes without the kids. Yeah. But when I'm not working, I can't stand it on my own in that flat. Any excuse I get to go out of the house to see them. <laughs> but yeah, it's really nice to have a quiet five minutes. I'm the opposite. When I'm not working, the kids are with me. Kevin's very good, most of the time. Well, you can't have it both ways, Sal. And Kev's not made his trip because he's busy earning money to pay for the girls' upkeep. Yeah, I know. And I'm glad things are picking up for him. Because he gets so down. Mm, things are getting awkward. See, I can see his point of view. You can see Gail's. I feel like we should be snapping up for him. Hey, what the heck? He's standing up for himself. <laughs> yeah, Gail can fight her own corner. <laughs> You're not kidding. How's Sarah doing? Oh, pretty well. I like shaking her up. She's got to get herself sorted. I've just had to give her the big number about how being an adult is all about taking responsibility for your own actions. I think she does pretty well with Bethany. Loads of girls her age couldn't cope like Sarah does. Yeah, I know, but it's just that they're not kids for long enough nowadays, are they? I mean, you know, wouldn't it be nice just to do something just once without having to behave like a responsible <laughs> adult? Hey? What? Run naked through the precinct and hope nobody sees you. Ooh, not quite what I had in mind. I can see you doing that, sir. <laughs> Two kids. Don't even run downstairs naked. Yeah. Just stop looking through your letter box, then. <laughs> Martin. Mm. Come on, or else Roy's going to think we're not taking this very seriously. Okay. What's up? I'm just thinking about what Martin said about respect and responsibility and stuff. Thought it was supposed to be an holiday. It's a bit of you, isn't it? You never let your mum down big time, have you? Not big time, no. Not yet. <sighs> Sounds like you're planning to. Uh, me mum wants me to go to university. Thinks I'm dead brainer. You are. You'd easily make it. I might not. I might not even want to go. Well, even so, it's not the same, is it? Not like me. You know, if when I met you and Candice and somebody had said, guess which one gets herself pregnant, I never thought it'd be you. Candice isn't like that. So she keeps telling me. I am. I must be. I keep letting everyone down. Sarah, I think you're lovely. Listen to me. I know I'm right. Cause I think about you a lot. Martin was right. Responsibility for your actions. You're on holiday. Well, Candice is still my best friend. Yeah, and she's not here. She'll never know. No, get off me. Stay what? away. A game of cards 
gives you the next clue. They're all so hard. What do you call the other ones? Think of a card game. Um, brag, poker, waste. A bridge. Bridge is a card game. Have you seen any bridges? No. There's that pay thing, eh? Yeah? It's a pontoon. That's a card game. Oh, why? Strip pontoon. I've heard of that. Right. To the lake. Takes one. Careful! Oh, ah. Save it! Don't no. panic! Help me! Don't panic. Ah. 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 What are you doing? Help you me. can't swim! Help oh, me! Help 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 me! Yeah, he tried to save you both. He was so brave. I could have got out myself. He could have, I bet. Yeah, but you didn't know that. So, you really can't swim? Uh, no. Well, you're dead brave then. Uh -huh. you know, if you don't get out of those wet clothes, you'll be dead. Never mind, dead brave. Come on. What happened? Wayne saved him. He's a hero. You saved him? Me and Roy. You all right? Yeah. Pity. Shouldn't we be getting back? I thought you were enjoying the pace in corner. Well, I am. We'll make the most of it. <laughs> Do you know what you were saying earlier about making any excuse to go and see the kids? Mm. It's not Gail you're going to see, is it? Well, it depends. If it's Gail's friend, I'm asking. We agreed, remember? Kevin and Gail can look after themselves. OK. Well, no. I mean, sometimes I wish we could have it the way it was before, but no. I'm not proud of having an affair. We didn't come out of the blue. She made you do it. No. She wanted me to have a sex to me. Sounds more like an excuse than a reason. <laughs> and then she said that she wouldn't sleep with me until I did. Oh. Oh. Did you want more kids, then? Well, I don't not want more kids, so, if you know what I mean, but... Oh, the way things have been sometimes with Sarah and David just lately, I don't think I could put up with it again. <laughs> How about you? Mm, right man, right time. Mm. But if not, then I'm fine. Would you have had kids with Danny? Yeah, I reckon I would. Not much good with men, am I? No, me neither. That's why I stick to women. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> <laughs> So, Sally, that's it then. You're off men for life. Doubt it. But it'd have to be somebody who understood all the baggage. That's fair enough. And Danny didn't? Well, he tried. The kids, that was fine. But Kevin, it was something else. How about Rebecca? Well, she didn't even begin to understand. But I suppose that's nature's way of keeping us away from single people. Next time, we'll just have to find ourselves some sad old divorcees. Yeah. Tell you what, why don't we make a deal? I'll find you a block if you find me a woman. <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh, Shouldn't I get you lots of hospital or something? What? What? Maybe we should ask our resident nurse. Hiya. Uh, someone mentioned my name. Um, Martin, we've had a bit of an accident. He fell in the lake. Wayne saved him. I'm right. It was like me watching. Oh, was it? <laughs> well, that's an image I'll keep in my mind forever. <laughs> so, you're right then? Yeah, I could have got out myself. Just somebody overbalanced, but. Uh, what was that you were saying about wanting more kids? Well, nobody's any the worse, but Haley thought a hospital might be an idea. Yeah? Well, actually, we've got medicine of our own. Lollies! Whoa. Catch, catch, catch! Oh, oh. there you go. That's my level. There you go. Got a confession to make. What? You do run downstairs naked. <laughs> Kevin. <gasps> Not the gay word. I'm just dead glad he was too busy to come. And that's your confession? Yeah. Feel awful. You're slaving away and I'm having a brilliant time. <laughs> well, I've got a confession to make as well. Dad! Dad, the bushes are moving, it's that block again! Right. 
the heck are you doing? Sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. Well, you made a flipping good job of it, whether you meant to or not. Well, it's a stuffed old dog of mine. He's always wandering off. Oh, the buried treasure. I forgot about that. Oh, I bet there's chocolate in there. You can smell it a mile off. Coins and gold foil, you see. Bet buried treasure. I nearly <sighs> dropped for some flipping chocolate. Ah, ah, yes, you did. So next week's pocket money goes towards buying some more for the person that saved you. Thanks, love. Yeah. I really thought it was going to be Alex. You know, Mr. Haverstock. We ought to ring Sheila and let her know that Wayne's all okay. At least her not knowing where we are means, well, she can't tell him. <laughs> Roy, if Alex wants to find out where we are, all he has to do is go to the calf and ask. And anyway, when you think about it, why should he come looking for us? The last thing he wants is weighing around. He might want to cause trouble. What do you mean? Wait, is there something you're not telling me? He knows about you. He knows what about me? About your past. Was he told by him? No, no. Right, well, when the time's right, then we'll tell him. Roy, we're having a lovely time, and more importantly, so's Wayne. We're not going to let that weasel ruin it for us, OK? Didn't need a bedtime story. They were both out for the count, and they suddenly got in their sleeping bags. There you go. Fresh air and excitement. It's done the opposite for me. It's warming me up. Mm. Fancy a walk? Yeah, why not? I never expected to enjoy myself quite this much. Me neither. <laughs> Here's to Kevin's new contract. Mm. You were going to come confess something earlier. Oh, I were now. Come on. Well, I was just going to admit that I was quite chuffed. Kevin couldn't make it as well. Thought you were Kevin's mate. Yeah, well, I don't think I would be if you knew what I was thinking right now. Well, if you're thinking what I'm thinking, maybe we should leave Kevin out of this. OK. Good idea. Are you going to tell me or do I have to ask? Hmm. Oh, why don't you tell me? See if you were right. OK. You're thinking... If I kiss her now... It doesn't matter. Cos we're on holiday. <laughs> well, it wasn't quite that complicated. <laughs> why don't you, then? You're going to get dressed before Matt comes down. They shouldn't be. Yeah, we've got a guest staying. You mean we've got a next door neighbour hiding from his missus? I don't care what he's doing. I don't want him thinking we live like slobs. He won't think that. Well, look at you. I think he's in Buckingham Palace. Mm -hmm. Morning. 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 Sleep all right? Yeah, when I weren't awake. Hey, go. Oh, it's hard, sir. What can I get you for breakfast? We've got fruit juice, cereals, eggs, bacon, sausage. Yeah, <laughs> I'll have all of them. Oh, Matt. Oh, just a bit of toast and some coffee will be fine, thanks. And, uh, can I just ask you both a favour? Of course you can. Yeah, what's that? Well, would you keep it quiet that I'm stopping here? Else, you know what folk are like. There'll be all sorts of stories. We won't say a word, will we? I won't have anyway. Thanks. So, what's this letter you've had? Oh, brilliant. What? We said we were going to wait until she wanted to tell us. Yeah. Well, I've waited long enough. I'm sorry, love. It's all right. I told him what you told me about Simmons' brother coming round. He'd a flaming cheek and all. So good job I wasn't there. Yes! It probably were. Anyway, what were in this letter? 
Do you want to tell us? Why shouldn't you? Shut up! He wants me to go and see him. You are joking! What? Phil Simmons wants you to go and see him in jail? Says he feels awful about what he did and wants me to forgive him. To forgive him? Can you believe that? I'd lock him up and forget him. That's what I'd do. And, uh, does he think you will? Does he think you're going to go and visit him and go, well, OK? Is that what he thinks? That they're just going to let him out and that everything's going to be all right? I don't know. No. And you'd be as well not to, neither. Writing you a letter after what he did to you. Where is this letter? Why? Because it wants burning. Yeah, or giving to police. We could do that, yeah. It's up to you. Do you want to burn it or give it to the police? Neither. Not until I've had a chance to think about it. Yeah. Now you're what they used to call a fast cat. <laughs> oh, it's only a meal. A meal with a man? Isn't she, eh? Your granny is a fast cat. It's not as if I'm going to be on my own, is it? Because I'm going to be looking after this one. Oh, we can't have that. You're going to be a little goose for it, aren't we? Yeah, well, maybe that's a good idea. Stop him getting any ideas. But we want him to get ideas. Says who? Says I. Now, come on, you fancy this man, this hunk. He's not a hunk. But you fancy him. I like him. You fancy him or you wouldn't have invited him. Now, who are we going to get to look after this little gooseberry here? What's Audrey doing? Oh, no, I can't ask me ma'am. I think she still thinks I pinched him off her. Oh, well, I'd have her myself, but my flat isn't exactly child-friendly. No, it's OK. I want to hear, cos whatever else she does, she'll stop me making a fool of myself. Do you want her coffee? No, Tal. Uh, I got this from Phil Simmons. A letter? Yeah, wait till you hear what's in it. Mm -hmm. Dear Toya, I know you won't be expecting to hear from me and probably won't want to. What I did was a terrible thing. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, it's just something I need. Hi, Toya, how are you? OK, yeah. Good. Well, look, I, I know you two are talking, so just ignore me. It was a terrible thing. I know that I've got to pay for what I did, but I also want to see you to tell you how sorry I am. Well, and uh, a lot more like that. Basically just saying, will I go and see him? Cos he's got things he has to say to me face. And he's wrote you this from inside prison? His brother brought it. Amazing. So, what are you going to do about it? I don't know. What would you do? Oh, I don't know either. I mean, you don't have to do anything. You'd have to give him a moment's thought if you don't want to. No. He's got to pay for what he did to you. You don't owe him a thing. Yeah. I'll, uh, get off then. Is that all you came for? Yeah, for now, yeah. Um, are you okay? Much the same as before, really. No change. Okay. I'll see you later. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. No. Bye, Toya. See ya. I mean, at first I was scared to open it, wondering, was it going to be obscene or him telling me what he was going to do to me if he got out? Yeah. Then I found out it weren't, so uh, at least that were a relief. You're going to have to be careful, Toya. His lawyer could have advised him to write this to make him look good in court. You mean if I go to see him? Yeah. His lawyer could say this proves he's a reformed character. And what's more, his victim accepts that he is. I suppose, yeah. Oh. So, can't I tempt you to a drink? We are going to the park where we might have a nice cream. Why don't you join us and have one too? Mm, too much fresh air. Hiya. Hiya. Hi, yeah. Hi. Oh, she's lovely. I wish I had one like her. Oh, well, you can have for tonight. Girl needs a babysitter. Oh, really? Well... Yes, she does, and she'll even bring her round to your house. Now, what time should we say? Six? Seven? I don't think this is fair on Maxie. I don't mind, don't I? She can bring her round any time. There. Are you sure? Positive. Great. OK, all fixed. Enjoy. And I don't just mean the meal. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Bye. I still think we're taking advantage. Hiya. Do you want to take a girl for a drink? No. But I'll let you buy me one for the mess you got me in. I have. Why, what have I done? Uh, it's not your fault. 
Look, uh, let us finish this. I'll tell you about it later. I would have thought an allotment would be dead useful, Jack. They are, aye. Yeah, you can grow your own veg. Right? Yeah, it can't be bad. Save a fortune. Well, I'm not saying you can't, but you're forgetting. It's going to be hard work, you know, for somebody. Oh, yeah. Don't dig in and hoe in and weed in. Now, I don't know who you've got in mind for doing all that, but I know I've got in mind for not doing it. I wonder who she's talking about. Beats me, Jack. You can manage a window box. Never mind an allotment. Yeah, well, we could help out, though, couldn't we? Mm. Yeah, of course. Oh, well, he'd love that, eh? I'm sat in a deck chair watching you two slaving away. The best thing you can do is give him it back. Whoever else inherited out, give him the allotment. Because I tell you what, that Jim Kelly must have had a funny sense of humour giving it to you in first place. Jim Kelly left it me because he knew I would look after it, which is what I intend to do. Till you get fed up. In fact, I'm thinking about going up there this afternoon. Now, anybody who wants to come with me is very, very welcome. Do you fancy having a look at it? Yeah, OK. And them as don't, don't have to. Oh, don't worry. I won't be setting foot anywhere near that mucky old place. You know what I fancy doing? Who wants Weatherfield? Football? Cricket. Yeah. Football in the middle of summer. Well, how am I meant to know? You yes, well, there's a cricket season, there's a football season. This is cricket. Right, I'll try and remember for next time, shall yes. I? Well, well, write it down. Are you playing at home? Oh, yeah, there's a fixture list behind there. And I mean, all of us, you can come. No, thank you. Anyway, Gail's bringing baby Bethany around. I said we'd look after her. Oh, well, that settles it then. I'm going cricket. No? What do you fancy? Baby or cricket? Tough choice. Ah, oh, dead tough. Rush. Wants 500 quid a month for himself. What, like a sort of commission? <laughs> the sort will go straight in the back pocket. Oh, well, you mustn't do it. Tell him to get lost. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I don't want to start giving backhanders. Cooking the books. You start all sort of capers. Who knows where it's going to finish? Well, what will he do then? Do you think he'll take the work elsewhere? <laughs> that's the risk, isn't it? Maybe. Maybe not. I'll find out later. I'm meeting him. I remember you telling me how, when it happened to you, that you carried on going to his lectures and you just stared at him all the time until he couldn't stand it anymore and he resigned. And how important it were to you because it made you feel as though you'd won. It did, but... Well, I want that. I want to look at Phil Simmons and know that I've won. When I did it, I was in a lecture hall full of lots of other people. Yeah? You're going to be face to face with him, one to one in that prison. Yeah, but there'll be other people in the room. <sighs> if I can't stand it, I can always just get up and walk out, can't I? I suppose. Look, it's up to you, Toy. I I I'm sorry. What? You just caught me on a bad day. I don't feel I'm being very helpful. Of course you are. You see what's happened? Matt's left me. No. We had certain things we couldn't agree on. And suddenly it seems they're really important. And it's beginning to seem like this might be it. I might not have a marriage anymore. Kids, what do you think? Done with estates. Great. So how much is yours then, Jack? Well, as far as the eye can see, as long as you don't look past that little fence up there. It's not much, is it? Yes, you know. I mean, this is shed and all. It's all part and parcel, you know. Yeah, that'll be dead handy, that. All right. What? I'm keeping stuff in. Yeah, come on, I'll show you. Um, actually, Jack, I said I'd go and see my mum, so... Well, we can do that in a bit. No, 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 it's all right. You go and have another word with your mum and... Take your time, because we'll still be here when you get back. All right, then. Right. right. Yeah. Now, don't be worrying, because I'll look after him for you. All right. See you later. Ta-da! Uh, yeah. Strange, isn't it, about women, how they don't understand allotments. Do you know why? Why? Come in and I'll tell you. <laughs> the important thing is, you don't do anything you're not happy about. And what about you, though? Where's Matt gone? Haven't got a clue. Shan't care, either, as long as he comes back. Well, I'm sure we will. Uh, he's too nice not to. I'll see. Anyway. 
Come in. Oh, I, I just... How are you, Toya? I'm just going. Mm. Thank you. Let me know what you decide, yeah? Well. Sorry, I didn't know you had company. I wouldn't have said anything in front of her, though. Sorry? About what's been going on with you and Matt. And what's that, then? Well, I don't know any details. Um, I do know he's left, because he's staying at ours. He's staying at your house? Yeah. Didn't you know? To be honest, I didn't know. Is he still there? No, no, he's um, gone to a cricket match with Ashley. Men, eh? Huh? Doesn't matter what's going on, still interested in the football and the cricket. And what are you interested in? Me? I've just come round to see how you were. Well, I'm not in the mood for a good gossip, if that's what you're thinking. I won't. So, unless there's anything else? No, there isn't. Thanks for letting me know where he's staying. Anything else happens, no doubt you'll let me know. There's no need to be like that. You don't think so? In my private life's been discussed the length and breadth of the streets. Well, if it is, it's not because of me. No. No! And I'll tell you something. No wonder you've got problems. When folk come round here and try and help you, all you do is throw it back in the face. You see, what women don't understand is, is man's need for his own space, you see. Jimmy knew though. Jimmy who? Jimmy, the old lad that left me this lot. All oh, right. Oh, I. He appreciated how I would jump at a place of my own, where I could escape to. Uh... Now, this is something you must bear in mind, you know, because one day, you might just want the same. Yeah, well, I might not. Well, no, no, no. I mean, at the moment in time, you want to be with your Maria. I do, yeah, right? Yes, yeah. there's one time, and I wanted to be with our Vera, especially when she owed me money. But you see, when the, the magic starts to wear off, and you're sat there thinking, I, I can't handle any more of this. I've got to escape. This is the answer, isn't it? An allotment with a shed on it. Right. I mean, the, the allotment's optional, but the shed is important. Hi. Oh, hi. Nobody is saying that you can't do what you want. Of course you can. As long as it doesn't involve going to see that tow rag. Just throw the letter away and forget him. Yeah, and why are you saying that? Why? It's obvious why. Why? What, because you think I won't be able to stand the sight of him or... What, though, once I get in the same room, he'll exercise some sort of control over me? Look, you can put it how you like. We are worried that it's going to be an upsetting experience for you. Bound to be. Yeah, well, what I'm worried about is being treated like a victim for the rest of my life. Which I was, yeah. But it doesn't mean I want to stop like that. And that is exactly what's going to happen if I run away every time Phil Simmons is even mentioned. Nobody is telling you to run away. We're saying... You don't go to see him. Which is the same. No. Well, it sounds like it to me. All right. All right. So you tell us. What do you want to do? Well, I haven't decided for certain, but... I think I might go and see him. So if you need anything or anything goes wrong, I'm only a couple of doors away. I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> She's looking around wondering where she is. You eat your multi vaccines. <laughs> and who else is at anti vaccines? Have you got my husband here yet? Um, they're not back from cricket yet. All right. Hello, girl. And when he does get back, can you remind him I'm next door if he wants a word? I will. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Is he staying here? Mm. So they're not made up then? Oh, I don't know. I think it was supposed <coughs> to be a joke. <coughs> But we're not bothered, are we? Cos we're here to look after you! <laughs> so, uh, did you get out done on your allotment, then? No, we, we give it a good look in us, on, do we? No, uh, that's all it'll ever get. So what did you think? Well, it's going to need a lot of work. Yeah. Which is why it's in the wrong hands. I don't know what you want it for. You've never wanted an allotment in your life. Tyrone understands what I see in it, don't you, son? So? Uh, this'll be good. Well, it's like, um, an interest, isn't it? You know, it gets him out of the house. Does anyone want any crisps? No, no. time. Uh... You're always eating, you. And what happens when the weather's bad? Will you be still doing it? No, I shall then be in my shed. What flavour? Cheese and onion, please. OK. Hey, Kev, you know you said there'd be all this overtime. Oh, if we got to work. 
Well, uh, you're not saying out in front of Maria. Only we're saving to get away, don't we? So uh, I want this overtime to be a secret so I can surprise with how much I've saved. Oh, right, OK. 28, please. Thank yeah. you. Do you want to come and sit with us? No, you're all right. I'm waiting to meet someone. All right. See, if I was to save 50 quid a week, then that'd be... Well, it'd soon mount up, that, wouldn't it? Could be married this time next year. Great. Yeah, it would be. That's 22 change, thank you. Thanks. See you in a bit, mate. So, Sarah and David are away with the dad. Martin's taken them camping, yeah. Very nice. Which leaves me looking after Sarah's daughter, Bethany. Which I do a fair amount of, anyway. I know you do. But not tonight. Tonight, a friend's looking after her. Well, that's a relief. I was worried he might have locked him away in a cupboard somewhere. <laughs> Sometimes wish I could. But do you though? I mean, I, I know you must have your work cut out, but being on your own, that's when you feel like locking yourself away in a cupboard. Well, I'm sure you must. And I'm not saying I'd like it full time, but it's very nice to be able to invite you round tonight and not have a stream of little bodies running through. I'm quite pleased about that too. Even though I, I nearly didn't come tonight. Why? I don't know. I thought you, you've enough on your play as it is. The last thing you want is me complicating things. What if I want you complicating things? Well, that's different. I was hoping to get her off soon. Like, Charlie came round. Here? Yeah. I went round to see if she was all right and mentioned you were here. I'd say Matt said not to say. I know, but I just thought that meant I wasn't allowed to tell anyone else. Didn't know Charlie didn't know. Sorry. It's OK. Anyway, she said she's next door if you want to talk. Did she? Yeah, I don't think she's right pleased with me, though. I think she thinks I'm being nosy. Well, look, we can go for that part another time. But when we don't know get out of Bethany's way. It's a good excuse. I don't see any reason for a change of plan. If you still want that drink, we'll have one. Ah, Bethany. Ah, love. What do you want to drink? Scotch should be nice. Thank you. Any ice? No, thanks, love. Okay. I can see why you're drinking here. Because I live across the street. No, if you don't mind putting up with me for a bit longer. No, of course we don't. But I'll be out your way. We're trying to talk to Charlie when she's probably been through the best part of a bottle. That is not a good idea. Yeah, but we all have rows, don't we? I mean, we haven't. And what normally happens is when we have a rows, I give in. In fact, that's what always happens with us. Well, I'm not sure that giving in is what is needed in this case. In fact, I'm not sure what is needed. No? But how do you carry on living together when you both want different things? Do you want to sit down? So, you've thought about my proposition. Yeah. And to be honest with you, I like being straight with people. I like things out in the open. I don't go in for all this under-the-counter sort of stuff. Make an exception. Well, you get paid for doing your job, yeah? Yeah. So why should I pay you as well? Because that guarantees you keeping the contract. Right. So what you're saying is if I don't pay you, you'll give it to someone else? If you don't pay me, then there's others always will. Look, it's not you having to find the money. You just spread it over the bills you submit to us. They come to me, I OK the payments, and nobody loses. <laughs> Except your firm. They can afford it. Can you afford to turn the work down? I can afford it, yeah. Ah, oh, well, it's not just me I've got to think about, though, is it? It's the other blokes I employ, you know. They can't. One of them's counting on it to get married. Yeah, OK. You're on. Good. Well, it's not good. It's a rotten way to do business. Probably is. So when do I pay you? <coughs> Just tell me when you want me to go. Does that mean you want to? No. What I want is... is, is to kiss you. And do? No. 
sorry, was it? Was that? That was very nice. Wake up. Oh. Wayne's not here. What do you mean? Wayne, he's gone. I can't find him. Well, it would have gone far. Yeah, but it's not like him to just go off without telling us. Oh, he probably didn't want to wake us. Yeah, oh. you, you're probably right. Mm. I'll just go for a scout round, put my mind at ease. Morning. Wayne's not in with you by any chance. No. Will you keep your voices down, please? Or was I trying to sleep? What's up? Oh, I don't know. Wayne. He's gone walk about. Hey, maybe he's been snatched by the beast. <laughs> mm. Good morning. Tree straight ahead. Oh, yeah. You're right. A pair of them. They're dead pretty, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go feel over there for you. Great. Come on. You look rather ravishing this morning. Martin, don't say that. Kids are really over there. Mm -hmm. Didn't bother you last night. Yeah, well, last night I've been drinking. Oh, so it was just a drink talking, was it? No, I didn't say that. You know, I can't believe I didn't do it before. I mean, you know, it just last night it just seemed so right, so natural. Don't talk like that, Martin, please. Why not? Because, well, because last night was a one-off. Just a drink talking, was it? No, I didn't say that. You know, I can't believe I didn't do it before. I mean, you know, it just last night it just seemed so right, so natural. Don't talk like that, Martin, please. Why not? Because, well, because last night was a one off. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, that was me thinking it was the start of a beautiful relationship. I mean, last night was... Well, we got carried away. Let's just forget all about it, shall we? That's not what I'm trying to say to you at all. Look, Sally, I know when I'm being given the brush off. Just don't worry, OK? Hey, uh, what did you get to? Bird watching. Oh, Mr. Gay. I said to you earlier, I took it the wrong way. Well, I had hoped that last night might have meant something, so. Well, it did, but it's not as simple as that. We only kissed. Mm. Yeah, holiday romance, bit of fun. Martin, you're twisting everything I'm saying. Way up, change the subject. Here comes Roy. Uh, could I have everybody's attention, please? Uh, David, uh, listen up, club. 
I just thought as it's our last day together, perhaps we should do something special. Oh, here we go. It's worse than being in a boot camp. I think we've had enough group activities for one week, Roy. I was only thinking of making a barbecue. Well, I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Is it not a bit of a busman's holiday for you, though, Roy? Cooking sausages? Well, it's, it's not quite the same thing, although I'm not sure that we've got sufficient provisions, actually. Well, we could always pop in the village and get some chops and some kebabs and charcoal. Well, I could try getting a couple of greater spotted woodpeckers when we get a pull. You, you will, will not. not. Well, I don't mind going into the village. All right, I'll come with you. That's if we're on Haley, don't mind looking after the kids. Well, we can get the barbecue started while you're away. Right. Come on, then. Well, we're not going in the car. Come on. It's only ten minutes away. It'd be a nice walk. Right, right. <laughs> I think you'll need some slightly smaller bits to get started. OK. Oh, he's come on leaps and bounds this week, hasn't he? Uh, it's been cheek by jowl with nature, I think. Mm. Especially we have to go back to smelly old Weatherfield. I dread to think what's in store for us there. I like Swinton. <sighs> well, he's not going to be happy that we took off without telling him where we were going. The only reason he wants to know where we are is so he can come round issuing more threats. We can't go on like this, you know, Roy. Living under a shadow, always looking over our shoulders. We are in a very vulnerable position. The only way to deal with a bully is to stand up to him. He can make life very difficult for us. I mean, what if he was to tell Wayne about, about you? Hmm. I'd sooner he heard it from me than risk him hearing it from anyone else. Well, at least that would mean he wouldn't be able to hold it over us. Hmm. Uh, Sal? Yeah. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Um, Do you ever think about me and you? Before last night? You mean, did I secretly fancy you all these years and never say anything? No. It's just when we all came away, did it ever cross your mind that something might happen? No. Not for one second. But when I saw you in your shorts... So, I'm being serious. So am I. Is this better? Perfect. Um, will you come and sit down for a minute, Wayne? There's something we want to talk to you about. Um, no, what it is, is that now that you're living with us and we're like a proper family, there's something I feel you should know. It's not about social services, is it? With them not wanting me to live with you? Because I've not told anybody. No, no, it's, um, it's something personal about me. You know how men and women are different from each other? You're not going to give me the facts of life, are you? I've already done it in year seven. Oh, no, no. Oh, the, the subject is related in a way. Yeah. Some people are born one sex, but inside they're another. It's like there's been a big mix-up. A mix-up? I was brought up a little boy like you. I dressed like a little boy. I was called Harold. But inside, I always knew I was a little girl. How did you know? I just felt it. So later on, when I was old enough, I changed sex and I became Haley. How? I had an operation. Now, some people find it a bit shocking and they don't understand it. They can be very cruel, which is why I wanted to tell you about it myself. So, you like a saw tail, only the other way round? A what? A tropical fish. Lester Robinson's dad keeps him in a big tank. Um, well, it's, it's not quite the same thing, but... But you, you are thinking along the right lines. And earthworms. They're born with both male and female reproductive organs, aren't they? They, they, they do, yes. <laughs> Shall I go and get some more kindling? Good idea. They're going to wonder where we are. Hmm. Well, they'll just assume we're enjoying the scenery. Wish we are. I wish we could stay here forever. Oh, it's funny, isn't it? All your problems just seem to disappear as soon as you get away. <laughs> it's 
not that I don't want to take things further. Oh, why can't we? Do I have to spell it out? Sal, I can foresee one or two small problems if we did make a go of it. One big problem? Oh, Kevin goes off his head whoever you go out with. I reckon it's about time you let you live your own life. Can you imagine the aggravation, all the accusations? So, you're a free agent. We can't spend the rest of our lives tiptoeing around our exes. I'm quite capable of telling him where to get off, but Gail... Well, I can tell her where to get off. She's my best friend. I wouldn't be able to look her in the eye. Yeah, well, you never know. She might take it all in a stride. And she might think I'm letting her down. Does it really matter what people think? Yes, it does, actually. I can think of two people whose opinions matter a lot. Sophie and Rosie. Well, they don't mind. They like me. It's too soon after Danny. They'd be upset. I'm not thinking of moving in. Even worse if it was just a fling. So you're not going to give us a chance, then? Sorry, Martin. It's just too close to home. There's too many people involved. Okay. And you're just going to let these people run your life for you? Well, that's because I know how much they can ruin your life once you start. We'll be up against it from day one. Oh, it's funny, isn't it? You're the one that started all this. You know, you're the one that's pouring cold water on it. Sorry, Martin. I just don't think it'd work out. And I don't want to upset the kids anymore. Well, I thought he took it fairly well, really. Mm, very well, yeah. Although I'm not sure I like being compared to a worm. At least he saw you as an example of the wonderment and diversity of nature. What time are we eating? I'm starving. As soon as Sally and Martin get back with food. Where's Wayne? He's gone to fetch some more wood. Hello, David. I know it's you. Hello, Kira. Like it. Wayne! Wayne! Oh, forget it, you're useless. Oh, shut up! Oh, shut up and you won't get hurt, alright? Oh, better. Wayne! Oh. What are you doing here? You're not allowed to visit a kid. Are you alright? Did he hurt you? Of course he's alright, I didn't hurt him. He hurt me, as a matter of fact. What do you think you're playing at? Look at it, what's scary? People. You had no right taking off like that without my permission. You must have been worried sick. You disappearing wasn't part of the deal. How do you find us? Oh dear, in the cafe told me where you were. Wasn't meant to be a secret, was it? You weren't trying to get away from me, were you? No, we fancied a holiday. And the further away from you, the better. Charming. So come on. What are you doing here? I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to frighten him. You're very uppity today, aren't you? You're spoiling our holiday. I want a word with you. In private. You and Wayne go back to the campsite. I'm not leaving you on your own with him. We're fine. We'll wait. Does he want? I don't know, love. There's no way it happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are then. <sighs> yep. Right. So when we cross this line. That's it, we just, uh, we just go back to normal. I suppose we do, yeah. yeah. Uh, I can't help thinking, though, that we're ending something. But we're not, because we didn't really start anything, did we? Mm. And we are making the right decision, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. We just have one more minute before we go back to reality. Come on.
you've come all this way expecting money, you've had a wasted journey. I meant what I said about telling Wayne. Well, he already knows. Oh, yeah. We told him. You're lying. Yeah, he took it very well. Ask him if you don't believe us. Yeah, well, I'm still not happy. Look, you can threaten and bully and blackmail all you like, but you're not getting another penny, so please, leave us alone. I see. Come on, you're coming on with me. So keep your hands off him. Look, if you're not playing ball, why should I? On your way, go out and get lost. I'm going nowhere without a kid. Can't you see you're frightening him? Now leave it. Don't you touch me. Don't you touch Wayne. You OK? No, I'm sure I can hear Roy and Haley shouting in the woods. I don't know if I go and have a look. It's ages since David saw him wandering off, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go and see if they're okay. You are a sick bully and you're never going to push any of us around again. Oh, no! Leave him alone! Don't touch me! I ain't going to be told what to do by you two! Shut up! Shut up! Come on, then, if you want to fight, I'm not frightened. You've no right to take him. He's not yours. Who's this? Everything's fine, Martin. You, you, you go back. I'm off anyway. Nutters! It's uh, Wayne's mother's boyfriend. Bit of a tricky customer. Oh, right. Anyway, I thought I'd better warn you. David's eating all the burgers. I'll just follow him on. Just make sure that he's, he's gone. He's horrible to me all the time. Oh, he can't help it. It's just his personality. It's not horrible to anyone else. Well, I think he might just be a bit jealous, you know, that you pay Wayne so much attention. What do you mean? Well, it's obvious he fancies you. Yeah, they're there now. All three of them. Yeah, you'll find them. Cheers. Just dropped you right in it. Freak show's over. Been on the blow at the social services. Told them everything. You're a liar. Well, not everything. It's just that you took Sheila's kid. And that you took him away without our permission. And when I tracked you down, you wouldn't hand him over. Which is all true. I don't believe you. Well, you'll believe me when social services turn up. And the police. And he will. In fact, they're probably on the way right now. See ya. while the tea bones on your plate, David. Just have a kebab. They're really nice. Hey, what was all that about, Roy? Has he gone? Yes. Oh, good reasons. I need a word in private. All right, well, sit down and have something to eat first. I need to speak to you now. He says he's phoned the social services and the police and told them we've abducted Wayne. Oh, that's ridiculous. He's bluffing. I don't think so. Well, why would he do that? Plain nastiness. Surely they won't believe him. Well, they'll believe him rather than believe us. But if the truth comes out, if they find out he's taken money from us... Yeah, but he'll twist everything so that he looks like the injured party and that we're a pair of obsessed weirdos like they already think we are. I've dreaded something like this happening ever since you told me you'd given him the money. Anyway, the Child Protection Squad, or whatever they're called, are probably already chasing down the motorway looking for us. We don't know that. I saw him on the phone. We can't take the chance. What do we do now? Well, we admit that Wayne's been staying with us and that we've taken him away for a few days with us. They told us to stay away from him. Anyway, Alex will say that he tracked us down and we refused to hand the boy back. We've just got to tell the truth and face the consequences. And return Wayne to the safety of his wonderful parents. What's the alternative, Roy? Go on the run? Right, come on, David, let's pack the car. We're going to hit the road as soon as it's done. In a minute. Rosie, so you can keep that loading up as well. Run where? Where would we go? As far away as we can get. 
then we really would be abducting Wayne. Well, I'm sure he'd sooner come with us than go back home. You're serious, aren't you? I can't believe this. You're normally such a stickler for playing things by the book. Yes, and where has that got us, eh? So, let me get this straight. You want us to take a child who we're not even meant to be looking after away from his parents, his school? Away from that man. Away from those clowns at the social services. But if we run away, it's just going to make matters worse. What, what do you think Alex would do if he could get his hands on him, hmm? If we disappear, it'll just add credence to Alex's story. Yes, and if we go back to Weatherfield, we're all done for. You've finally flipped, haven't you? It's all this lying and creeping around that's done it. It's turned your brain. Let's ask Wayne what he thinks we should do. Roy, he's only a child. He doesn't understand the ins and outs of it. It's his life we're talking about. It should be his decision as much as ours. Right, that's that done. OK. I'm going to pay in the bill. Oh, can I come with you? I need to get some sweets for the way home. Oh, me too. Can we go, please? Yeah, come on. Uh, Wayne, something we need to ask you. What? Now, you know you're not supposed to be really living with us. Well, uh, well, Alex has told the authorities. We think. What's going to happen? Well, that's up to you, really. I mean, we could go back to Weatherfield, or we could wait here for them to find us, or we could all go off somewhere. On another holiday. I want to stay with you. I still think we're making a big mistake. He's bluffing. Right, well, we have to act fast. There could be somebody looking for us any minute. This is your decision, Roy. You decide what our next move is. Uh, where did Martin and the kids go to? To the shop, I think. And uh, what about Sally and the girls? They went with them. Right. Uh, can you give me a hand? Now what are you doing? be your favouritest, favouritest thing then to eat as soon as you got on. Chinese. Curry. Chinese. Curry. What about a Chinese curry? No, I want Chinese. I want Chinese. Is there such a thing? We have a Chinese curry. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi! Hi, stop! I haven't driven in years, Roy. We're bound to have an accident. You're doing fine. You sure we're doing the right thing? Positive.